Las drogas se venden como fruta, el paraíso de los gatos, tú disfrutas, el paraíso de los gantes. Baby, no jarabe con dos p con el más delante. Coca dry, tranqui, mocato sin el mando, haciendo lucas como Andy. El paraíso de los gantes. Lambe, hasta esos p se los funde, se pone fuera, destruiría. Hasta esos p que hablan p de mí, que quiero que les parta cuero. El paraíso de los gantes, los mato en 30 segundos. Los peluches ya no guato, los blue bites, blue bites. Dale con la carcha, somos los niños de la calle atrás, ni carte. No me eche el aliento más, solo a buscarte. No te pongas filosófico, me pego el descarte. Estoy dripping como un carro, con los clones y con los cortes. Ve cocho se reparte, de estos titos se te paro. Para eso de los cantos, con los clones y con los cortes. Ve cocho se reparte, de estos titos se te paro. Para eso de los cantos. Yo los tíos me voy a jugar, tú vas. Si lo pagaste ni pa paraíso de los gatos, tú disfrutas paraíso de los gantes. Bebiendo jarabe con dos puros, con el más delante. Si no vino esos chantes, fumando chantes con las chantes, haciendo lucas como Andy. Paraíso de los gantes. Hasta esos putos se los fumes, se ponen fuera, destruiría. Hasta esos putos se los fumes, se ponen fuera, destruiría el mundo. Se los fumes, 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 se los fumes. Yambe. El paraíso de los cantos Quien manda corre la que hay Quien manda corre la que hay Fundiendo corre la que hay Quien manda corre la que hay
Soy una gárgola, salgo de noche con todos mis gatos derrapándote en los coches. Vita encendida, todo de roce, la vivienda activa para el perro hasta las 12. Un, dos, tres, con la nalga para el piso, la vivienda sola, nadie le da permiso. Prende y pasa, lo seguimos en casa, que yo tengo un par de amigos para quemar la sasa. Oye, bandida, bebé, tú eres una atrevida, cuando baila está encendida. Le pide al DJ que ponga el chauri con la blue, que grosería. Soy una gárgola, salgo de noche, con todos los míos, estamos puestos pa' leer. Soy una gárgola, salgo de noche, con todos los míos, estamos puestos pa' leer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Con chauri, yeah. dimensiones, con, con el chauri en la casa.
This stream contains fast flashing images that may affect viewers who are susceptible to photosensitive epilepsy and other photosensitivities. Viewer discretion is advised. Brothers against brothers, we've got back to back regional rematches in our first day of the playoffs. We're down to our top four now here. It's Americas and the Pacific. Hello, everyone, and welcome to day six of Masters Madrid, coming to you live from the Madrid Arena. I'm your host, Ying Su, and I'm back here on the desk with Mimi and Hypog. Welcome back, guys. Uh, how was your rest? You're not going to mention the 15 stuffed animals we have here, too? It's freezing, kind of freezing right over there. Them. Freezing right over there. I mean, you feel free, Mimi. We've got okay, about 10 we, seconds. We've got about <laughs> 10 seconds. Attack the bear, attack the bear, attack the bear. Uh, Dan, 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 the penguin. Bunny, there's only one bunny. Attack the bunny. No, Tactic there's bunny. three bunnies. There are three bunnies. Oh, you I missed didn't out the bunnies. Them. We're going to have to redo it another yeah, time. From the top, from the top. Yeah, yeah. After the, the break, Mike, I think you can have a go as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I it's, don't it's gonna like be, that. It's going to be you. Yeah, you, oh, you nailed it. You nailed it. Well, uh, normally, uh, this is where we do a recap of the last few days' matches, but I thought uh, we'd shake things up today and do it a little bit uh, differently with some wordplay. This scares me. You shouldn't be scared, don't worry. This is how it's going to work. We're going to show a round uh, to Mimi and to Mike, and both of you will have to cast it with some specific words uh, that we've given you to work into. It's completely random word generate. Are they generator. Spanish? What kind of words um, are they? They're English words. Yes, and I think Alex was the one that did it, so you can trust her. I feel like okay. you can. Okay. Oh, so they're English. English. Okay, well, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit of a relief. Uh, Mimi, you are going first, okay. and you are given the task of casting a round of Paper X versus oh, KCB. Oh, wow. Well. Negotiate extra Terrestrial and dough. Have fun with this one. Terrestrial. That's free. Okay. All right. Let's start the clip. Roll it. All right. Where are we? Uh, round 17 here. Casey setting up for an A hit. They're going to use this Yoru to dive in to start this one and try and negotiate their way forward off of this ultimate from Martin. Spotted out towards the backside. Narrate on the dive, but just clearing the first section of this site. Now into the back lines for Saken, just needing the kills like dough <laughs> or something. Nah, like come on. Lines. Now the flank becomes the biggest factor in this round. Paper X will work their way back on through, and the dog doesn't clear the close corner. Tamazi has already found one and has more for his troubles ahead of him. Support from a flash across the way. It's from downtown, an extraterrestrial even making his mark on Come the on. round. Come that on. Was, that was good no, enough for government work. No. 
and they're gonna finish this off. Munyet gets two, and it's a quick rotation back over towards this B site. Plant should come down in time, but there's already Mind Freak ahead. He's on the angle, will find a shot, and knocks him out of the park. Last man standing in a 1v3. Doesn't have much of a chance at this one. Nade forward, flash on his line, narrate on the swing, already gets a double, and got it down to a 1v1 to Vi. Biding his time on a drop. This is a very long clip, and I'm still passing. <laughs> I did all the words, but Tavai wins it. I thought you were gonna like work extra, extra. I can't say that word. Yeah, with like, with like mind free. I thought you were uh, gonna maybe do something. I'm not right, that smart. So maybe like that. you should have done it. Yeah, I can't even pronounce. Wait, the word. I demand a recount because you started with yeah. negotiate, not negotiation. You didn't even read the word correctly. Negotiate, oh. negotiate. It's a different oh. conjugation. The word, you, you, minus 30, I just got it in. Kevin, oh. Kevin said, it was Kevin, it wasn't on us. Uh, but Hypox, since you think you can do better, how about we well, take a look at your round? Yeah. This is going to be, think you can once, uh, once I see my gonna words, It's going to be loud maybe. versus EDG here. Oh, this is so free. This so is free. actually these really words. free. This is teed up. But loud EG. EDG. I'm worried about the round. Is it going to be another long one, or? Here we go. Oh, oh. we're on this round, so she's right. So 6-2 to the score, round nine. See, looking out for a little bit of pressure towards A main. Slow creep, too easy here with the operator. Trying to distribute some of that pressure ahead of this site coming through. Not an awful lot happening on this. How Thank you very much for pressure. choosing this clip in particular, because we're frozen right now outside. Dewey's pick onto nobody, able to TP away now. EDG looking to counteract this. Trying to shift their transmission into the top gear. Boo. Ahead of this site here, a little bit cheesy on there, but. Now, actually, Smoggy acting as a taxi for the spike. Like I that. like it. Yeah. Coming through here. A very slow round, actually. Why did we pick this one? 55 seconds left on the clock now. TP coming across. Haldong into sight now. Spike still not taxied into a site, but finally a making its way in. Double whammy, Mike. Actually, fault line coming through. That's going to distribute some of the players on site elsewhere, but no pressure coming through. Spike finally coming through. Clip is lasting quite a while as well. 26 HP left on Kang Kang. Shout out here by QCK. 77 HP. I've already done the words, so I'm just going to keep talking over this clip. Unless you want me to redo one, you can tell me now. You, you want to do her words? Extraterrestrial? Negotiation? Okay, well, well, actually, yeah, now currently in negotiation for the retake coming through. Utility oh, yeah. invested here. QCK going to drop Smoggy. Can't remember the other words here, but I think one was extraterrestrial. Held on, not looking so much so. Shut down here. What's your last word? A stunning introduction of extraterrestrial by saying. And I think load, get extra. the dough. Load, oh. get the dough. Loud, oh. get the dough. Load, <laughs> get the dough. Now, uh, I've, I've confirmed. A Freudian Bars. step at the end. Do I get deducted for well, that? I or? actually have confirmed that neither of us won. And uh, we're no, both losers. You, you don't okay, have the power okay. to do that because I confer with Tak Dabani, who was the judge okay. uh, of wordplay, and he uh, told me that. Uh, Given that you're minus 30 points, I think Mike won it, but just the fracture of minus 25. I like both being losers. So yeah. there's a People minus pass. five point in between you, but, <laughs> but well here's done. But the thing, at the end of the day, really the viewers lost. <laughs> yes, because they had to endure that. Yeah, <laughs> fair point. Yeah, well, uh, no, we let's uh, just <laughs> let's move on to something else because following Monday's matches, we did a draw for the double elimination uh, playoffs bracket coming into this, and it is a clean slate for our top four teams. This is the thing we've seen these matchups. Uh, regionally before, but we haven't seen them internationally just yet. And there is also a lot of history with all four of those teams. But let's start with the easy one. Loud, Mimi, they won world championships uh, and they're back here. Again, with a different iter iteration of this roster, but still making top four. Yeah, absolutely. It it's something new for this Loud roster. It seems like they're always running back, no matter who the players on the team are. Sidak will lead a squad into the top four to get to this point. And I mean, this game versus EDG for them was proof of that. Loud, I think, have continued to get better and better every Every game we've watched of them this tournament, and I mean, this match against EDG was just dominant. Yeah, time and time again, we talk about Loud maybe having a slower start. Masters events particularly, and kind of bubbling up towards playoffs and stuff, but I don't think we've ever seen such a performance versus a team like EDG to really bounce back. And yeah, on the other over. side as well, looking at Paper X, because uh, they've still not won a title. They've it's yeah. eluded them every yeah. single Somehow. time. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it is kind of nonsense that they haven't made it through. Yeah, obviously last year coming the closest, but are you really sold that this is the championship winning team? That's the question I come into the playoffs, particularly with about paper X. Yeah, and I think it's 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 hard to say, right? Because most of their wins in the group stage were re relying on on heroics, on yeah. crazy step ups towards Shocker. the end. Shocker. We haven't seen them come out and like really dominate another top team yet. But it's paper X. It, it's so hard to ever count this team out. Yeah, and lastly for Genji and Sentinels, they haven't. Uh, well, I mean, Sentinels. It's been a very very long time since we've uh, seen them won a title. But how did Genji get here? 
They made top four. I mean, they look, they looked great regionally, and then yeah. they came out here. They upset loud when they were looking weaker, and then they also beat an EDG in a in a two one series. There, for me, I haven't seen quite a ton of Genji yet. It's really hard to place in my mind where they're yes, going to yeah. be in these playoffs. Absolutely great. I remember saying coming out of uh, after the, the the win over Loud, thinking that actually Genji's performance in the follow up series kind of gave context to Loud losing that. Yes. Uh, it's anyone's game, I feel like, at this point. And that brings us to today's MasterCard fan poll. We got two regional rematches on deck, and we want to know which match you think will go the distance. We're going to go uh, three maps, maybe both matches. Uh, we get three mappers as well. So scan the QR code on your screen and cast your vote, and we will have the results a little bit later on. Also, make sure to use the hashtags MasterMadrid and VCT so we can feature you guys on the broadcast as well. Keep those tweets coming. Keep those tweets uh, coming. But uh, there's two people I feel like are never wrong. They have never been wrong ever. Me and Mike, I've heard right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's got to yeah. be us, right? Again. Is, yeah, yeah. And there's two people that have been very wrong. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> let's uh, send it over to them. It's Brand and SciShow. See if they can accurately uh, predict the future. It's time for Bracketology. Hello and welcome to Bracketology. I definitely didn't almost trip over the board that we've got over there. Stage two playoffs edition. You may have just taken a sneak peek at my notebook. Don't worry about that. John Rye has given me some hidden instructions. The script? Potentially the script. Potentially. What, you got in there? what have we got in it? Well, number one is a regional matchup, rematch of the grand finals, because the fans love regional rematches of the grand finals. Well, get them in early. So get them in, in early. early. Yeah, we got them in early. The, the second one was no EMEA in top four. Okay, that's good. Wyatt hates EMEA. Okay, that's so good. So we got that one out early. All right. So we've got next? those two. What next? Um, Paper X lose at the grand finals. Ah, oh, that's tragic yeah. for them, so unfortunately. Paper X, they make it to the grand finals. We don't know how yet, but they, they need to be well, in the grand finals. I think they'll probably make it through the lower bracket because Gen G are favored, in my opinion, in this match. Okay. Well, well, okay, but there's one team that needs to make a lower bracket run because John Riot really loves it when Sentinels play the most oh, matches possible. So send make so it all the way through the lowest. Yeah, Sentinels are going to lose their open matchup. They've got to go all the way through the lowest into the grand finals. But if, but if Paper X lose the grand finals, that means Sen already win. Yes, yeah, so Sen are going to win the grand finals. Unfortunately for viewership, it needs to happen, which means that Loud, Loud ends up winning here, but then they end up. So how does so Paper, Paper X, X must go through the top? Yeah, but this is good. This is good right. because, because okay. teams that do well in scrims they need need to go out early. Okay. So Genji have been undefeated in scrims. They've got to go out in two. Oh, so this is perfect. Perfect according to the script. We're right on schedule right now, honestly. So then that sets up another Loud v Sentinels yeah. at the bottom. Loud v Sentinels matchup. Well, and then Loud won. Loud won, Loud, loud lose. Loud it's lose. a repeat of the America storyline. Oh. Yeah, so Sentinels win. Oh, that is brutal. Yeah, but this it, fits, is, it fits every narrative. It fits every narrative that we could possibly want. I see nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Got it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I mean, I said they're never right, but they whipped out the John Riot script, Mimi. Will they be right this I time? mean, if you just look at history, you know they're going to be right. Every storyline they said there has come true in the past. It has to come true again. Paper X has to be second place. You know, Sandinals have to win for the... It just makes sense to me. Sense. That's, well, not, that's not what I got from that, but we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll move on. We'll wait and so see, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah. Speaking of storylines, let's just dive into our first matchup of the day. It is the Pacific Grand Finals kickoff rematch between Genji and uh, Paper X. And uh, surprisingly, uh, Mike, when we saw this last time, it was not Paper X that came out on top. No, I think that was probably the, I don't want to say the big upset ahead of this, but I guess the fashion in which they closed out that series was very indicative. Obviously, the individual perform on this Genji roster was what carried them through to a pretty comfortable scoreline in the regional finals. Yeah, absolutely. And and this was the Paper X at the time, who I think was really still trying to figure themselves out. They were doing still. a lot of, and they kind of still are, right? They, they were doing this thing that we saw at the beginning of last season too, where they're pulling out all these new different comps. They're kind of trying to discover who they are again. And Genji, on the other hand, they came out swinging this season. They had really clear identity. The entire time they were playing in Pacific, they are a structured team that has very good mid-rounding, that has very good fundamentals, and has players that can absolutely pop up. And I feel like all of those storylines have continued through to their run here in Madrid thus far. It's the same style of play. It's the same performances from players like Texture, from Caron. But the, 
the other thing is, is that Paper X have really improved in the time since that grand final. Well, this is the thing about Paper X, of course. Uh, they they thought maybe after DRX getting knocked out, they would be the one uh, to take the title, take the crown, but it did not happen. However, we did hear from Coach Alex after the press conference when he found out that they will be facing uh, Gen G again, and this is what he had to say. I hope this time around we manage to shut Texture down, beat up Caron, try our best. They really manhandled us last finals, and we hope we get it right this time. I mean, uh, Mike, for the sake of their uh, tournament run, we do hope they get it right this time. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think individually, I mean, identifying the threats here, Texture and Caron both individually, I think, are having a top five performance so far at this event. Quietly, Caron, Texture more so the headliner, but um, the concern being really for for Paperx is, is around who is that front line, right? With all this kind of composition shifting and I don't want to say losing themselves a little bit, but trying to figure out what the next step of W Gaming is, which Alex has said time and time again. It's a hot discussion right now of whether or not Paperx are actually on the right track to find sustainable improvement. I mean, it's easier said than done, but for more on Paperx, let's send it over to Mika Fabs, who caught up with Mind Freak. Hey, Mind Freak, what's going on? Feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. All right, so Gen G, of course, gave a very strong performance against PRX in the Pacific Finals, which wasn't too long ago. What do you think is different with, PR, with, different with PRX this time around, and why shouldn't Gen G assume that they're fighting the same team? I think actually we feel the same, like nothing is different because like right now, like we said before, our team performance is not our peak performance yet. So maybe right now we're just playing in not, not in their home turf, so yeah. All right, well, let's see what happens. Good luck. Thank you. I mean, if they're the same, they, they yeah. lost, right? So Mimi, uh, this doesn't seem like a good sign. Yeah, it, it's so weird. Paper yeah. X's really tournament has weird. had the lowest confidence we've ever seen from them. Alex comes on the desk, he's like, yeah, the boys have no confidence. We're yep, a six yep. out of 10. We just don't have it. But seemingly, they lack all that confidence. And every series they've played at Madrid thus far, they somehow find it in themselves, the second half of map three, and then probably lose it again. Yeah, it, it, it's so strange to and we were talking about you know not really knowing where to place G, gen g but paper x has always had this kind of image like what paper x do we get right i mean we've seen examples here the second half of split versus heretics is like one of the peaks of paper x to, to be honest on the international stage in my eyes the way they performed in that second half is up there with some of their best performances but I mean, they're saying they, they lack confidence. They're at a 6 out of 10 right now. They're making weird composition changes that don't really make a lot of sense from the outside looking in. And then we get to interviews and they're like, yeah, we, we kind of don't know what we're doing at times, but it worked. Yeah, but that then brings us to the question you were asking earlier, Mike, of like, what is the next step for yeah. this team? Because because that's what Alex the was saying, The logical next right? step, but then you throw logic out the window because it's Yeah, that's, so it's... that's the thing. But when you look, when you try and apply logic to this team, it doesn't make sense. For instance, some of the comps they're playing, they're, they're running a comp on Lotus with no Sentinel, playing double duelist, double and still double with the sky without as a well. Viper, <laughs> with the old sky. Like so many of the decisions they're making seem so off. And in the past, when we've seen Paper X make these decisions, we get things like they're they're like rain of sky comps where they're cooking they're coming up with something creative but nowadays it really does feel like some of these ideas are slipping through the cracks but that stands in contrast to moments where this team is looking incredible yeah. like you brought up that second half of split i think when they're playing on bind that comp very well thought through very well cooked paper x really seems like a team in transition right now that it's, again, so hard to figure out where to place them because of that. I, I'm just going to, I mean, I'm an OG paper girl. I'm going to come in and maybe <laughs> channel a bit of paper thin uh, as well for this. Is okay. that every single time people do have those questions, is this the end of W Gaming? When do they stop getting away with this? They get away with it. So, I mean, you know, look, we've I, seen it. We've look, been here before. We've been here before. I absolutely, I still think they're the most entertaining team to watch. I think that's kind of undisputable. Yeah, but when you hear them coming out and talking the way they're talking, that's when you make them doubt a little bit. Yeah, and we're going to talk about Forsaken as well, because Forsaken has been on it, and we've seen the rays come out of him, Mimi, uh, for the first time here. Yeah, I think in terms of things that have improved since that Pacific final, Forsaken is a big piece of that. He wasn't doing too He's great nuts, when yeah. they played regionally. Yeah. And at Masters, Madrid, this guy has showed up and looked incredible. He's picking up the race. He's playing seemingly every role possible. The guy playing the most agents in this tournament right now, and he looks electric on all of them, while also being a big voice in this team, Mike. Yeah, I, I think as well, if, if this is an indicator for kind of maybe rethinking some of the compositions, obviously Monia having a, a different place within the team, putting Forsaken back in 
I don't want to say the driving seat now that Jing's gone, but uh, maybe building some compositions that are more focused around Forsaken and his current performance and form could be the key for Paper. And we've seen that, right? They're switching him onto raise on maps. Yep. They're giving him those moments yep. where he can be confident. And, and these are the things we have to walk away from. That is why Paper X is a contender, because Absolutely. they have players stepping up. Because even if something's having a bad tournament, you still have Forsaken, you still have Munyet, you still have guys who will step up and win these games, even against the best. Yeah, and the thing is, you say put him on. He's putting him himself on those things. Alex yeah, Peterson yeah, is yeah. Forsaken that comes up with this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Genji's Munchkin actually I had a, a, an opinion of Forsaken's raise, and I don't think you can get a higher <laughs> praise, Hypog, on a raise than <laughs> saying that you look like Jing. <laughs> yeah, that's up there with some of the best accolades you can receive. Um, uh, again, it just came, it, it comes down to the sustainability for me, it is what is the go-to, what, what is kind of the, you know, the, the I, I guess the new form of these compositions and whether or not uh, Forsaken switching onto the raise is something they adopt across the rest of the map pool or not something now with uh, picking up the gecko more and more, if that's something that he tries to adopt a little more, what what is the change? Yeah, and the last time Texture caused him a lot of problems back at the Pacific final. And speaking of Texture, let's send it back to Mika Fabs, uh, who was awaiting to hear from Texture actually. Check this out. Hey, Texture, come over here for a bit. I uh, hope you're feeling good because today is going to be a big, big day. This is the strongest that Genji has uh, looked so far. A lot of people think the same thing. Uh, what do you think contributes to the team's success uh, here at this tournament? And we have Eric here to help with uh, some translation. 지금 현재 젠지가 정말 좋은 경기력을 보이고 있는데 지금까지 젠지가 이런 성과를 거둘 수 있는 데 있어서 가장 큰 요인은 뭐라고 생각하시나요? 어 그냥 저희끼리 소통 잘 하고 그냥 총잘 쏘는 거 그게 다인 것 같습니다. Honestly, I think it's just us talking really well and hitting our shots really well. I think that's it. All right. Well, eager to see what you guys have prepared for Paper X. Come on, Thank you. Good luck. I mean, this is the thing with Paper X. They had a bit of confidence issues. They admit they're struggling. But Mimi, Genji are on the other side of the scale. They look and feel great right now. Yeah, and in particular, all of the wind conditions from Pacific have continued into this one. People ask, is Karen as a rookie going to be able to show up and look incredible? He's done that. Is Texture going to be able to maintain this performance? He's shown up. He's done that. I think there can be, though, an argument made that maybe they played some, some weaker opposition, right? They played teams when they weren't at their height. It was loud in their first first match of this event, it was an EDG who was really looking like they were crumbling towards the end of that series. But I think that's not what I focus on. What I focus on is that they're on an international stage. They're playing against a variety of different styles, a variety of different opponents, and I think they're doing still a very good job of maintaining this structured style that they perfected in Pacific while still having the, the individuals to pop up when they need them. Sure. I mean, I would counter that by saying bringing a team like this with, uh, I guess, the international experience that here that some of these teams do have to come out and beat loud regardless of form uh, a qualifying to madrid sure. loud uh, that's got that's got to be a big bonus for them and the, the key thing for me is seeing the energy on stage it matches what uh, how genji looked at regionals well i mean the opening series wise they struggled versus secret but still the energy was super high karen was having standout performances time and time again munchkin and texture alongside that for me that they're, they're looking very comfortable i mean let's talk about karen a bit more because on day one we did say how does he compare to the other rookies? We had a lot of exciting prospects coming from every single region, and now we've seen him in the group stage. How does he uh, compare? He, he looks just as good. Uh, quite honestly, he looks just as good. He could even look better in some of these games. He's still winning these clutches. He's still a consistent fragger. But what I want to talk about more is his presence on the stage. You look exactly. at this, these exactly. clips, Every time his team is winning, even when his team is losing, this guy is standing up, he's screaming at the opponents, he's bringing the energy. He's such a young guy. This is his first global event. He's a guy they found in ranked, yeah, but he's bringing yeah. the vibe against the best. And having a player like that is so important for any team. And he's, he's dropping some cold lines as well. Was it before Loud? He's like, yeah, well, they won a championship when I wasn't even I wasn't playing. even playing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's coming out here. He's got the energy. Too he's, cold. He's, he's, you know, transcending that to the rest of his team as well, and also mimicking that with his performance. In my eyes, I mean, I'll go ahead and say we're only entering playoffs now, but I don't think we've had such a quietly consistent performance from a standout controller rookie, obviously outside of Duelist, at any international event so far. I, I, I can't think of any If he keeps wise. this up, I really think he's in the conversation yeah. for, like, best rookie performance. I mean, Absolutely. Demon 1 probably last year was the next best thing, but this guy's getting close to, to, to keeping up that kind of performance. Hey, he was barely competing when Demon 1 was winning as True. well. So That's even yeah. crazy. We keep That's saying it's a new era. So. Yeah, that is the other thing. Uh, but it's time for the result of our MasterCard fan poll. Earlier, we asked you if 
Today's regional matches would go the distance and you said that you believe the Sentinels versus Loud One will. I feel like, Mike, I think both games will. Yeah, fingers crossed for both. Yeah, that that, that yeah. would have been me for sure. Uh, no shock to see uh, Sentinels and Loud the winning is, a Twitter poll. People who don't think Genji and Paper X are going to go to three, who do you think is going to two out? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough call. Probably Genji. I, I, I feel like, like probably, yeah, but, yeah. but still, I feel like general fan sentiment has been very high on Paper X still. Yeah, and we won't have to wait long to find out. But first, let's find out today's map pool and check in with Victoria and our coaches. All right, welcome to the first map select presented by Omen of Playoffs at Masters Madrid. Um, Gen G, you are the higher seed as you came into Playoffs 2-0 from Swiss. So would you like Team A or Team B? Yeah, team B. Team B. So Paper X, you will be Team A, and we will start with your first band. Icebox. Icebox, your band? Sunset. Sunset, and map number one from Paper X. Split. Split, side on split. Attack. Attack, and map number two. Lotus. Lotus, side on Lotus. Attack. Attack. Next set of bands starting with Paper X, you have Ascent, Bind, and Breeze. Yeah, band Breeze. Band Breeze. Your band, you have Ascent and Bind. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Ben bind. Ben bind. Map number three by default is ascent. Paper X side on ascent. Attack. Attack. All right. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Well, 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 we've seen these maps already when they played against each other last time. Not in the same order, and Amimi Split is going to come up first, uh, the one that Paper X did actually manage to win. Yeah, for Split, honestly, that's a map I don't have too many questions about. Both these teams play very sane comps. They've both been rocking with the double duels. I, I think what we should be fixating on this series is Lotus, because Paper Rex have struggled to figure that map out. We were talking about it earlier, Mike, but last time they played that, double duelist, double controller with no Viper, no Killjoy. They got ripped to pieces by K-Core, and K-Core is excellent at Lotus. But I think that map, to me, is the pinnacle of where Paper X is still trying to find themselves, where they don't have a comp that really works. I think that weakness in the map pool could really be exploited today. Ab absolutely agree with that. I mean, I mean, it was a real head scratcher to see the way that they played that comp as well. It wasn't as if, you know, we've got the sky, you know, we're going to front load some of these rounds and be hyper aggressive, guarantee that we're in our sights, let the Astra kind of flourish it in a post plant scenario. But um, it, it's, it, it's a bit concerning if they don't change that up. But the next question then becomes, it's like, where do they go again? Do, have they now had the time to re-prep? We know Paper X can turn around comps very, very quickly, but uh, it, it just feels like such a big gap between where they were versus KC and where they need to be to make Lotus not a glaring concern in their map. Board. I will also say, though, Alex, in the press conference, he said uh, the Lotus comp that they did end up uh, coming out with against KC, it was a Hail Mary. He was yes. like, we are struggling. That's just so terrifying we to hear. The whole, like, we had to do something, and uh, it was a good enough and no, no it wasn't yeah. quite no. frankly it wasn't they got rolled they got rolled by <laughs> carmen corn i don't think the comp was good but the thing is it's paper rex and i hate to see i hate to say that because i love to be the person like oh they're not playing good comps they're gonna lose mm, they're they're the team that's up but the thing is that this team seemingly even when they have that hole the maps that they have no business winning they continue that's to win at exactly. this event and that's the thing that's the hot topic right now is like oh you guys keep down paper x and you know they always end up getting because themselves it's, it's the logical thing it's to do the to logical thing them. to do but they are the team to defy logic yeah i just that that lotus comp is the one that's a bit out the window. Sure. In my eyes, that's a little too far past it to really justify. We're also not taking nothing away from Carmine Core being a fantastic Lotus team. Maybe was it, it was exposed, you know, exponentially more so than another team. I want to pull out from the map veto for a second and just talk about this rematch. I mean, yeah. first of all, <laughs> yeah. yes, he's correct. But but also for Genji, think about what this would mean if they could beat Paper X a second time. For so many of those players, it's their first time on an international stage. It's their biggest match ever. They made it to playoffs when so many people doubt them and now they're again playing basically the kings of their region if they could beat them a second time here in madrid make it into the upper finals guarantee a top three spot at their first global tournament that would be 
an incredible moment for this yeah, squad. Yeah, I think as well, when you think about teams and their first step onto the international stage or players individually, you talk about kind of validations, what does it? And claiming an international veteran like Paperex would be the second leg to closing out the grand finals regionally versus them in my eyes. Yeah, I, I, looking at the fan vote here, uh, Gen G fans, where are you at? Also, shout out to Ulysses, by the way, who's currently hyping out the Gen G fans and the Paperex fans as well. Uh, but where do you guys sit with here? Are you 11% feeling like Gen G? <laughs> I think Gen G's going to win today. I, I feel like they're favored in this matchup. I, I think especially looking at that, this map pool, seeing that Lotus has made its way in. Yeah. Gen G have just been so consistent throughout 2024. Their players have been stepping up to a new level, and it really feels like at some point, the Paper X magic won't be able to work anymore. This is the thing, it comes back to the same old for me. My heart says Paper X, my, my head says Gen G, yeah. unfortunately. I think as well, if some of these individuals on Gen G continue their performance, or even, you know, start improving on the performance we've seen far, you know, bubbling up with the, the tournament now coming into playoffs, a little bit more prep time. That's a real concern for Paper X if they're going to try and pull out some comp changes or really switch up the way they've been playing if they've gone into that level of detail of the games we've seen already here in Madrid. Yeah, but that's the thing. Uh, we do have also another curse. You know, we got the uh, the Night 3 curse. We have a few curses in this tournament. But whenever there's a rematch, Whenever that happens, it does feel like the team that's lost before is somewhat favored going into it again. Yeah, there certainly is. Yeah. I, I think there's a, there's a pressure to do more, to improve, to look back on that match and learn from it. And Paper X is a lot better than them. The individuals have stepped up. They've gotten closer to finding their identity again throughout this tournament. I, I think that this is a moment for Paper X that if they can dispatch Genji here, make it on forward, this is finally the game where it can kind of dispel the doubts that everyone has had around this team, around if they can do it again, on, on if they just have to rely on these hero plays, especially if they can do so dominantly or in two against Gen G, which I think will be really tough against a good opponent. I don't think this is a two hard. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think there's any world where that happens, but if they can come out here and get a confidence win, not only is that people looking at them better, but for themselves, right? They're still rating themselves a six out of 10. Exactly. There's still low confidence. I They're think they always need a 10 a win out of 10 today. for me, always. <laughs> No bias. No bias no, on the desk no. here at all. But no, I, I absolutely agree. I, I think as well, it's it's really telling if, if to hear Paper X talk the way they have, they haven't spent these last few days trying to reinvent the wheel almost, because that's that's the level of extreme I think you need to go to. To hear Alex saying, W Gaming's run its course, we need something else, now's the time to pull it out. And as you said, Mimi, this might just be the one that actually gives them the confidence that they need. We are down to our final four team. So let's get the playoffs started. It's Genji versus Paper X and Sentinels taking on Loud. Day six of Masters Madrid starts right now. Hello. <laughs> Dap each other up real quick. What? Dap. High, five, high five each other real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing against you guys in screams back in, mm -hmm. in Iceland. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. And, uh, it's since been that. a hot minute. Yeah. yeah I, I remember you guys were, were insane back then. I'm super, I'm super happy you guys are here representing yeah. the night with us. It's good for a change. Nobody is standing in Loud's way as Loud make their way to the playoffs easily. Uh, com certeza, acho que essa última partida foi o nosso pico de, de performance até agora no, no nosso time novo. Sentinels have done it! Sen City here to play! At this point, everyone wants to beat us. So far, it hasn't worked out for them, and I don't think it will. Cara, a adaptação do QSK está sendo muito boa. Eu acho que ele nasceu para jogar com o duelista. QSK! They just slaughtered BDG! At the end of the day, uh, anyone can like take it and win it. It's Valorant, so it's true. Just who plays better that day? Can we win the muscles between me and Genji? I mean, definitely. And even if we don't make it far, I hope 
they do win the trophy for us for the Asia Pacific League. Last game against Genji was a pet final and we didn't manage to win. 이제 플레이오프 진출이 원래는 첫 목적이었는데 Genji this team looks scary. Valakia it is a return to greatness. 너무 이루게 돼서 기쁜 것 같고 남은 경기도 이제 잘 준비해야 할것 같습니다. Manet played very well, especially with his calls and stuff. Like he's very confident, unlike the previous matches. I'm very proud of him. Our new kid in the block is ready. You're not gonna meet the same Paper X. 일단 저희가 이제 딱히 증명을 해야 될 필요는 없는 것 같고요. 그냥 네? 뭐 무시당할 그것도 없는 것 같아요. We've seen this matchup before, and last time Genji became the king of Pacific. But this is a different stage, and a stage that Paper X have conquered over and over again. These teams uh, they have faced in Pacific, but then that was Genji proving themselves for their first time. People could write that off as an upset, as a one-time run, but now they're here in Madrid. They've done it again. They've made it to playoffs. They have another chance. I think if they can beat Paper X today, they can cement themselves as the best team from Pacific coming into this event, as a team who could compete for that title. But they're up against a Paper X that no matter how logical you think about them, no matter yes. what you think is going to happen with this team, they always surprise. They always find that miracle. And that's what makes playing them so damn scary. Yeah, Paper X is the definition of any given Sunday, really, of what you get on the day, especially now we're thrown into the mix of potentials for composition changes to come out. Paper X looking back at their previous performances, not feeling fantastic about it. Gen G now don't necessarily have a very familiar opponent in that regard. What other team will play a comp for the first time after scrimming it once and then show up and look terrible FPX. in the first half, win in the not second, me, not, not, not to the me, same yeah. level? <laughs> <laughs> Not to the same level, though, man. They, they show up, they make a miracle happen, and then you'll talk to them after and like, yeah, we just weren't feeling it. I like, mean, <laughs> they, they, they're ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, on the veins of Navi Angel, he does currently hold the record for the most agents played in a single tournament, but Forsaken is one away. If he just whips out a seventh, uh, a different He's agent gonna play here, I mean, we, in, I mean, we see, yeah, we, we see in, the, we see the, the in map half, here, yeah. In half the amount of maps, too, because Angel did it in 21. Oh, okay, so. okay. <laughs> So uh, maybe maybe that is the key. Like you guys said, Forsaken, he has been creating a lot of the stuff here. And at least individually, Mike, he's been doing well. He's on form. Yeah, definitely. I, I think just to double on from that, the real test for Gen G would be as well, if Paper X do completely, especially the fact that we're, we're, we're starting where we are, to start on split. Uh, if, if that composition gets changed, it'll be another validation for Gen G to come out, obviously prep out the window and just perform bread and butter Valorant, which they've shown time and time again. They've looked very, very clean so far here in Madrid in terms of curveballs coming their way. They can do that versus a team like Paper X that are willing to just kind of push all in on a comp first time, bringing it out on international stage. Massive, massive battle. For the thing is, normally, normally when we say that on a desk or on a cast about, oh, you have to do it against Paper X, that's the exception. Gen G is used to that. They've played this team twice before. They know about the chaos and they've adapted to it very well. We're in Agent Select and it's 
it's standard for once in a paper X. Standard? Game. It's yeah, double standard. duelist style. Standard. It's the old standard from yes. last yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. The teams have moved away from this, but it is still a good comp that I think works very well to these teams' play styles. Yeah, and I guess as well, banding the madness that was the Yoru comp as well, coming out from the split, which was the iteration that Gen.G played against last time in the regional finals. I'm looking in this matchup at the head-to-head -head between the rookies. Monyet and on the Absolutely. other side, yep. out from Caron. Both those guys have come out in their debut international tournament and looked incredible. They're both on the run for one of the best rookie performances we've seen. And probably been the two loudest on the stage as well. Yeah, well, let's get this Pacific showdown underway and send it over to your casters, who's been very familiar with the journeys of these uh, two teams. Bienvenidos de nuevo a la transmisión oficial en Tagalog de Masters Madrid. Somos tus casters, Vil y Rey Rey. Uh, Hakui. Y estoy muy entusiasmado con lo que va a pasar porque será PRX vs Gen G, la rematch. Oh, feel ko na intindihan ko. Welcome sa rematch ng uh, Gen G at oh, ng Paper X. Oh. Kasama nga pala si Bill at si Riri. At kanina oh, yan, yun, yun. ang shortcasters na nakapula kami. Dahil oh. ang team na cheer namin dito ay Sentinels. <laughs> oh, actually, tsaka PRX nga, di ba? I mean, oh. sobrang sayang kasi second series yung Sentinel, pero si Kuya Bill hindi pwede. <laughs> dahil meron siyang pupunta ang malayong lugar. So, sobrang sayang lang talaga. Pero we are really hoping na mapunta nga sa Grand Finals ni Sentinel tapos kalaban nila PRX. Shish! <laughs> Napakaganda noon, men. Pero ayun... <laughs> Ko eh, no? <laughs> Pero yun nga, um, uh, maayong bone thug sa uh, mga nanonood dyan sa Twitch, sa Facebook, sa mga YouTubero nating mga tropa dyan. Ray Ray, balita ako, bago, bago, bago tayo magsimula, tindera ka ng super sa supermarket. <laughs> Oo, isa na talaga akong businesswoman at business-minded. Uh -huh. At also, may isa pa akong alam na isang business, mind your own business. Ah, yan talaga yung pinakaantay uh -huh. nga natin dyan. Pero yun nga, big shoutout sa mga nanonood dyan. At saka yung tragi na antay natin. Big shoutout nga po pala sa mga tropa pa nating masukid na naluno at saka kay uh, anti TTV ayun sana sa pupula sa inyo at saka sa mga tropa natin diyan um, sana uh, gumising kayo kasi balita ko magugumpisa na tayo inaantay lang natin si direct na yung pisan nga to pero yun nga this gonna be um, yung sobrang lakas sa APAC which is uh, PRX kalaban ng nagchampion Back then, which is ang uh, Gen G. So, this is going to be really interesting kung talaga sila natin makikita natin dito at hindi dito, Bessie. Kaya nga eh, talagang uh, parang nangyari lang din later on, which is going to be Loud versus Sentinels, mga kanya-kanyang Grand Finals. Last time nung nanood nga tayo ng sarili-sariling kick-in para sa mga ano natin. Um, That's true teams. Pero ngayon, habang uh, hinihintay natin mag-send, i-shout out na natin sa mga nanonood. Si Pico sa likod. <laughs> si Pico Hello, sa likod. Nocturnal <laughs> yan. Oo, oh, si Pico, di siya makakatulog. Ang ingay ng amo niya. Wala siya magagawa dun, man. <laughs> Pero, uh, yun nga, um, sa mga tropa natin dyan, yun, yun, yun. shoutouts nga po pala sa inyo. Kasi, lalong-lalo na sa mga friends nga natin na talagang tumatangkilik sa VCT. Mm. Eh, talagang, uh, kung wala kayo, guys, uh, wala nga po pala kami. Pero ayun, may mga nagko-comment dyan. Yun, si Takao TV, sila Super Fairy. Shoutout kay Mubot, men. Baka hindi sila shoutout. Eh. Yun nga, si... si... <laughs> shoutout. <laughs> <laughs> Baka si hindi siya na shoutout. Pero si, si Anti TV, ayun. Yun. Shoutout nga po po sa Si Watashiwari, ayun. Watashiwa Vildes. Ayy! Hey! <laughs> naging nakiging Japan nga nakagat dito naman sa ano oh, uh, Japan. kay Neko-chan kay Christopher <laughs> tsaka kay Jelin Espiritu hello sa inyo at tsaka syempre kay Luis yung ating direct kay oh, Dubi Kundra tsaka si ano tsaka si si Tim yan, yan. Na, na, yeah. naririnig tayo sa kabilang Discord kasi syempre kasama ko si May diba tapos hindi tapos syempre hindi sila sabi ko kay May huwag ka magmute hayaan mo ang marinig ng mga, kala, mga kambi mo wala kang paki dyan kasi kasi sabi nandito na for a second brother yung, yung, yung kanyang pinsyal mga tropa pero may mga patay pa pero mukhang wala naman ata Diyos ko nakalimutan ko na magkas ang tagal na kasi yung huli <laughs> <laughs> ang tagal na ng BCT na pero ang lakas kaga ng Paper X map to pick nga talaga nila to at texture na lang together with Karun at uh, wala silang nagawa ang bilis nun pati observer natin nalito na ayun uh, na nga talaga yung pinakamalungkot nga talaga if ever mangyayari pero importante dalawa, tatlo na yun na wala nga sa sarang ngayon ng Genji at ang PRX talagang gigil na gigil na at maganda yung position nila dito may isipin mo may pencil na may, may tao pa sa ramps so, it will be really hard for you to determine kung saan pa talaga pupunta and saan pa talaga nagbabantay yung mga players nga dito ng Paper X but right now for the side of Genji this is, be, this is gonna be really difficult for them to do so 2v5 tapos boss boss pa yung isa oo may armor ka pero one tap lang sa ulo man wala ka na magagawa 
Wala na talaga. Ikaw na lang kagad mag-isa karon and Monia together with the vibe. Tinapos na nga kagad si Texture together with karon. At alam mo, Vil, sa dami-daming matches ng Paper Rex, dito lamang sa split, sa wakas na nanalo na din sila ng uh, mga take pagdating sa, hindi lang lamang sa pistols, no? yung laking improvement lang nila. Kasi dito natin nila naranasan yung OT, yung matalo, binugbog, and against Genji, ah, knowing na ganito kagad yung start nila, feel ko magiging promising to ngayon. This is a really good start nga pagdating nga sa kanila, pero tignan natin kung hanggang, sa, kung hanggang saan ba makakarating. Ito talaga aggression nila. Kasi kitang kita mo naman, umpisa pa lang si something gigil na gigil. Ah! Sumisigaw-sigaw na agad siya. Pero dito naman sa side ngayon ng Paper Rex. Wala na silang pakailang talaga press W esports na talaga nga para sa kanila. May snake bite pa. Oh no! Paano nila gagawin to? Pero sabi ng Genji, magkantay lang tayo. Magka-flash lang muna sila. At ganyan, papasok nga sila. Pero anong gagawin mo? Kung wala kang makita kahit isa yung parang nila sa mukha-mukha nila mga, mga tropa. Pero yun na nga. Muna will catch one of your hands. Isang slakya! Makakapitas nilang isa. Ang bilis ka agad. Buti na lang kagad si mga taga Genji. Iti isa-isa isa ang mga taga Paper X. Pero bumawin si Dabai together with something. At 2-0 na nga kagad. Vil, kinakabahan ako. Feel ko mananoise complaint ako eh. Ah, talaga ba? Ah, no. yun lang. Kasi dito kasi sa Marikina, mga tropa, nakausap ko na yung barangay chairman namin. Sabi ko, Tol, pag meron ka narinig si Misigaw dito sa, sa bahay namin, okay lang yun, Tol. Naglalaro lang kami, nagkakas lang kami. Kasi parang sinasabi daw kasi nila, lagi na, gabi-gabi, meron kami narinig na patay, patay, bomba, dito sa bahay na to. O nakakatakot <laughs> naman talaga, di ba, pag nasa barangay ka? <laughs> Ako, hindi. Iba yung sumbungan dito eh. Lo, shout out ah. nga pala sa kapit ba yun, kahit nag... Kahit ano kayo dyan, may ingay kayo dyan, di yung nagko-complain. Kaya bigayan lang tayo yeah. ngayon. Pero to something, Oy! bigayan. Dahil meter, nakuha ka agad siya. Although 10 HP, gate damage pa rin naman. Pero wala eh. Ang hirap naman bumoto kung sino mananalo dito. Kasi parehas, gusto ko manalo eh. Yun yun talaga. Pero sa side ngayon ni Lucky, okay lang naman. Kasi may heal naman siya kahit pa paano. So may sustain sila. Kung baga, pero yung something, wala talaga magagawa. Kasi nga patay ka na. Pero si Manchka, magkikita ka tayo si Monyet dito. Pero mambaot muna sila. Okay, yung information is here already. And there's a chance they can actually take A and mid again at mukhang mid take muna ata to pero maganda ang crossfire nga na pinapakita nilang dalawa pero may pa flash ba okay Uh, mukhang wala ata. Hindi mo na sila magpapakita dito. Kumbaga, kailangan mo na nilang gumalaw dito na medyo dahan-dahan lang. Ayun na nalaga nung magpakita sa defending side ng Paper X. At ito yung nakakatakot ha. Sa defending side magsa-start ang Paper X. Eh yung mga ano natin, mga nakakabawi sila whenever they're on the second half on the defense side. So talagang dapat dito maka-accumulate sila ng marami. Kung ito magiging tie, this might go into the hands of Genji at hindi imposible na matu 0 sila ng uh, Genji. Ang lakas ng Genji, no? Grabe din yung growth ng team na to. Nakaka-proud actually yung nangyari sa kanila. That's true, pero wala silang ka-idea idea at all na nasabi na pala yung mga kalaban. At ito nga yung execution na gagawin nga nila. And lahat sila, nilabas na lahat mga utility sila. Yung flash, yung paranoia, ng general, yung shadow, pa yung isa. Pero yung mga players ngayon na paper, syempre, talagang literal na wala pa silang ginagawa. Pero ito na yung pag-rotate na nga nila. Sabi nila, sige, feeling ko nasabi na talaga. Nag-smoke pa si Karon. Nag-smoke pa si Karon. Pero yung mga players ngayon na paper, Rex, din sa hyper rotation nga na ginagawa nila. Kailangan may taas sa mawa, kailangan may taas sa taas. Pero sino ba yung aakit? Which is sa Mind Freak naman ata. Pero wala silang ka-idea idea na si Mind Freak. Yung kalaban niya, ang sistection na sa gilid lang nga. Yung paranoia. We'll connect on to these players right now. Pero sistection medyo patagal pa ating ginagawa nga nila for sake of the cast one or penny. Pero kita ko, 2v1. And yun na nga, mukhang mawawala na nga. Kasi nga, Genji, mananalo na. 2-1! Ang pinapakita nila, Gucci. Gucci lang. Goods lang. Sheesh. Ano lang eh. Talagang relax lang ang Genji ngayon na Bill. Hindi naman nila kailangan talagang masyadong lumalim pa pagdating sa retake ngayon matatalo sila. Pero itong hold talaga ni texture napakalaki na net. Sayang walang trade off nga. That's what you've said. Yun nangyari. And all of those, those screaming talaga, it works sa side ng Genji ngayon. At kita naman natin din yung difference ng meron din pagdating sa hawak ng paper X. Oh, Kailangan talaga nila mag-bamba out dito kasi nga napakagandang aggression na pinapakita nga ng Genji. Ganito lang yan, di ba? I mean, alam naman natin yung paper next. Talagang press W esports na yung ginagawa na itong mga taong to. So, the number one na pwede mong tapatan sa isang press W esports, eh talagang tapatan mo lang din talaga ng press W lang din. Kung baga, banggaan kayo. Ganun lang yan, men. Um, banggaan sa split. Yun, di ba? Kasi ang daming mga event Tama. ngayon sa Facebook, di ba? O, ganun. <laughs> <laughs> Antayin nyo guys, meron akong gagawin na event sa Facebook bukas, ipopost natin yan. Antayin nyo so, yan bukas mga tol.
<laughs> Sumo wrestling best. <laughs> Oo, oh, sa Japan Home Center. <laughs> oh, yun na nga. Pero sa Dubai, mga matay din natin. Pero maganda 3 to 5, pinapakita nila. Pero mga screen laki, nakabawi na. Pero nakita 2v3, all very baba kayo pa ba. Pero feeling ko, hindi na. Si Sam tinagang natira. Naka-operator pa siya. Pero yun nga lang, tatlo pa ang kalaban niya. At napakahirap nga na ito. If ever, hindi siya makapit sa dalawa. Kasi nga, alam niyo, matatalo siya. <laughs> Save ka na lang something. Out ka na dyan. Mahirap na makipag-sumo wrestling sa mga yan. Pero kung ginawa mo sa Ace Hardware yan, baka manalo ka na dyan. Oo nga. Napakahirap na talaga. Pero parang nila gagawin. Something nilang natitira. Pero eto, I mean, alam na alam naman natin na talagang matinding rematch nga to besi. Kasi ngayon, last time na nagpakita, na nagkita silang dalawa, eh, Genji ang nanalo doon, di ba? Kaya nga eh, oh. ito na nga eh. Yung history na ito eh, di ba? Nakabawi Genji sa kanil, tapos naging downfall na nga na Peak Perks All Throat. As in, nakakatakot palang looking at this. Tapos kanina yung Sorry. mga angles ng uh, Peak Perks, doon ako nagalang eh. Pinupush nila talagang yung, yung disiplina minsan nawawala. And hindi siya dapat, uh, I mean, nandiyan naman yung press W, pero dapat at, against Genji, medyo mm. predictable na talaga ang Peak Perks eh. Ito, shoutouts nga pala sa mabutihing may bahay ko. Tatago ko sa pangalang uh, Mayka Cabral na nasa gilid ko lang na kung humihingi tayo, kinikilig ngayon. Pero ayun na nga, diba? pinapakita nga natin ngayon. Matinding agresyon nila pinakita ngayon ng Genji. Talagang hindi na diretso na din tata sila. Pero ito yung maganda nga. Ito yung maganda sa side ng Genji. Ah. Parang na-dissect na nila fully kung paano ba maglaro ang Paper Next. Kasi ito lang din talaga yung team na talagang kaya makatalo sa Paper Next. Which is nangyari na nga sa atin yan. Nung... Um, kick-off ng uh, Pacific, which is ang sabi ng Genji, hindi daw sila naharapan si Paper Next sa TS lang. Grabe naman. Honest na honest. Siyempre, guys, <laughs> ang representative natin na isa dito ay Team Secret. Pero ngayon, oh. push lang kagad sa A-side. Tumatag na Genji. Si Force for a second, nakapitas ng isa. Hindi na lang kita si Dubai. Kinontot siya na kagad yung angle na nakuha pa kagad ang baril. Pero siyempre, pinipilit nila ngayon. Si Force for a second naman kagad makakuha ng bell. Pero nga lang nakatato dahil si Force for a second nag-aandal ng angle. At speak of, yun nga agad mangyayari. Isa na lang agad dito. That's gonna be something with that operator. Pero napakalayo niya magsisave nga ba muli siya or hindi. Binuhos na binuhos ng paper like sa mga tao nga ng, ng, nila na apat nga sa A. Well, um, iwan na lang natin si something dyan. Either way, kung makapitas kayo dyan, siyempre mag-rotate lang din kami. At least, napakadami pa natin tao dito. So, if ever na ma-push it, ma out nga natin. Uy, grabe naman yung flick ngayon. Mga tropa, pinagawa oh. yung laki na sa harapan niya. Good trade-off nga na pinapakili dito ng side nga ng uh, Genji. Pero ang importante, three wins na raw nga na pinapakita nila. Pero aside nga ng paper, so nga sila sabi natin kanina, talagang heavy stock na A na nga naman talaga. Well, as long as naman talaga na mga one-tap natin sila, okay lang yun. As long as talaga sila at ekonomiya nila, eh di goods na yun. Which is yun ang ginawa kanina ng uh, paper next sa uh, round na yun. Good eco for themselves. This is just really hard sa side pa rin ng Paper X. Although, ang ganda ng ginawa ng Genji doon, alam nilang naka-operator si something. So, talagang isiswing nila in that way. Lucky again, well and improved. Taga saan ba siya dati? Dati siyang Vision Strikers. Pero yung DRX na yun ngayon, pero nagpahinga siya, pumunta siya sa Tier 2, Tier 3 teams, tapos lumipat na siya sa Genji ngayon. Yeah. Pa Paper X naman, wala, hold na lang talaga muli. Pero sana di na nga sila masyadong lumalip pa yung mga gantong moments kasi nga, gunshots pa lang, parang mas improved talaga ang Genji against them eh. Napakalaki ng improvement nga ng Genji, which is yun yung nakita natin ever since last year, nung Pacific. Talagang kita, kasi back then, I mean, yes, talagang nasa parang mid lang sila. Nasa mid lang. Pero pagdating, ng, pagdating dito sa year na ito, talagang lahat sila nag-improve, lahat sila nag-over the top na. Dumating tayo sa punto nga na talagang wala na talagang talaga magawa yung paper next ngayon. Pero, karoon din ang match ginawa, wala na. Pero sa kutubot muna ng pinshell, pero may matatamaan pa, pero makawala naman ata. Punta kita na 3v4 already forsaken, super low on HP. Pero yung sustain na meron si Davai, yung talagang pinakakailangan natin dyan. Pero yung seekers nila, basta alam nila, nasa ba yung mga ibang tao ngayon ng mga players nga ng Gen G. But right now, for the side of Mind Freak, all you need to do is wait dun sa aggression nga nila at yung mag sila, pero wala siyang idea na may, mayro pang tao dun sa may Ooh. elbow but the vibe will catch you and that is huge already um, sa side nga ng paper Rex pero puti kita 2v2 right oh, now Munchkin will catch one Viper Spit will be activated it's all up to Forsaken on a 1v2 may showstopper pa winnable pa pwede pero medyo mahirap ka nilabas muna yung showstopper mga tropa wala siyang idea hindi ko na sabay mga kalaban niya pero kung push inaataas siya alam na na mayroon tao nga dun lang sa may papuntang elbow pero hindi na alam kung ilan ba yun nandun magkasama na nga sila pero yung flick mo na hindi muna tata Tama, yung buy round denied sa side ng Paper Rex. Zil, kita mo eh. The coordination na meron yung Gen G. Hindi sila nag-re-whiff. Wala talaga. It's so perfect. They know how to be two steps ahead. 
against uh, itong mga taga Paper X. At natandaan nyo ha, yung defense ng Paper X ang mas malakas. And yet, so far, natatalo talaga sila sa Gen G. And next pa natin is going to be Lotus. So very crucial talaga to. At ngayon, sigaw sila ng sigaw. At kita mo agad yung disappointment sa ibang mga nanonood. Dahil nga, ang daming expectations for Paper X. Sila ang nagpa uwi sa dalawang EMEA teams na representative natin. Team Heretics together with Carmine Corp. So talaga ngayon, going up sa sarili ng kababayan, madugo talaga ang laban. Sobrang madugo ang laban to. Sa totoo lang, um, magugulat ako kung 2-0 to. Hinanda ko ang sarili ko na 3-0 tong game nila. At 3-0. <laughs> Beso 5. Natuwa na itong series na to. Legit yun, men. Talagang ito yung matindi nilang uh, rematch if ever. Eh. Na hmm. kung talagang makita natin na talagang paper next naman yung magpunta sa Grand Finals. Talagang parang napanood na natin yan eh. Kailan? Nung ano? Nung Grand Finals ng Champions. So, yun yun, di ba? At ang maganda nun dito, is aside ng Genji, talagang kumbaga... Nung Pacific, I mean, yes, wala sila sa, sa pinaka-top teams talaga. Pero, matindi yung pagpapalag nila ngayon. Nakitang-kita natin, lahat talaga sila is ginagawa nila lahat ng mga kaya nila para to take down lahat ng opponents nga ng mga kasama nga nila. Pero, si Mind Freak, medyo ano pa siya, medyo malamig pa ang tutok niya. Besi, zero for siya. Good luck kay Mind Peak. Galingan mo, di ba? Malay mo, gumaling na this round <laughs> si Kuya mo. Usually, oh. kasi dapat siya yung nag anchor pero nawawala talaga. Nag-pick off siya, yun yung problema nga eh. With Atlot, particular Sentinel play pagdating dito. But okay din naman. That, that's how it works. Uh, Mind Peak, um, the Vi won't be able to connect yung shots. Mind Peak does it work. Pawaka narinig niya tayo. Pero Karon, ano bang laban mo sa isang katulad ni Karon? No way that we only have Mind Peak together with something through the smoke. Pwede siyang mas pamawawala na. And it's gonna die out. And this might be an ace. Para sa side ni Karon, hinahanap na nila si something. Na nasabay. Ano lang talaga, heaven side ng B-side. Hinahanap na siya. At bagong rookie pa nga yan, eh, si Karon. And yet, sobrang yung the level, the, how tactic he is. He was Oy, getting no denied nga lang ni something. Yes, masakit yun. Ang dami na kagad nakatutok sa kanya. 13 HP and a dream. Nakatutok na lang. Something wala nang magawa. at this point. Wala din namang hili. Siya na lang talaga. At di niya pwede ma-pop off yung knife niya. No ring na low on HP na siya. Lucky takes him out. Denied ang ace pero 4 kills and Genji leading by 3 rounds. May pera o wala. Talaga nangihirapan dito ang paper. Like, talaga na dahil na-exec na maganda ng uh, Genji. Yung lahat na pag-i-entry nga nila. And in, in terms of zoning, actually magating yung zoning dito ng, ng, ng paper. Like, eh. But it's just in terms of aim, talaga ako na-outdo eh. na out aim ng uh, ng Genji ang uh, paper next sa game na to. Pero uh, tingnan natin sa mga susunod nilang laban. Well, half armor meta pinapakita nga nila once na hindi pa rin mapigilan ng Paper Rex itong round na to. Ah, Diyos ko. 7-5 kitaga mo sa bato. Pero yun na atay showstopper nga nilalabas sa mga kalaban nila. Ooh. Texture ng kapatid nilang isa at makaganda nga yun kasi yung main smoker pa yung nawala at yung pwedeng mag-blind pa sa mga kalaban nila. Ang lamig. Ang lamig-lamig ng Paper Rex. Usually, usually talagang first map nila, hindi mo makikita eh. Baka mamaya next map pa to mag-init talaga. Pero syempre, all in all, nakatingin na nga kagad. Nakatutok na sila. Mindfix, nakatutok na si Samtik. Pero walang mangyayari. Dahil si Meteor kagad nakahawak na ng Blade Storm. Hinarapan kagad si Forsaken. Walang nagawa. So get them with luck yet. Eh, well, kita mo ang linis ng Genji. Planchadong, planchadong. Predicted na predicted. Talagang alam talaga nila kung paano mag-entry. Alam nila kung paano i... Basagin ang depensa nga dito ng paper next. Simulan mo na natin dito sa showstopper kaya na ginagawa nga ni, ni Raze which is talagang he caught Monyet off guard dun eh. Napakabilis ang pangyayari. Kaka-shadowed step lang ni Monyet dun tapos bigla nang pumasok nga si si Raze at hindi talaga siya nakapag-react dun if ever. At in terms naman sa smoke sa pwedeng ilabas nga ni Munchkin at saka ni Ikaron dito sobrang on point eh na bago lumabas yung smoke makakapitas muna sila ng isa o dalawa. Nakakaano talaga, nakakatakot ang Genji. Alam mo, at this point, if sila yung, sila na siguro talaga yung pwede kong sabihin, sobrang confident na team na pwedeng makakuha ng title ng uh, Masters Madrid. At, pero nga lang, Paper X, so much to prove talaga. This is a map pick ng Paper X, so dapat confident talaga sila dito. And yet, uh, mukhang nawawala talaga yung rhythm ng team na to. Pero kita mo naman, nakita mo yung, nakita natin yung execution nila maganda. It's just that they're whiffing their shots. Sobrang lamig. Pero ngayon, bitahan tayo lang. Get together with texture. Ang ganda na 
paranoia pero mas nalabangan pa rin ng Genji kung saan nakapwesto ang mga taga Paper X and we only have one yet together with something na natitira. So I just, I just wanna say talaga yung sobrang na-outduel talaga ng mga players nga ng JJ Papers Pero maganda po yun nga ni something dito Baka pinapos siya ng isa, oo, isa, meron, dadalawa ba ata pero hindi Pero meron pa naman siyang uh, baril nga dito pero talaga hindi na tulad talaga ng tama nga sa para sa kanila oh! Pero Monyet nakatatlo na, uh, apat pa ata ang mga tropa pero meron pa naman siya sa smoke dito Pero yun nga, oh! Monchkin alam ko kung sa kapupunta, alam ko narinig ko yung utility mo And right now, ang gagawin ko lang is tumingin lang din talaga sa mukha mo Mga tropa, tulad nga sinabi natin kanina Seven to na predicted dun sa mapang pinili ng Paper Rex binalagbag ng Genji. Walang nagawa talaga. Ibang klase. Tita mo, yung ano yung ama outsmart na sana siya ni Monyet Patinos. Sabi niya, hehe, ako lang ko. Not even close, mga tropa, sabi niya. Bumoboses na. Kala mo nag-champion na. Pero at least... Oh, ano yun? Pa, tapos natalo pala sila ng Paper Rex, no? Oo, oh, talagang yeah. awit, awit moment talaga. Pero yun nga, di ba? Shoutouts nga pala kay Jasmine Garcia, sabi na po, Gimobile, alam ko. Pero ayun na nga, <laughs> mukha pupunta muna ata dito sa A, mga tropa yung mga kalaban nila. Pero ito yung rotation kayo ginagawa ngayon ng Paper Rex. Just waiting patiently for that immediate rotate na din talaga na pwedeng gawin ngayon Gen G. But right now, texture, waiting patiently if ever makapatid siya ng isa. Maganda itong pag-aantay nga nila. They're not really making any drastic moves in order for them to catch these players off guard. All they need to do is wait kasi nga yung spike nakaplanta. Ba't karon? Okay, yung pot shots, tumama, mm. nakastinger lang yung tatlo, lamang yung Genji, pamalayuan na talagang laban na pwede nila ipakita ngayon. Pero karoon, we catch one already, pero tamang stinger lang dito talaga, pinapakita ka na mo, nakadalawa pa nga siya. Buti kita 2v3, lamang pa rin mga players nga ng Genji, pero in terms naman sa paper dice, kakayanin pa ba? May pinjar pa silang line up mga tropa, napakahirap na ito, if ever gagawin nila. Pero si Mitchell nagbabantay na, for sake, nandun lang din talaga sa may kaluwa niya, pero titignan natin mga kapatid, pero feeling ko hindi na talaga, kasi nga si Mitchell texture na talaga ang gagawa. Buti kita 2-8. Just go. Close game, mga tropa. Yung last time na nakascore ang Paper Rex, yung first two rounds lang. Parang besi parang gusto daw nila magkaska na lang dende no ng Sentinels. Ba yun ginawa ito para magpagkasibil ng Sentinels mama yah. Yun pala nangyari, no, Bes? Oh, let's call time mo. Mamaya pa naman, eh. Let's call time mo. Let's call time mo. Ito, guys, may call time ako ka alas 4 ng umaga. Legit yun, ha? Legit yun, men. Legit yun. Alas 4 ng umaga. So, tingnan ko, baka natapos na to. Pero feeling ko, hindi na ata kasi kasi Mitchell babawi na. So, for a second, nandiyan pa sa harapan niya. Pero mo, babawi na rin talaga. Pero for a second, nilaman si Showstopper na nakapatay pa na isa. Punta kito, 4v2 already. And hopefully, talaga makabawi na ang paper next. Kasi Diyos ko po, mas malamig pa sa ice cream yung tutok nila. Pero something na kapitas na lang isa. Si Munchkin na lang ang natira. Pero naasan ba siya? Nasa gilid lang siya sa full singin na katatlo na. And yun na nga. Pinascore lang. Gusto pang manalo yung sinasabi ng paper next sa kanila. Wala na talaga, pero buti na lang, nagising na din sa wakas ang Paper X. Pero kita mo naman eh, na parang, yun nga, kung tutukan ng laban, kaya naman natin, kailangan na talaga natin makuha yung confidence na yan. And lucky, if I finally punish one, pero all in all, they are back on track. They just need that little push mula sa side ng Paper X. Go with that reset. Siguro talaga may sinabi ang kanilang IGL na si Dabai, guys. Kailangan natin gumising. Hindi na pa tayo natatakot against Genji. Nat natalo na natin ito dati. We just need to make it four. At malay mo, pumabor sa atin when it comes to that attacking side. Ito na, Bessie. Inaantay natin. Press W na ginagawa nga ng paper. Kahit defenders kami, tatapatan namin kayo. Kasi yung tatlo sa side ng paper, it's just literal na nasa mid na sila. Pero nasa ba sila po talaga pupunta? Mukhang magbibi ata sila kasi alam ata nila na magbibi ata yung Genji ngayon. Alagang basang-basa na din ata ng paper. At this point, ang gagawin ng Genji pero this round, Should be a worth it round para sa kanila. Wala dapat, di dapat ito maging 90 or else baka mahirapan sila when we switch sides. Pero texture, naghahanap ng opening kung pwedeng may mapita siya. Pero wala. Lahat ng paper X, wala nang naikipag-contest sa mga A-mains. Lahat sila nakastak kagad sa side. Pero nga lang may nakita ng onte, si Silipen, at wala pa rin magpapakita.
Hindi ko sure actually ko nakita kasi texture dun eh kasi nandyan si Tropang Munchkin parang hanapin at para sirain yung trail bears na nalabas nga ni Davay ngayon. Pero sabi ng Genji, sige, mag-iingay lang kami dito tapos mag A kayo. Pero wala silang ka-idea-idea at all na may nag-aantay din talaga na paper next. Tatlo dito nga sa A site. Pero 30 seconds in mga tropa talaga nag-aantayin lang sila. Pero tulad na sabong hindi muna ata mag-coconnect para sa kanila. Pero okay lang yan. May from the shadows naman yung mga players ng Genji ngayon. So makakapag-bina bina sila quickly. Wala pang bawas kahit sila, isa Sila kinakapitas na dito The fire will catch one as well Tulong ito 4v4 Yung seekers nandiyan na Nilabas na At yung pagdidepend sa nga Na ginagawa na paper Sinitran na nandito na Diyos ko Yung spag hindi pa napaplant Mga tropa 8 seconds lang Pero yung mga players ng paper Rex Nasa harapan na nila At wala silang nagawa doon Hindi man lang nila napindot Yung spike sa site Sa wakas ba diba? Akala natin tapos na ang buhay ng paper sa Akala natin magiging tute na to. Pero hindi nila pinayagan. But looking at that replay, si Forsaken finally, hindi na siya ka... Kasi parati lang naiiwasan si Forsaken actually. Hindi siya talaga tumatapat sa mismong mga site. Pero nung nalaman na lang kailangan natin mag-accord. Kailangan kung mas lumapit for those contacts, gagawan ko na nga din ng kagad ng paraan. Pero looking at it, tapo muna natin. Siyempre sa halftime, halftime natin, maya maya oh. lang yan. Pero ngayon, nag-uusap-usap na sila, Besh, kung anong gagawin nila, di ba? Kailan tayo huling nag-cast? Maganda <laughs> na eh, no? Isang ba na ato tayo din nag-cast na ganyan? Tagal na, no? Oh. Tagal na rin. So, yun nga, um, long time no si Besi. Mamaya, kasama mo si AG sa Sentinels. Wala eh. <laughs> Wala eh, ang kala ko, ito na yung araw na yun, pero mukhang hindi naman pala talaga. Pero ayun nga, syempre, um, sa side ngayon ng uh, Paper X, medyo malaking pressure to para sa kanila. They really need to get this um, pistol round in order for us to see a 6-8 probably. Mm. But for the side of Gen G, they have four rounds to lose. Mabilis lang yan. Madali lang yan. Eh, hello nga po pala sa mga tropa natin dyan. Shoutouts nga po pala kay Miraclo. Tinatanong yung mga pangalan nila. So, ayun na nga. <clears throat> Hindi pa puno yung venue eh, no? Oo. Oh. Men, alam mo ba, pag nasa ba? Pilipinas tayo, hay nako po! Kahit, kahit, wal kahit walang laro, puno ang venue. <laughs> kahit, <laughs> sa in kahit sa ingress pa lang. <laughs> ingress pa lang, no? Oh, nagkakabit pa lang sila ng stage. Nag-cheer na yung mga audience natin. Ganyan kami sa Pilipinas, natin nga pala kay Pico. Pero ayun, talagang uh, sana pagdasal nyo. Masters Manila. Ay! Ay, uh, at saka ito pa, kahit sinong team papanoorin ng mga Pinoy. Di ba? Oh! Lahat i-cheer nila. Walang halong trash talk, love, love lang. Oo. Oh, oh. Uy, ito. Sabi ni B Vicente Side, Carl Dison nga, nuebeng letra, mamahilin ka ng sobra-sobra. Ay! Ay! Mga ganyan eh. Vila na ulam nyo. May na kanina ng creamy mushroom pork chop. Sarap. Sarap naman yan. Sarap. Ikaw nagluto? Uh, hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Eto pa, Bill. Times, oh. are, uh, times are hard. Pero at least hindi tayo 1-8. So far, ganun si Mindbrick eh. Malamig oh. na malamig. Oy. Oh. Something dire-diretso natin ng mga manistik. Pero yung mga tropa, pero yung mga for second, babawi na. Pero yung mga tropa, natin sa papers, talaga nakakabawi na. Nakapatay na sila ngayon ng apat. At si Micho na lang ang natira. Nakakita ka naman, Micho na ng corner. Ito na nga ba yun? Pero mukhang babawi naman ata sila. Pero si Monyet nasa harapan niya, mamamatay na siya. 5-8 mga tropa, Paper X mukhang babawi na. Mukhang uh, gising na ang Paper X. Ha? Hindi pa tapos, uh, guys. Baka ipapo na nila sa 8 ang mga taga Genji. Pero syempre, manami pa silang kakainin talaga. Na bigas. At sana talaga, ano pa, baka babawi na din kagad si Mind Freak pagdating sa mga frags. Kasi... Alam naman natin, pagdating kay Mindfreak, di ba, very consistent talaga siya. Pero hindi pa rin masaya si Coach Alex kahit Yun nanalo nga. na ng pistol. Ewan ko pa dito kay Tropang Alex eh, no? Talagang pan manalo, matalo, magagalit ako. <laughs> Ewan ko ba? <laughs> Oo. Oh. Hindi ko na rin alam dito. Kahit anong mangyari kay Coach Alex, sino mangyari ka? So nga lang, something is gonna go down. Tag lang ng OT si Meteor. At yun na, humiga na kagad late. Masyado yung smoke. Akala nila pwede sila makipag-contest all throughout. Pagdating sa mga talagang angles na ganong bagay. Pero wala-wala nangyari at all. Pero nasa na pa na kagad si Monyet. Pumitas ng isa. 4v4 tayo. At dito pa rin sila magsistick on. But meron nga lang marinig si Meteor. May trade lang mula kay Devay. Si Munchkin naman on the left side. Alam na kagad ko nasaan para kaysa side ni Monyet. And we only have Karon. 
nagkaroon, medyo malayo pa siya. Medyo malayo pa siya mga tropa, pero ang gagawin ngayon sa side nga ng Genji is try to obliterate these players one by one. Meron pang mga barrel na pwedeng pulutin nga doon lang sa may rams, pero if ever pinulot ni Karon yan, maririnig sila ng mga kalaban nila for sure. Si Davai, medyo close lang din talaga siya. Okay, sabi nila, walang tao sa may likod. So si Monyet, magbabantay lang siya if ever may makita siyang isa. Seven seconds para sa dalawang smoke, mga tropa. Kaya pa ba nila? Meron pa ba naman siyang from the shadows dito if ever, pero in terms of firepower, in terms of utilities, lamang pa rin talaga yung mga players nga dito ng gen, ng, I mean, ng Prepare Rex. Pero, planted for heaven. Okay, um, may chance si Karon pero medyo maliit na. Pero once na ma-angle ma isolate na yung mga kalaban nila, pwedeng pwede pa. Yung isa playing close dun lang sa may flower pot. Pero yung mga players ngayon ng Genji mm -hmm. talaga nagbabantay na si Karon Mga tropa mag-isa at yun ang ay double swing na ginawa nga nila. Damay nakakuha ng patay para sa kanya. 6 to 8 na nga nakikita natin ngayon. At Paper Rex, unti-unti nang bumabawi. May nabasa ako, Bessie. Ano sa nabi, Bessie? Dito sabi ni ano, sabi ni um, ito, sabi ni Marv. Ang sabi ni Marv. Ka, pag napansin mo ako, ba-block ko na X ko. I-block mo na yan. Mo na kaya yan. nga, kaya nga X, 'di ba? X na. X na. <laughs> At bakit ka pa nagtatanong? Dapat uh, kapag tapos na, iwan mo na, 'di ba? Hmm. Oh. Don't Pero settle. Na, diba? Oh. Find a new lover na lang. Marami oh. diyan. <coughs> Yung walang mga... Valorant mo. Oo, oh, oh, wala kami tigil maglaro ng isang araw, di ba? Hindi talaga wala kami ginawa. Kundi mag-Valorant talaga. Tidak na break of the mga huli po. Meron mong hindi naman ata. May tao dito sa lang sa may heaven. Pero kaya pa ba? For sake, nag-aantay. Nagbabantay if ever meron talaga siya makukuha dito na bangkay. Pero mukhang wala naman ata muna ngayon. Napaka dami ay kong sa mid. <laughs> Ang dami nagkakitaan. Nag daming nagkasalisihan. Pero nawala. Ito, pagdating nga na ni For Sake. Together with Monia. Nag-combo pa sila. Nasa tapat lang sila ni Lucky ngayon. At kagad na wala sa isang iglap yung mga plano ng Paper X para sa sarili na leto to pa yung medyo mahirap. Dag force sila sa round na to para lang manalo sa round ng uh, full force pa rin naman sa side ng Genji. Munchkin takes down Mindfic as well. We only have the fight together with something at medyo mahirap to. Yung mga angulo na trinay oh. ng Paper X at hindi na naman nag-work. Yun nga talaga yung mga angulo literal na angulo at hindi na naman pa nasa talaga yung mga kalaban nila. Yun na nga si something just ko na Jose Rizal siya na balo siya sa likod. Pero the fight lang ang mag-isa. Nakabuldogi pa siya. Lima pa kalaban niya. Baka! In terms of buhay, just ko naghihikahos na. Pero if ever manalo si Davide dito sa 1v5 na to, tandaan nyo, mamimigay ako ng refrigerator sa comment section ngayon. Sponsored. 1MS. <laughs> Bibigay sa akin ni Gian Sanity mamaya. Davide, nakita yung ulo niya. Hala, anong gagawin mo mga tropa? Tamang paplash lang sa iyong muka. 10 seconds silang natira. Wala silang idea-idea kasi if ever na matalo, if ever na may, ma ma na may mamatay pa sa Genji, Mawawalan sila ng pera! Mawawalan sila ng barel! Ayun na nga! Oh, Nagpakita na. pa si Texel na kuha sa imong mukha! Time check 11.39 at ang score natin ay 6-9. Nice. Tama, tama, tama. Yabe. At least, di ba, hindi 1am yung start. At least 11.40. Ay, 11pm. Pero to sayang yung kay, sayang opportunity kay, La, kay Lakia. Pero talagang advantage si Lakia. Kahit anong gawin natin eh. Flawless. 1.44. 140 per hertz na rep mga tropa yan ay bibigay natin diyan ayan sa mga Twitch sa mga Twitch viewers sa mga YouTubero sa mga Facebookers yun shoutouts nga po pala sa inyo pero pagdating naman dito tamang 69 muna kasi nice one talaga ay naku po nagkamali pa yung Ecom sa mga tropa Akala niya mapupunta sa heaven na punta pala sa iba. Pero ito na nga, pagkupo siya ata sila, yung aso nag-aantay dito. If ever may makakapatay ba, pero yun na ka dire-diretso, tamang stinger lang, buhay pa si tropa. Pero mamamatay na, tamang classic na sa mukha. 5v2, texture it, karoon na natira. Pero si something biglang nawala. Apat pa natitira sa mga kalaban nila, pero tamang healing galing lang sa kasabi nga ni Davai. Pero, besi, lamang ngayon ang paper next, sila sa round na to. Siyempre, ang Paper X nga, wala nang room for errors na baka lumayo pa at nadiging double digit pang scoreline ng Genji ngayon. Pero kailangan nalang magtago sa iba. Nakatingin si Monyet, down to 3v2 tayo. Hindi pa to Mukhang may chance pa. Marami pang oras ang Genji para gawin to Mukhang pupo siya kagad si Texture right behind them. Oy! Pero mind trick, bumawi na sa kills. Narinig na tayo. Sabi kasi natin, good luck eh. 7-9 at dalawa na lang. Magiging tie ang ating score. Pero ang daming viewers ngayon. Alam mo, ito, ito si Mind Freak. Di ba dati, noong 2022, guys, pumunta kami sa Indonesia, di ba? Uh. Ang, uh, ang VCT gang, VCT gang, 
<laughs> Basta ang VCT gang, pumunta sa ano yan, sa, sa, sa Indonesia. Ano to ah? Walang steer to, men. Ito, Ay, um, real talk to, real talk, real tito, oh, real tito. Oh. Nagpa-picture kami kay Mindfreak. Pero si Mindfreak ang kumuha ng picture sa amin. O ba? Diba? Marami nag Oh, nang marami nagpapa-picture kay Pine Freak pero si Pine Freak lang ang kumukuha ng litrato namin. <laughs> legit to, man. Legit to, legit to. Legit to, guys. May picture oh. na siya ang kumukuha ng picture namin. Ang kakapal na mukha namin pero dito, Karol, na naman. Dalawa pa isa-isa pumasok lang sila ng ganun pero wala silang nagawa sa paper exide. 710 do set up still at work because it's Karon we are talking about Angus uh, aren't being checked so sabi ng Genji we'll yun. use it most uh, you will use it sa atin talaga sa side natin at oh. yun pumabor na naman sa kanila at saka in terms naman sa doon nga sa depensa nga mayroon dito sa side nga ng Genji maganda yung uh, poison cloud na binabato ka nila dito na wala silang ka-idea idea na, pa, na may tao na pala dun sa may entrance guys kilala, kilala nyo ba si Han? Si Han, si Han ng, uh, ng, uh, ng Tokyo Drip. Ah, oo. Kailangan mo yun? Oo. Oh. Ayun ba yung Japanese? Oo, oh, siya yung assistant coach ng Genji ngayon. Check mo, <laughs> check mo. <laughs> legit man, legit man. Kailangan nyo ba si Han? Si Han ng, <laughs> ng, ng, ng Fast and the Furious. Siya, ito ah. I-google nyo si Han. Tapos, mamaya sa coach cam, check nyo yung assistant coach ng Genji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> naka side din to, men. naka Mazda RX-7 din to, mga tropa. Eh, pero yun na nga. Yung mga players ngayon na paper next, nagkaantay na. <laughs> Tingin si Alex, kalit na kalit na. Ano, mes? <laughs> May nag-message siya, tatago ko sa pala, pangalang Gian. Uh, Sabi na hindi Japanese si Han, Korean siya. Sorry! Uh, Sorry, nakala. Kasi Tokyo Drip eh. Oo, oh, Korean. Korean siya <laughs> si... Uh, Sorry. Shoutouts nga pala kay Gian, na uh, pinakamagaling mag... Uh, mag uh, maggitara. Yeah. Uh, better yeah. days guys, painggan niya oh, sa Spotify. Oh, better days. Shout out sa DJ. Purple is Gucci. Uh, Ini y- ano niya, 'di ba? Uh, idol natin 'yan si Gian Balesteros. Grabe 'yun, naka RX7 'yan si oh, Hel- si Han. Yeah, naka Bay, Bay side 'yan, boss. Pero 'yun na nga si Porsche na tatamaan ng mga tropa pero paano nila gagawin 'to? Pero ang importante 'yung Genji na naghahantay lang din talaga, labang pa rin sila. Pero si Manji nakapitas na ng isa. Pero maganda 'yung crossfire na pinapakita ng mga kalaban nila. Andiyan 'yung Ecom's din 'yung mga Di mga utilities nga na binabato ng mga kalaban nila. Pero texture naka, nakapitas na naman ng isa dito. Diyos ko, 5 versus 3 mga tropa. Si Monyet, nakastinger lang. Paano nila gagawin to? Hindi sila makapasok sa loob ng site. Maganda ang posisyon ng GNG para sa kanila. OMG! Wala na talaga magawa. Ah, um, pero si Monyet, nagtatry pa kung pwede pa siya makapitas ng isa. Pero mukhang nasakuhan na naman siya ni texture. Back to mind pick tayo together with the vibe. Everything is just so uncoordinated sa paper X. Not, with, not what we expected. Pero ang tanong, makaklash ba to ni Mind Freak? Si Kuya mo, Mind Freak, kaya ba to ni Aaron Leonhart? Or tapos na ang boy. By the way, talagang yun ang totoo niyang pangalan, by the way. Pero syempre, oh. nahanap pa niya si Munchkin ngayon. Pero matgada tutok ni Munchkin ngayong araw. At alam na, si Swing and Swing na lang siya nito eh. Napakahirap na nga talaga. Wala siyang idea na mayroon pa tayo sa likod niya at yun ang texture na katatlo na 7-11 mga tropa. Napaka-convenient talaga na mga pinapakita nga nila. Pero mainit na nga, di ba? I mean, pwede natin natin sabihin na talagang ito ata ang araw ng Gen.G sa game na to. At pwede natin sabihin na talagang ang kryptonite ng Paper Legs at Gen.G. Kasi tandaan nyo, Pacific lang ang pwedeng makatalo sa isang Pacific team. Tama. <coughs> ah, ayoko na, ayoko na. <laughs> Oh, oh, oy, 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 galit. Grabe. Galit na naman si Idol. Oh, shot muna tayo puno. Pero ayun. <laughs> Paper next. Eh, <laughs> If ever matalo sila dito, wala silang pera next round, mananalo na ang Gen G. Yan ang kwento. Hirap na hirap talaga sila ngayon. Yung... Hindi ito yung Paper X na nakita natin last time when they went up against... Um, uh, the Imea teams to talaga ngayon pati si Meteor nakahawak na lang kagad ng outlaw mind freak nakatulog na pero habang ito ay nangyari habang di ba gumagalaw mga member ng Paper X mukhang si something ay mauuna na is finally got to get it against Lucky at time na pwede na sana pumunta pupuntang A side pero si Forsaken tinatay niya kung pwede siyang may mapit as ultra out B pero something gising na Munchkin is gonna go down nakatutok na sila against the texture naglapas na kagad ngayon ang oh. kanyang and that's not gonna be happening Oy. so good you only have five. Ay! That's going to be the five and a meter with a 3K. Genji, get Sayang the match. Sayang naman, napakadaming utilities nga. 
That's true. Ito, 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 Bessie, na nakita natin kanina. Stuck sila sa mail. Wala silang talagang malabas doon. Wala talaga silang magawa doon. Na talagang, wala silang no choice. Kaya blinded na nga sila. May pain shell pa silang narinig sa mga kakapinga nila. Tapos, andyan pa si Mitchum sa harap pa nila. Huwag ka maingay! Nagkakasta ko! <laughs> Pero ayun na nga. Talagang, for the side of Genji, kuhang-kuha na nila itong uh, game na to. Ang ingay naman ng isa. Nagsasalita ako eh. Kaya eh. <laughs> <laughs> Ingin ng Genji masyado. Buti pa paper example oh. lang. Nakita na sinilip na kagad for a second final. It takes down Munchkin. Lakia, konting pitas lang. Shout out kay Wolfcast kasi nagpapakaano na eh. Sino ba naman ako? Ikaw ay si Wolf, by the way. Ba, di mo naman kailangan oh, no. sarili mo. Lakia ngayon, masusunog. For second takes him down. Gising na ata si For second ngayon. Tatlo na lang kagad. Natikta na sa Genji. Naispam man pa kagad si Karun. Something takes it. Dalawa na lang na naman ang bumula sa Genji ngayon. Mukhang nabawi ata. Mukhang wala na ata magawa yung press W na ginagawa nga ng mga kalaban nila. Pero puto kita o 2v5 already. Lamang yung mga players nga ng paper is mali mo makabawi pa. Nicho nakapita sa nang isa. Puto kita o 1v4. Napakadami nilang pera mga tropa. Si Monnet nasa harapan na magpapakita ata. Pero ayun na nga. Monnet pa rin talaga makakakuha. 812 already. Paper Rex. Hanggang hindi pa 3 si mga kalaban natin kayang-kaya pa. OT? Oo. Oh, mukhang OT ata. Makikita natin sana mamaya dyan. Buhatog na lang ako para kayanin ko to. <laughs> sana hatog na lang ako, no? Oh. Para kaya-kaya ko to. <laughs> May mga nagpapashoutout tago natin sa pangalan na Winawatch Party tayo kay Ling2X tsaka kay Oy. Patrick Cantropa ko na nanonood mula sa United States of America. Ayun eh. Shoutouts nga po sa inyo. Tayo. Ayun, kay, kay Link 2X, shoutouts nga po pala sa inyo, pero tamang double sa double sa yung ginagawa muna ng mga kalaban nga nila, pero laki muna mga kapatid sa isa, pero nasabi yung mga kalaban nila, okay, na flash nga sila though, pero wala silang makita dito kahit isa. Magandang wall nga nilabas dito ni ni Munchkin para pa talaga hindi ka makapasok dito yung mga players nga ng paper nice ngayon sa loob ng A, pero kung napapansin mo, walang tao sa B, nagaantay lang sila, stuck na naman sila, pero ito na yung hudyat, no? wag na talaga sila pumunta Ay, na, sa A na talaga, kasi may Viper Spit na, di ba? So wala silang no choice dito, magbibin na lang sila. At iwan na lang nila si Munchkin dito mag-isa. Kasi wala na rin, wala na rin namang uh, trailblazer. So, hindi na makikita dito si Munchkin if ever. Saka wag na nila ipilit, di ba? Tama na. Pwede ka naman lumipat eh. Kasi yun yung problema kanina pa eh, di ba? With paper X, but sa lahat yun nilang kinokontest. Alam naman nilang talo sila. Pero ngayon, mag Uy, gagawa. Mukhang magagawa na lang ng paraan. Meron pa naman ultimate kagad din si something dito. Pero let's wait and see. Dahil lahat sa kanila, papalipat na. Mukhang cut noises lamang dito sa B. But Monia tries to get that certain angle. May makita siyang isa kagad. So, kinol na niya. That, nandiyan na kagad si something para take lang. them out. Pero texture, hindi niya pinayagan. And next move is to go oh! towards A. But oh! Monia, narangat the gatekeeper of Gen G. At Monia na lang kagad ang natitira. Sabi nga sa inyo, wag na nga kayong mag-A kasi kang may Viper Spit pa yan. Si Monyet na lang ang mag-isa, nagparanoya pa nila, ba shorty niya, pero yung spike, nasa labas lang yan, pero wala ka na talagang magagawa. Pero wala eh. Pumasok pa rin sila, wala nga kayong Trailblazer. So kung papasok kayo sa Viper Spit, mababawasan na nga kayo. Wala pa kayong idea kung nasa ba yung mga kalaban nyo. Pero sa natoo lang, kung hindi hmm. namatay, si Jet Sabi, Pwede sana eh. Kaya eh. Pero hindi eh. Napatay siya from heaven sa buff eh. Lugi din talaga si something dun eh. Ang goal, man. 4v4. Nawala sa side ng paper. X ang map pick nila. It's a, it has been pretty cold sa kanila. Kita mo eh, hindi silang ganun ka-confident. This is not the usual paper X that we've seen. Yung Genji naman on the other side. Calm and collected. Kitang-kita nyo naman. Na the strats are working, texture is on point, the double duel is come, bawing bawe kaysa kay Forsaken together with something, ang accurate. And yung map dito palang din, alam natin eh, napapor to, tatlong map sa JNG to eh. Tatlo, ito ah, talagang, I just wanna say na talagang, if ever na talagang hindi pa rin talaga nila mapigilan, yung aggression na pwede ipakita nga na JNG pag hindi nyo sa game number 2, ayun ako. Talagang 2-0 na talaga. Pero sa totoo lang, hinanda ko ang sarili ko para sa 3 games sa Genji and Paper Rex. O, oh, bye-bye! Uwi na kayo. Not even close. Ito si Hano. <laughs> si Hano. Family. <laughs> Family. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe, no? Grabe mag-mind games ng Genji sa totoo lang. Grabe sila bumoses, men. Ibang klase.
Pero ayun nga sa lahat ng uh, pwede nating makita ng dito sa game na to. Talagang I'm really expecting na Paper X will shine, pero hindi. Talagang na, talagang naano nila na na out duel, na out aim ng Genji ang Paper X dito. And we parang sabi na lang natin. Sige, Kryptonite ng ng Paper X talaga ang Genji. Nang ihina sila. Oh. Pag walang I miss you. Parang uh, first pop din usually ang lamig ng paper X sa mga na, sa mga matches nila recently dito lamang sa VCD Madrid. They always give up the first map. Tapos saka sila babawi sa next two maps. Pero yun nga, pinag-usapan natin yung Vito pa lang lamang na lamang ang Genji. Puputa pa nga tayo sa Lotus. Pero tignan natin kung anong mangyayari between these two teams as we're gonna go on a short break. When we come back, makita natin. Ako nga pala si Rene. Kasama ko si Villa. Nagpe-flex. And see you right after the break. My condition's written now. Take it up with God. Hey. You can pay me for my time, though. And it all on the high note. I don't like to say goodbye. Found out I'm probably Irish. Think down, fill it down. Hold a smile like a song. Seeking answers, all I found it. Yeah. Everybody jump right now with the world cry. Feel the bang in your head like it's whiplash. Can you feel that? All this back and forth to be free. But you can't tell me what's good for me. If everybody jump right now with the world cry. Feel the bang in your head like it's whiplash. Can you feel that? All this back and forth to be free. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good. Everybody moving scared. Don't know what the answer is. Told myself I say the word. Speaking like a prophet did. Shit just feel like stranger things. Upside down and overwhelmed. Chaos just to set you free. Chaos just to set you free. here and I'm with Solo and Jen here to help with some translation. So Solo, of course, a lot of teams talk about how Paper Rex is a very shocking team to play against if you don't know them well, but Genji does know them well. So how do you as a team dissect uh, their style? Paper X is not available to play style. In this case, Paper X is very familiar with Paper X's style. Do you know how to play Paper X's style? How do you want to play Paper X's style with Paper X's style? 일단 페이퍼렉스가 진짜 많이 공격적인 팀이다 보니까 어, 피지컬을 앞세워서 게임을 많이 하는데 근데 저희 또한 피지컬이 지지 않는다는 생각을 하고 있거든요. 그래서 저희도 역으로 저희도 공격적으로 하자는 식으로 많이 얘기를 많이 하고 있고요. 그런 게좀잘 되는 것 같아요. 네, 저희가 피지컬이 좀더 좋은 것 같아요. 지금은. 네. 
Of course, Paper X infamous for their W gaming, um, but I feel like Genji players can match up to their firepower as well, and I feel like we're shooting more heads too today. Um, so we just came into this matchup with the mindset of, you know what, fight aggressive teams with aggressive attitude. Um, you know, don't be afraid to take those fights, don't give them too much respect, and I feel like we're just having a really good day overall. Yeah, it's looking really good for Genji, so thank you very much. Let's see if they can close this out. It's not just a good day. They've had a great tournament so far. I'm Ying and I'm back here with Mimi and Hypog. You heard it from Solo there. They're confident, they're hitting their shots. They know how to deal with paper wrecks. And Mimi, it's not looking great on the other side. Yeah, to be quite honest, I think that Genji looked like a better paper wrecks in this game, right? They had the ridiculous individual moments, they had the pop offs, but they also had excellent fundamentals. You compare the info these two teams were getting on their defense with the Sky Util. Genji was always on point with the rotations, setting up reclears, swinging together, whereas paper Paper X looked like a team who was, you know, playing for the individuality. Yeah, and the, and the telling thing for me is Genji willing to step into that zone with Paper X, where, you know, you have the flood pretext or, you know, stacking up bodies and looking very aggressive engagements. Genji, we're getting down and dirty with them. I'm kind of coming out on top. Yeah, you guys are hyped up. The rookie, Karen, coming to this a lot. And here he is in the Verizon high speed moment, round 17. I mean, you got to check uh, your corners, man. This, you got to check it. This is exactly the sort of scenario that I'm talking about, right? Making plays like this, getting ahead of this execute you lose to paper x when you allow them to execute onto you come up play very aggressive and Karen, i mean tom nailed this as well in the cast this is a sort of rank play that catches paper x off guard because they don't expect people to match their their level of unorthodox i think that's exactly the point right they're used to teams playing back cowering in fear playing for flood retakes against a squad like this instead gen g can give it to them they're so willing to get proactive to fight into these executes and their sight anchors were constantly staying alive doing stuff like that and actually buying time for the team to rotate over and help everyone out, which you contrast that to Paper X. Their players were trying to do the same thing and they were getting owned by the executes. Yeah, yeah and you saw it in the vibes as well. After every round, they were giving it, they were yeah, shouting yeah. across the stage. Uh, and on the other side for this, for Paper X, as we take a look in the AIM Lab shoot around, Moniet, again, he was kind of one of the players we were really looking forward to watching, but what else has he got? I mean, he was looking pretty deadly at the start of this map here. Uh, again, super aggressive, almost like in the pistol round he forgot he was put onto the omen. Still on the race for some reason, jumping in. Uh, but uh, there's just a number of situations where y you're looking here, and I was talking about, you know, some of the aggressive plays that Paper X make. They felt very disjointed. It felt like it came down to one person delivering at the end of that sort of play, as opposed to the typical Paper X, too strong on the front line, fragging together. And I think that's, that's exactly it, right? Like, this is a team that doesn't... That can rely on those moments against lesser teams, can rely on those moments against a team that's not familiar with them, but Genji knows them so damn well, they're used to dealing with these individual Absolutely. plays and not letting it get past them. I mean, we've been here before. I'm not expecting a smile from this man, but I am expecting a solution. Let's hear what <laughs> Alex had to say ahead of map two. Hey guys, I'm here right now with Coach Alex of PRX. So we did see that, you know, although the team struggled on that map, um, once a side switch and PaperX was on attack, you got some of that momentum back. And we do know that the team is a very momentum heavy based team. So what do they usually need to hear, like maybe from you, in order to get that push, in order to, you know, um, get that swing into their favor? Uh, I mean, usually momentum comes when you win some rounds, you know, so I try to just figure out how to win the round. And then if it goes well, you know, then we can roast no more. And I guess calm down a little bit and make sure that they get their nerves in check, yeah? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see if Paper X can wrangle in those nerves and uh, get map two. Alex, you've done <laughs> this before. You made the comeback before. Come on, boys. I want to see them have some fire in their bellies. Dude, Yinsu, we, we got to get you down there. They need this energy for map two or they're going to be in the lower bracket. Looking at this comp, what is this, Mike? The fourth new comp they, they've played on this map? Yeah, we, yeah. We, we've gone back again. We've got the Cypher back in and Monyet back on the raise. So uh, I guess maybe then the indicator, we did see that on split. He's going to be the front man here on Lotus. This does fix the issue of having Abs these, these flanks yes, open. Yes. It fixes that issue. But I think there's another issue in this comp. You're lacking stall util and on the attacking side, you're way more readable because you 
only have one piece of smoke util. I think that Forsaken is going to have to be very specific with how he uses his cages to make up for not having this Viper. And the big concern last time, actually, is that eyes go towards Divi here. His inability to really have impact alone on his utility and opening up opportunities for Paper X in the mid-round was absolutely... Uh, it was absent last time with, with the Astro Comp, so really, really going to be scrutinizing him. Oh, well, Paper X, if they don't win here, they will be going into elimination on day one of playoffs. Mitch Man and Tom Biz, how are you guys feeling about this one? Well, Yinsu, I'm feeling excited because at worst, we should have a good game on our hands. Hi guys, what's up? It's already 12 midnight at nandito pa rin tayo syempre sa laban between Paper X and Genji dito lamang sa VCT Masters Pico. Madrid. Ako nga pala si Rilik, sama ko pa rin si Vilsante featuring si Pico sa likod banda pero medyo may pagka-Japanese lang. At start na natin yung second map which is going to be low to stop. Pakabilis ng games natin, tight 13-8 yun. Pero mukhang Paper X sa pinakauna pa lang pinatulog na kagad si Lakia. At ito ha, interesting Paper X attacking side sila talaga yung una na lang start para natin when it comes to Lotus. So tignan natin kung mananalo nga ba sila dito o hindi. Shout out sa kapal lang kay Carl to. Yan, yun lang yung gusto kong sabihin, Ray Ray. <laughs> Joke lang. Pero yun na ako mapapasok na ata sila sa muna. Takabawi na, Mitchell and Caron. Talaga ito lang yung tinitips na pinapakita ka nila. Puti kita na 3v3 already for a second. Nasa harapan nila pero dalawa ang kalaban mo. Pero Divine, talagang pita sa muna na pinapakita ka nila. Puti kita na 2v1. Divine nalang kapag isang sasas na kita na kita! Pero hindi! Caron na sumaksak sa'yo! Ha? Ninalabas mo yung knife mo, ha? <laughs> Nagsaksakan mga tropa parang ako, saksakan ng pogi. Grabe talaga. Kung gaano kainit <laughs> yung Genji, ganun din kainit. Yung bars ni Bill, dahil kita mo naman kagad sa saksakan na ginawa, pinove talaga ng Genji na kaya din nilang maging parang noity. Tondo lang pala. Wala, kung may, kung, may, kung may tondo things, alam mo kung anong meron sa Genji? Ano? Sa Gangnam. Mayroon sa saan di ba no? Di ko alam men. Alam ko. Alam ko pag gang nam mayayaman yung mga tao eh. Kasi guys, sorry. Kakabasa ko to ng mga ano eh, mga manwa. Doon daw kasi yung may mga gangs gangs doon sa Gangnam. Ah, kaya pala gang talaga. So ayun na nga. Parang parang VCT, gang. Pero ayun na nga. Monyet, low on HP already. Buti kita 5 versus 5 pa rin naman talaga. Wala pa namang matay dito pero meron pa rin sustain si Odafi pa rin. Pwede yung bigyan ng mga kakampi kanya. Pero Monyet, literal na piso lang ang natitira para sa kanya. Pero yung mga pinapahinta na nga mukhang babawi na ata yung mga players ng Paper Escape. If ever talaga makakapitas sila dito ng isa-isa. Pero Mitchell nagpakita, nakapitas ng isa. Pero nasabi mo mga kalaban nila makakadalaw pa ata si Tropa Mitchell dito. Pero ito rin talaga susugod na yung Genji. Mga Tropa si Forsaken at si Mindstick. Nakadalawan natin. Oh. Siya nakatatlo pa. Pero ayun na nga. Ubus na. Paper Rex, anong nangyayari sa inyo? Ang nalamig ata ng mga tutok nyo. At uh, ito pa. Iba sila ng comp ngayon ha. Si Forsaken nilagay na naman muli siya sa Cypher na role. So this is uh, where things might be interesting. The last time we've seen in, him here, fade yung nilaro niya. At ngayon... Iba na naman. Balik na naman sila. Back to the ball game sila na kung saan si Monyet ang uh, magdo-duelist on that race. So, uh, this is where things can be interesting. Full buy na nga mula sa side ng Paper X. At sana nga makuha nila tong round na to. Dahil may hawak-hawak na si Forsaken. Napakalaking Odin yan. Oo, oh, napakahirap nga talaga. Diyos ko, ang gulo-gulo. Si, si Pico, nagsuzoomis na naman siya. Pero pag ito, 5v4 already si Monyet. Nakapunta sa nang isa, pero yung Odin nandiyan na. Niraratrat na. Alam mo yung tawag? Pag binulag, tas niratrat. Alam mo yung tawag doon? Anong tawag doon? Bulagrat. Kinakabahan ako mismo. <laughs> <laughs> sa mga sinasabi mo, Benji. Bulagrat, bulagrat yun. Pero yun ang amon yung takapitas na mga kundan na mapaan na persidiksyon na sa harapan mo na something bumawi pa. Bulag ito, 4v2 already. Dalawa lang titira sa mga kalaban nila. Pero ayun na nga, misyo na magpapakita. One tap lang pinakakailangan na. Pero Ooh. something alam ko, unasan ka. Munch, kinala lang natira mga tropa. 4v1, kaya pa ba niya? Talagang... Uh... Lahat uh, ng paper X, eto na eh. Kung ayaw maging 2 kung ayaw mo pumunta papuntang lower bracket, medyo mahihirapan nga naman talaga sila. Hinahanap na nila kung nasaan si Munchkin. Nandiyan na kagad, right behind him, si something! He spots Oy, him still, but uh, something nagmadali na naman. Medyo masakit pa rin sa economy yun ah, na paper X ah. Eto, sinusundan na siya pa isa-isa. Oh. There's perfect timing knowing that this is Munchkin. Baka okay. ma-GG pa sila. Ayun na nga. O sige, tignan nyo pa. O ano pa, lumayo na sila. Tapos na sila eh. 
Ito ha, ang sinasabi ni Alex, huwag nyo na kasing tapatan, huwag nyo na labanan kasi wala naman kayong pera next round eh. Diba? Si Munchkin meron pa rin either way. Pero hindi, tinatapatan pa rin nila, nilalabanan nga nila pero importante si Divine, nakuha niyo yung kanyang bangkay. 2-1 already, Gen G pa rin hindi tawang lamang, pero paper next bumabawi na. At bonus lang yon ng Korea. Samnida. Kapitas pa. <laughs> Binigyan pa nila si Munchkin ng kills eh, no? Talaga ayaw na lang pumirme, beshi wap eh. Tatayo na lang eh. Hindi na sila kukuha pa ng mga frags. Ayun, may halo na naman. Mmm, boogs. Damage yun. 700 din yung damage dun. Ay, si Monye. <laughs> Alam mo ba na favorite game ni Monye? Monyet, ano? <laughs> hep, hep, sorry. Home sim, pwede yan, Pesi. Tropa pala din si Kuya Will. Pero yun na nga. Push mo yan, Pesi. Kasa tama ka naman talaga. Kasi nga, ang problema dito ng Paper Rex, talaga wala silang kaya hindi yung kalasabi yung mga kalaban nila. Pero muna dire-diretso na ang mga tropa. Nasa pa talaga ako magsisatchel in. Diyos ko, tumama pa siya. Doon lang din talaga sa may roof. Pero matatamaan ba niya? Makakapatid ba siya? Pero mukhang hindi na ata. Kasi nga, grabe naman talaga. Yung mga kalaban nila, literal na nag-disperse sila. Kumbaga, ito na yung ano eh. Nag-rally sila. Tapos yung showstopper, yung ano, yung... Yung bomba! Pero monyet, mukhang babawi na ata. Pero ito muna yung problem, mapapakita na ata sila. Pero yung pangalawang showstopper, mga tropa nandiyan na. Makakapatay ba siya? Oo, tinamaan nga yung isa. Pero si Divine, tinamaan ngayon. Pero nito ako, 5 versus 3. Pero nasa ba yung mga kalaban natin? Literal, nasa harapan na nga natin ngayon. Pero texture, binawi ata yung satchel in niya. Divine, delikado siya. Yung favorite na kinakapit na siya pa siya. Pero alam nila yung talagang wall bang. Kung sa patalagang namin kayo tatamaan ngayon. Pero yung Odin, nasa harapan nila. And through that smoke, lucky ah! Pinagsasampal ng Odin yung dalawa! Wala at magawa yung Paper X. At tignan mo yung post na ito naman nila. Sansan sila nakatingin. Sobrang distracted. Yung kita mo, the step up is there. But there are other angles in which you just can't get it. Hindi mo dapat ginagawa ng ganong movements. Sige mo, si something against Meteor. Everything is just working well. At galit na si Coach Alex kung ano yung mga gandang words na kanya sinasabi. Awit sa'yo, sabi niya. O, di ba? <laughs> talagang kamot na lang talaga sa di makate si tropang Alex ngayon kasi ang, ang hirap kasi sa paper decks ano sila eh talagang alam mo yun galit sila eh press W talaga eh wala kaming pakialam kahit depending kami o kahit ano kahit attacking kami ipupush namin kayo at kunyari 4v1 yung paper decks hindi sila mag out lalaban pa rin yan mga yan ang titikas na mga ulo nitong paper decks na to eh Wala eh, binigay pa, pinasa pa nila kay Lakia ngayon. Sabi niya, may makakatapat si Forsaken. Yung magaling mamalo ng Odin, his name is Lakia. At ito na, Karun, takes down oh, Mind Freak. Eco round na naman, tutuloy-tuloy na naman bang diba? pagkapanalo ng Genji. Kasi ngayon ha, yung strats execution ng Genji, wala kang masasabi against Ay. them eh. They're just missing those Ay. shots sometimes, but all in all, Hindi alam nila kaya. Ay! 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 mag-isa at imbis sa Davai ang pangalan mo naging goodbye ka na naging ano daday di ba oh daday uh, <laughs> ala na siyang nasabi oh ngayon yung uh, mga taga Genji ano lang literal na chillings lang wala eh eco rap dito ng mga taga paper X. they will just try to get those kills as much as possible feel ko good call na to para eh, coach Alex kailangan na naman yung pakalmahin ang teammates niya at ito nangyayari when for a second isn't on that to do with his role but we know na ba na it's not just for a second everyone is just So out of touch ngayon para sa side ng Paper X. Dati, whenever they go up against Genji, it's always been a clean 2-0. Pero ngayon, on this, new ro on this new roster, in which yung Genji mas lamang pagdating pa sa Lotus, this is a questionable take sa Paper X. So what will they actually do pagdating sa planning? Dahil may na-explain na sa kanila si coach ngayon. Mm, wala eh. Pero mga kayo guys, puro sige na labas mo na nga yung Odin mo, pero mas matindi yung Odin ng Korea. Hoy! <laughs> Nasa nagawa dun, bes. Pero ito ah, alam ata ng Gen.G yung may call time ako ng alas 4 ng umaga. <laughs> <laughs> nakaramdam, bes. <laughs> nakaramdam, nakaramdam. Ay, tara, iso tayo si, 
si Vil may hindi may call time do eh. Sa 4 ng umagi. Um, puto, puto siya ng bagyo. Asama ko si Darawel doon, si Asuray, guys. Yan, kita kits. Pero yun na nga. <laughs> Lamig dyan. Malamig ko sa bagyo ngayon. Oo, oh, ata. Oh. Bibili ako nung ano eh, nung mga figurines doon. Yung pag inakyat mo, may lalabas. Ay, 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 This is just a sad day for Paper X. Genji is that incredible. Mukhang yung mga taga Genji, press W na lang. Confident sila to take down something. Walang mga overwhelm sa kanila. Kayang-kaya naman natin all in all to. Pero look at that. Grabe. Just a good execution na sana coming in from Paper X. Pero wala eh. Yung trade-offs ng team na to mismo, maganda eh. Nang uh, prepared sila para sila kumuha ng retakes. Yung mga... Ano talaga nila, utilities is up there. Si Alex ngayon ay napapakamot na lang sa kanyang mga mata. Dahil yung, uh, yung uh, inaral ng Paper X all throughout dun sa pahinga nila dito sa Madrid, mukhang hindi ito yung inexpect nila against Genji. Pero matindi, matindi yung pinapakita nila. Pero yung nga, nagtama updraft lang. Sa wala ito makikita dito. Pero yun nga, mukhang hindi ata tumama yung kanyang operator shot. Pero andyan pa naman yung pangalawa. Pero tama, Satya lang paalis sa kanya. Karoon na kapitas pa ng isa. Pero nasabi yung mga kalaban nila, mag a ata sila. Pero plano tatama ata dun sa isa. Pero yun na nga. Nagkatamaan sila ng utilities. Pero in terms ngayon of our power, labang pa rin ng Genji. Pero sila Lakia and friends. Mukhang kalmado lang ata sila. Okay, pumasok kayo sa may revolving doors. Pero may snake bite pa para dyan. Pero mukhang papasok ata sila. Vulnerable sila mga tropa. Talagang spray and pray lang. Pinapakita ko yun yung Munchkin. Nakapitas pa ng isa. Pulit ito o 4v3. Yung bumbot nandyan na. Pero mag-swing ba sila? Pero mukhang hindi naman ata. Okay, yung isa nakapasok na. Pero grabe naman si Bicho. Wala sila kaya hindi. Ay, di ito na. Sa loob na siya. Si Davai na lang ang mag-isa. Dalawa pa kalaban niya. Yung Tony Brawler. Nasa kanya na. At Davai, goodbye na naman siya. Walang pera na naman ng Paper X. He keep on pushing with those half buys earlier. But didn't work ngayon. At least may pera na sila to succeed. They have the operator already for something. Pero kita mo, 7-4-3-2-1. Si Uy. Forsaken pa ngayon yung ano. 4-3-2-1. Oh. Si Forsaken pa ngayon nag-aalangan pagdating sa kills. 1-7 siya mm -hmm. so far. And this is just a different paper X for today. Hindi ito oh, yung oh. napanood natin against Team Heretics together with Carmine Corp. Ito ah. Tulad na sinabi ni Mimi kanina, ni Mimi, ah, talagang uh, Genji is a better Paper Rex. Is a better version of Paper Rex. Kasi sila talaga yung pasok ng pasok. Tignan mo! Si Molly at si Mind Freak, wala na! Pero yun nga, hawak-hawak na ni Lakia yung malaki niyang Odin, mga tropa. Pero let's see if ever makakita mo siya mga kalaban niya at mukhang si Ata yung pupunteryahin nala. Pero yun na nga. Shoutouts nga po pala kay Mr. Kevin Presnosa. Nanonood ngayon sa Twitch. Ayun. Hello, Kevin po. Fresnosa, add nyo sa Facebook. I-report nyo na rin pagkatapos. Pero lucky na kapitas na lang isa. Sinampal si something ng Odin ng, sa mukha. Talagang, oh, okay. May chance pa. The vibe together with Forsaken. May neural type si Forsaken if he wants to use it. Pero nga lang, puputa pa siya sa harap pa ni Lucky. Sa iba nakatingin. Pero masyadong maaga. Forsaken got that tap. Nilabas na nga kagad. It's what we've said. He gets one kill. This will be the next revelation. Pero nga lang si Davai. Meron sa kanyang katapat. Meter is on his side. It's all up to Jason Sosanto. At wala siyang nagawa. 7-1 speed lang sa Genji. Clean to zero. Alam na nilang sagot mo, Vil. Diyos ko naman, mga tropa. Kahit yung pangalan mo may santo. Talagang wala kang magagawa doon, men. Asam na yun. Asam na yun. Asam na yun. Grabe naman talaga na mga pinapakita ditong Genji na to. Men, mainit sila. 
talagang okay, kayo talaga yung champions ng Pacific, wala tayong magagawa dyan. Sila naman talaga, di ba? So, malakas sila, men. Ibang-ibang klase, pero mas nahirapan sila sa TS kaysa sa paper. Next, pustahan tayo. Wala, talagang uh, yung... Uh, yung paper X kasi pag, when it comes to those adjustment pag hindi sila mainit hindi na talaga sila iinit at all yung press W gameplay nila it's it's just press W not being precise lang din well, not being mindful of their surroundings well as for Gen G collected talaga sila kahit ba mainit si meter kahit ba mainit si texture nandun pa rin yung discipline nandun pa rin yung pagbabasa nila against sa mga makakalaban nila at final time out na to para sa Paper X. Pag hindi pa nila nakuha to, this might be just a moment where may kita Ito. na natin sila sa lower bracket. <laughs> Grabe naman yung effect na yun. <laughs> Naka, naka-fade si Alex. Sa lower... <laughs> 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 parang parang movie naman. poster. Oh, <laughs> yun nga eh. Anime oh, yan. Oo oh, oh, nga eh. <laughs> yung, 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 mga, yung mga ano, yung mga... Y- yung mga title, yung mga dudurugin kita. Alam mo yung mga ganun? Oh. Oo. Oo, yung mga <laughs> tikman mo. <laughs> tikman mo ang mainit kong lumpia. Yung mga ganun. <laughs> 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 yung mga ganun. Yung mga ganun. Yung ibang klase. <laughs> oh, ang langit. Mo, papasukin ako, di ba? Oh, ang langit-git ng papag. Mga ganun. <laughs> pero si Manfred, si Caron talagang gumagawa na si Manfred na lang si Forsaken. Ano lang natira, pero si Forsaken. Nakapit na dito ng isa, pero nasa samba, makakadalawa ata siya. Dalawa pa yung kalaban niya, pero super low na siya. Tagay na with Manfred as well. At mukhang malayo pa mga kalaban nila. Pero binuksan yung pinto, pero sino ba yung mabubuhin sa kanila? Pero si Forsaken ata, babawi pa. Super low na niya. Literal na one bullet na lang siya. Ay, nako po. This is it, I think. Pero nakakaya, Tito mo, Aaron at kay Jason. Ang titolo kong magiging clean 2-0 pa nga. All up for mind freak. May kita na niya kagad kung saan magagaling ang isa. He already knows. Pero nga lang, he's low on HP! Texture! Well, I mean, talaga. This is not what we expected. Yun nga, sinabi rin. They lose the first map. They will most probably lose itong Lotus map na pinili ng Genji. Ilang beses na nila pinaiyak ang Paper X dito lamang sa mapang to. I just wanna say, Paper X kasi, sila yung team na talagang momentum-based eh. Momentum-based ang Paper X talaga. At pag nabasag mo ang momentum ng Paper X, tuloy-tuloy na. At yung sa side ngayon ng Paper X, naghahanap sila ng magandang, ano, ng magandang time for them para to build their momentum up. Pero hindi eh. At saka, ito best eh. Ito best, tandaan mo ah. Uh. Ang pumili nito is Genji. Tama. Mm. San ba malakas ang Paper X? Sa attacking, di ba? So ang pinili nila ng first Na, na, ng side dito is attacking side yung pinili nila pero hindi nga talaga gumagana yung press W na ginagawa nga ng paper X they tried as well na medyo mala na medyo slow pero hindi pa rin gumagana wala talaga at this point nasa moment of acceptance na ba ang mga taga paper X or may next chance pa silang gusto i-grasp talaga ngayon kita mo the amount of effort lahat uh, Talagang nawawala talaga ang Paper X. May next pa dito si Texture. All of them are going down. Pero something tinapatan niya. Good call. Sa side ng Paper X na tapatan. Dahil alam nilang yung gagawin nila. After yung Nightfall, pupush nila kagad. Papunta lamang dito sa may water side. At we only have Munchkin. Pero sa iba nakatingin ang tatlong miyembro na Ito Paper na. X. Will this be a clutch or not? Hoy! Ito na. Ko. Ang pagbago ng api mga tropa. Munchkin mo abawi na. Pero buti kit... Sa sagay ng paper list, lamang na lamang pa sila. Pero angle isolation lang, kailangan gawin ni Munchkin. Gusto nang kunin yung operator, sa natoo lang eh. Pwede nang kunin to. Actually, marami pa kasi silang pera. Mamaya, so pwede pwede ba kahit hindi. Pero Munchkin, nasa ka natin talaga yung kalaban mo. Pero hindi, top bottom lit natin talaga yung pwestuhan ng paper list ngayon. Puting ito, 8 to 2. And kitang-kita nga natin yan, na kahit atake yung paper list, naka-operator pa rin yan. Inaantay lang talaga natin na mag-pop off kasi something dito na magkapitasan nga. Pero in terms of aim kasi, sa natoo lang, Malamig eh. Malamig yung tutok Tama. talaga ng Paper Rex eh. Aim duels, talagang nananalo talaga dito yung Genji. Pero alam mo ba kung saan talaga fully nananalo ang Genji? Positioning sa hmm. crossfire. Doon malakas ang Genji. Talagang uh, this is just painful sa side ngayon ng uh, um, Paper Rex as well. Everything isn't uh, going well for them. Pero at least around the Yonkinontes, they have to be 
heated pero karon na out na nga kagad malaking um, advantage to para sa Paper X they remove one of those good anger players ng Genjet may kasama pang Neural Tech pagdating kay Forsaken alam niya na may magkakontest but Lakia suddenly won that duel mapapanish sila ngayon hindi sila kagad makakapush papuntang A site pero ito pipilitin pa rin nila dito na sila sayang naman yung effort na ginawa ni Forsaken para makapag open up ha? Matindi mga tropa, napapaklaud burst talaga ako manala. Pero buti ito, 4v4 already. Inspect na dyan. Si Santi mga kapitos pa, pero mukhang hindi naman ata. Pero ang importante, alam niya na meron tao dun sa may heavy at saka si... at saka sa fade yun. Pero puti kita man ngayon sa side nga ng paper decks. They still have this uh, from the channels to get the drip position up. They still have the top of the side naman ng Genji is yung showstopper nga if ever they really want to go ham. So ngayon sa mga kalaban nga nila which is gagamit na nila. Texture for Satchel in. Makakapatay ba siya? Alam ba na kasama naman mga kalaban niya? Meron tao sa 3! Ayun na nga, nakapitas na siya. Pero nasa ba yung, nasa ba yung iba? 3 versus 2 right now. Monyet. In terms of positioning, maganda rin talaga. Nakabawi na sila. Pero yun nga lang, tamang wall ba lang. pinapakita nga nila pero eto na narinig ba ni Tropang Davai oo narinig nga niya pero mamamatik oh. naman hindi naman yung isa at makakabawi ata yung sign ngayon ng Paper Rex slowly and surely <clears throat> nagkakapitasan na nagkakatamaan na mm -hmm. pero ubos silang lahat yun lang at talaga ang problema pa rin oo ang gastos gastos sa Paper X 8-4 o sige abihin natin magiging 6-8 kung nanalo sila ng pistol pero pag naka full buy na yung Genji everything will be just dismantled kahit mismo si Forsaken napakamot sa ulo there's, there's just something wrong for Paper X today pero syempre tignan pa natin sa totoo okay. lang oh yeah namimiss ko si Jing eh Oh. Iba rin talaga yung iba iba ang uh, Jing Forsaken connection talaga guys. I mean, I mean na natin 'yan. Pero hindi, talaga si Monyet talagang di he really want to prove na talagang ako yung papalit kay Jing at kung ano yung ginagawa ni Jing dati makakayaran ko rin talaga. Pero texture na kapitas na ng isa. At kung napapansin mo yung ginagawa nga ni Forsaken, sobrang liit lang ng galawan nila kumbaga at kahit braso lang yung makita wala paktay ka talaga diha pero texture nakapit sa naman ng isang mga tropa at mukhang tatatlo pa ata to if every pang meron siya makita isa naka out of possession pero yun na ngayon nasa isip nga natin matindi ang position rin nga ng, pay, ng, ng Genji na hindi masolusyonan ng paper next pero texture lumipal pero hindi naman talaga tumama yung first operator shot pero mukhang mabawi na ata siya at mukhang hindi na ata mangyayari something talaga makakapatay ng isa pero laki bumabawi pa may flick ngayon mga ako pero tamang flash na muna para sa kanila hindi to mama yon buti kita 2v3 already at paper next mga 8 for ata may kita natin ngayon this is just uh, a paper x talaga nakalangan nila gawa ng paraan something nga lang is gonna go down uh, vipers uh, ano pa talaga siya dito molly pero wait lang post plant Pwede pa itong ma-defuse ng Genji. Uy, Kailangan o maksyon ngayon ng Paper X. Dahil, Davai nga lang, hindi spam, spam, may curious after, pero buti na lang. Na-execute nilang napakaayos. Down to 8-4. Ang laki pa rin ang gap ngayon between the two teams. So this is just gonna be hassle sa Paper X kung sakasakaling they lose the pistol on the second half. Parang yung kanina lang, kung mag no? Sobrang nipis nun, men. Yung nung napatili sa Forsaken. La. Tama. Alam mo yung mahirap dito yung ginawa ngayon ng, ano, ng Paper X? Alam nila na may operator sa A, pero nag-peak sila ng sobrang dry. No flashes, no trailblazer, walang kahit ano. Silip lang talaga. At dahil doon, nainis si Alex. Kasi sobrang dry nun. Alam mo na mayroong operator dyan, tapos isilip ka ng ganun? Parang literal na kunin at tanggapin ang alay na ito. Yun ang sinabi mo. Talagang ano pa? Kita mo kagad dun sa camera, eh, no? sabi ni, ni Alex, Why are you picking the up? Di mo alaman gawin yun. Diba? The usual paper X, when they tend to lose those algas, they tend to contest it very, um, every time. They don't respect it. So yan na naman yung nangyayari. They tend to lose. Pero 8-4 na nga ang uh, makukuha natin. This is the same scenario as the first map. But the next real problem is yung Paper X and defending na sila. And every time they are on defending, dun sila mas nahihirapan. At lalo na't malamig ngayon si Mind Freak together with Monyet. Na kay Forsaken ngayon yung pacing ng game. Kung mapaproteksyonan ba na ang team niya kapag naka-cypher siya.
I mean, I mean, alam natin yan, si, si Cypher, yan yung tropa mong iiwan mo nalang sa loob ng site eh. Tapos yung iba, ihe-heavy yung dalawang sites na wala nga siya. Pero tingnan, tingnan talaga pwede mangyari. Pwede 131, 311, 113, 211. It's really up to them kung 211, 4 lang yun. Yung isa kasi patahin eh. <laughs> so, ayun, 20 seconds in sa ating uh, halftime. At ang tanong kung paano nila sosolusyon nito. Alam natin na talagang malakas ang attacking dito sa, sa Lotus. Dati, talagang noong 2022, Bessie, ah, base stats, uh, mas malakas ang percentage ng defenders dito sa Lotus. Pero ngayon, hmm. nagbago na ang lahat. Attacking na talaga ang bumabawi dito. Iba na eh. The, the way you play, even this, just only be... Ganun lang din halos. How you wanna play etong uh, Lotus. Kung alam mo na paano mag uh, ano practice ang practice dito, mapadali na lang kagad na take. Pero ngayon, kumuha lang mo niyan for the takes down Munchkin, but I think that's the sign already para pumush papuntang C or kaya mag default papuntang B ang mga taga Genji as well. Nakita na. Alam nila si something ngayon dito nga si C. Pero yun ang sinasabi nga natin, 'di ba? Talagang 1-1-3 uh, lang muna pwedeng nila ipakita pero si Mitchor maganda trying to cut off the rotation nga ng ginagawa ng mga kanawa nila para for sake ng kapita sana tatlo na lang ang natitira ngayon sa Genji at oras ito para sa si papers para nga makabawi na sila pero something nagpakita ngayon sa kanan tamang double sila ginagawa nga nila pero at least sa kapita siya na isapot dito at 2v4 already lamang pa rin ng, lamang pa rin ng Genji pero parang nila pipigilan to kasi ito na yung retake nga na ginagawa ngayon na paper next just ko po si Lucky na kapita sa parang isa dadalawa pa ata siya pero something muna makakaisa dito pero yun nga wala siyang idea idea at all na meron na palang tao sa taas at karon biglang nawala 8 to 5 already at now Genji kinakabahan na sila yan na ito na ba yun yung pag uh, paper X comeback na ba or tapos na to kagad with a clean 2-0 at hindi ko pa rin alam kung anong mangyayari dahil ngayon ganito din naman nangyari nung no, nagstart tayo ng uh, um, map earlier eh, nung speed nanalo sila ng piston nanalo sila ng um, second round pero medyo masakit lang pagdating sa mga uh, taga paper X pero yun nagulat na si mind trick kinabahan ng onti yan Pero it is what it is. Paper X under defending. Will this be a big statement that they finally improve sa defending nila? Or talagang Genji with this, with this B-side take? Uy. Mukhang ayaw ni something. Dahil sila kay napitas na kaso nga lang nakuha siya ni Meter kagad. Good damage. Good, good damage nga na ginawa nga nila dito kay Meter siya nga nila kay, kay Karon though. But uh, dito sa mga pinapakita nga nila, at least paper Rex, alam nila na lamang pa sila. Hindi na nila kailangan mag-push, hindi nila kailangan dumire-diretso pa kasi alam naman nila na wala naman pera mga kalaban nila. Pero Mitchell, if ever nakapata siya ng isa with this kind of HP, with this kind of... <clears throat> Ganas when the ghost talagang delikado na pero si Monyet nagkabawasan pa nga ang importante maplant lang ng Genji itong bomba na to para magkaroon sila ng napakadaming pera nga mamaya pero Davai nagbabantay walang tao dito nga sa may revolving doors kasi alam nila nasa A main lahat sila pero nagkakapalitan na ata sila at yun na nga sabay sabay na wala mga kalaban nila This is it. Dalawa na lang. Tayo na yung score natin. Pag-iisipan pa rin natin kung papasok na nga ba sila sa ascent or hindi pa. Dami pang pwedeng mangyari at this point. We are counting the times where Paper X needs to win this. Pero to, hindi sila, magpo-force na sila ngayon. Eh. Kailangan na ni something na kapag igip na siya kagad for that <coughs> operator. But on the other side, hindi sila magsistick do sa mga banda. So, eh, magsisave pa rin sila. Oh. At tignan natin kung anong, kung magiging workable ba to, magiging effective ba to or hindi. Dahil si um, something wala siya dyan sa A-side. Oh. Pero si Manyat nakatapat na kagad. Baka may bumagsak na. Okay, laro lang ng laro. Umat na din kagad siya. Hi. Marsha lang yun, bes. Oh. Talagang Marsha lang yun. Nakakatakot naman talaga kung ganun. Tatlo na yung tao ngayon dito nga sa B. Pero mag-isa lang talaga. Si Micho na nag-aantay din doon. If ever talaga makapitas to, ay naku po, kabahang ka na. Pero ito na ata to, mga tropa. One to one trade lang. Pinapakita nga nila. Libreng phantom pa para sa kanila. Buti ito, 4v4. Something nag-aantay. Alam na yung operator nga nandyan. Buti na taga. Nakapitas siya. Isa buti ito, 3v4. Lamang ngayon yung mga players nga ng paper. In terms of headcount, probably not gonna catch any 
new one. Pero meron pa naman silang blind dito. I mean, wala pala. Oh, no, napakahirap oh, nga nito. Eh. Pero yun talaga pinakamalungkot. Kasi man siya nakapitas nga na isa. Pero one to one trade talaga pinapakita nila. Pero ang ingay na. Kasi nga, yung pinto, bukas sara na. <laughs> Trap sila lahat eh. Wala na si Lakia na lang. Kagad, Monyet, face him down. 8-7. Don't tell me map pickers to. Don't tell me na marami pang kwento ang mangyayari. Pero iisa lang ang nakikita ko ngayon. Bumabawi ang Paper X and that's good. Matindi. Matindi ang uh, talagang ang pinapakita nga natin ngayon. Okay lang yan. Hinanda ko ang sarili ko sa 3 games. <coughs> ano oras ulit yung call time ko? Alas 4! Meron pa akong 3 hours and 30 minutes. Maaga pa, maaga pa. Pwede ba mag-5 games ito mga tropa? Hindi. <laughs> Pero wag na. Wag, wag five, na. Games of, <laughs> five games of best of three baka. Pero something, nag-aantay. One way smoke para nga sa kanila. Prowler in. Mamba out na siya. Pero mukhang papasok pa rin ata sila. Nagkatamaan na. Pero naka-sheriff lang naman sila. Wala pa din. At this point, missing in action pa rin. Ang mga taga Gen G. Pero tatry nila mag-set up. Meron na kaagad. Nakita na ni something. Nag-out na siya. May sumunod na din kaagad for a second. Tries to take them down. Pero makakapag-collect na pa. Nakalika nilang mga baril si Lakia together with Meteor. What a setup. Pero no, Dabay. Huwag ka titingin dyan, Dabay. Huwag ka titingin. Bakit tao dyan? One tap talaga to. Ay, oo. Ayun, buti na lang narinig. Oo, buti na lang talaga. Pero wala silang idea na meron palang tao sa likod. Pero alam nila na magsisi talaga yung mga kalaban nila. 50 seconds yan, mga tropa. Yung spike nasa kanila pa. Yung operator talaga hawak na nila. Nakakuha na sila. Pero makakabawi pa ba? Pero let's see if ever makakaisa pa. Meron tao dito lang sa may revolving doors. Pero this is actually planted for holes. Pero right now, paano ba nito pipigilan? Meron tao sa may waterfall. May tao sa likod. At paano nila ito pupuntahan? 2 vs 3 pa rin. Yun ang sorry man dyan. Si Mitchell nakapit na sila oh. isami. Pero na, parang noong tumama pa sa kanya mga tropa. Pero alam nila na meron tao nga sa may waterfall. Pero mukhang sisilipin ata talaga niya. Nagkasilip. Ano? Ah, Diyos ko po nakapit na oh, pa ng isa. 2v3 meet your single-handedly taking down the players of Paper Rex. No! Nag-audition. Di na sila nagsabay-sabay. Pero ang talino ni Meteor doon. Ito na eh, tinanggal mo kagad si something. Tsaka si Forsaken, alam mo na yung mangyayari kahit nakatakan sila ng tatlo. Yung guns nila. Ang dami pang chance. Ang gigi na naman si, uh, si Alex. You should, you guys supposed to push it. All of you. And that round na dapat eight, eight na. Hindi pa nangyari. Oh. Nawala pa sa kamay ng Paper Rex. Napa-cloud burst ako doon ng malala. Oh. Uh, Kalit na naman siya. Ano ko siya yung ginagawa niyo, Pri? Pero yun na. Babawi na. Papahipak ka na lang talaga. Yung sa akin kasi rinig na rinig, guys. Pero yun na nga, something. Ito na. Meron pa siyang... Ay, naku po. Na-flash yung kolaban niya. Pero magpapakita pa sila. Tara, something nandyan. Ay, naku po. Nag-whiff pa yung dalawa. Pero tignan natin. Texture satchel. Okay, walang tao dyan. Uy, uy, Ay, naku po! Uh, Ay, hindi pinato! Ay, naku po! Super low on HP. Pero parang silang low. Pero something nila ba si Shorty na nakabawi na. Pero tamang nightfall muna para sa kanila. Wala silang marinig dito. Kahit isa pero Dubai, bumawi na lang dito na isa. Pero puti kita 3v4 already. Ito na yung press W na pinapakita nga nila. Pero yung lockdown sa side nga nila. Talaga inaantay lang nila. Malay mo, makabawi pa. Pero tamang seas lang para sa kanila. Doon lang sa may connector. Pero Spike has been planted already. Pero puti kita 2v3. Pero isang neural tech na talaga ang kailangan nga ni Forsake para makabawi nga sila dito. Pero may line-up pa na binapatok kasi Munchkin na isa. Pero something dire-diretso na. Pero tamang Blade Storm lang para sa kanila. Pero ayun na nga, nakabawi pa. Kala ko, panalo na. At sakto, buto na lang. May neural test ka agad si Forsaken. Kailangan na kailangan nila yun. Beshi 9-8. It is! Naku po, Genji, kung kailan may pag-asa na doon pa kagad di nakuha yung showstopper, wala na rin oras eh. Buti na rinig kagad, hindi na nag-press W sila something. Talagang dinisiplinahan nila to Ayaw na lang umatake masyado. But Genji, an opportunity is there. Pero sayang nag-slip to sa kamay nila. Ibang klase yung pinapakita nga nila. Oh, oh. Alam, 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 alam mo yung mga motor na ano, last egg. <laughs> Yung mga motor nila sa highway. Oh, oh. Mga na-stress ng umaga. Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos, eh, 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 ano, naka-straight naka pipe na 125 na FI. Tak-tak-tak-tak-tak-tak. 
Ganun talaga yung tunog no? Pero yung alas something muna Makakapitas na isa Pero nasa mo yung mga kalaban nila Diyos ko po Kinakabahan na lahat sila Nagpapress W na Si Karon Nakapitas pa ng isa Pero si Monet Nandiyan na May sorry ko na lang Mag-isa wow. mga tropa At yun lang nga Grabe naman yun Outlaw sa may dash Para papunta sa inyo Naging 99 na Dash in no Papunta saan? Sa puso mo Eee! Yan Ibang klase men Yan Yan ang mga alam Aww. Ng e-dater <laughs> You know, 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 Napakaingay na ganoon Pero yun na nga Si Karun nandyan na Pero tamang paranoia muna Sa imang mukha Wala sila makita dito Kahit isa Spray and pray Malala si Zabay na buhay pa Dos na lang natin sa kanya Pero si Karun nandyan Para bawiin ka Ito na hinahabol na Pero Zabay pa rin talaga Nakakuha Anong Zabay Baka goodbye Sa inyong tanan talaga Pero Zabay Dos na lang natin sa kanya Pero babawi pa Pero laki at tamang jumping Lasog lang Classic lang ang gamit niya Nakabawi pa 3v2 Yung Viper Spit nandyan na Pero yung something Nasa loob na Tamang spray and pray lang Wala silang makita dito Kahit isang something Nasa harapan niya na Malay mo Mapag 1v2 pa 1v1 ata to Kung magkocommit siya Pero pwede pa May pera pa siya mamaya Pero tamang mind games Ang pinapakita niya All the way from Maine Talagang ilipat muna siya All the way from heaven Saba Pero narinig nga siya Alam ko kung nasa ang ka Nilabas yung bundle niya Na makakapitas pa Pero ayun na nga Wala siyang ID ID na may tao Para sa may baba niya Pero tamang dash lang talaga Pero tamang glide kick lang Sa klase Hindi ano ito Mama sila Kaya talaga nakakuha ng kill na yun Dahil ko na si Eminem pre Pero all in all Grabe si Lakia no Ang laki laki na ni Lakia Grabe yung growth Pero to Ito talaga si Karun Kala mo siya yung duelist Pagkatapos ang paranoia na yun Walang nakita Walang nagawa Yung mga taga paper next Nasa sila humiga-ahiga Pero ito pinistol lang Ibig sabihin Mas maganda yung pistol Na hawak-hawak ng Genji Kaya yan ang bilhin nyo Pero to Napaano siya with Starts with an oh. F. Pero oh. di naman sasabihin yun. Oh, sabi niya, oh. fork! <laughs> <laughs> Alam oh, ala mo ang tawag sa nanay na fork? Mother fork. Oh, fork. Pero ito na nga. For a second nandiyan. Ayun na ka, wala sila kaya. Hindi, hindi na. Sige, hindi lang pala siya. Pero mukhang babawi na ata dito yung mga players gan ng paper legs. Pero yung importante, buhay pa yung apat mga para sa kanila. Pero yung showstopper nandiyan na. Sa chill-in mga drop. Ah! Kita ko alam ko kung nasang ka. Pero tamang snake bite lang para sa'yo. Namatay ka pa. 3 versus 3 base. Is something nag-aantay na. Yuko talaga sila. Natakot na. Pero something... Tell us something that we don't know. Ika nga, pero yung dalawang miyembro, kala na lang, kala na lang kumilo. Saan na ba natitago dahil tayo may staking at ngayon na walang magagawa ng whipsy something. Nag-whipsy lang lahat. 9-11, mag-gastos na round yun sa paper. Next, alaos na naman sila, Arif. Napaka-gastos. Parang lang yung kaibigan ko kung si Ray Ray. Walang ginawa kong hindi bumili. Tapos pag tinanong ko saan galing to, sabi niya nanalo lang daw sa giveaway na sinalihan niya. Sheesh talaga. Pero pero napakaganda spray transfer talaga na pinakita nga ni Karun, di ba? Pare, fist bump mo ko. Ayan, para tropa na kita. Pero dito naman sa side nga ng Genji, isa na lang ang kailangan nila. Match point na sa dalawa. Panalo na. Pero sa paper next, Diyos ko. Grabing pressure talaga. Pinapakita nga nila yung blaze serve ni something kailangan. Kailangan talagang tumama. Pero ito na yung Press W Esports mga tropa. Yung para doon, tumama nga sa isa. Pero let's see kung mamamatay ba. Pero mukhang hindi naman ata si Sexy nagbabantay na. Ay, nako po si something biglang nawala. Ay, nako, sometimes na lang siya. Pero ito na, lahat ng sumilip sa mga kalaban nila na wala. Parang gula. Nag-satchel in, double satchel in. Pero wala siya nakita dito kahit isa. Pero alam nila na galing waterfall lang talaga. Mukhang mapapa NT or GG's na lang ang Paper X ngayon. Mind trick together with Forsaken na natitira. Si, ano eh, no? Si, si Kuya mo something sa iba nakatingin eh. Nag-dash in papunta sa kalaban. Talagang awit ka talaga dun. Pero ngayon, look, looking at this, Jen, she's just reading them like a book. Alam na nila how Paper X plays. They know how to stop the press W. Si, si Han ba naman? Kasama mo. Ang galing talaga mag-analyze yan. Isa na lang agad for second all by himself. That's not gonna work. Match point already comes into the hands ng Genji ngayon. At Ay, wala, Will. Masakit na talaga to. Masakit na nga talaga, Kuya Eddie. Alam nga kasi ng Genji na meron akong call time ng alas 4 kaya tatapusin nila to. Diba? 
Para makas mo sentinels. <laughs> oh! Ay, 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 nga, no? Oy! Ay! First map? Pwede na ba? Ay, wag, wag. Hindi pwede, hindi pwede. Ah, hindi pwede. pwede. Ha, sorry, sorry, Actually, sorry. 3 o'clock talaga yung call time. Alas 4 yung alis, eh. So, <laughs> ayun nga. Kita-kita siya pala tayo sa Baguio, mga tropa. Mga tropa natin, katagang Baguio dyan, mga Baguio goers. Kita-kita sa'yo dyan. Pero ayun na nga. Papasok na ata yung mga tropa natin sa Genji kasi alam nila na isa na lang kailangan nila para manalo sila dito. 2-0 talaga, makikita natin. Pero sabi ng Paper Rex, hangkat hindi pa 13, kakayanin pa namin kasi pag natalo kami dito, papagulit na kami ni Alex. Talaga pag tampal-tampalin yung mga ano namin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Alam niyo ba si Coach Alex is a siyang uh, French. 'Di ba? Kala niya Asian siya, hindi. French Uy. siya. Uy. Yun lang. Pero to. Ayun nga, may hilig siya saan? Sa baguette. Ayan. Ayan. French yan. Wee, oui, wee, oui, wee. Oui. Kumbaga, mga ganun. <laughs> yan talaga, makikita nga natin. Pero ito lang si Monyet. Hop! Sino mga kukuha dito? Sino mamamatay? Pero tamang crossfire talaga. Pwede na ipakita. Pwede na mag-satchel niya. Pwede siya mag-ganun. Mag Mag-shadow zip. Pero hindi talaga tinagkapatan niya. Pero oh, sige. Oh, oh. Lahat sila. Nagpakita lahat sila. Nawala yung show. Stop for Tanjela. Pero siya something makakaisa. Pero si Mindfreak nakabawi pa. Pero importante, may nightfall sila. Pero ito na. Si Mindfreak walang narinunig kahit isa. Hindi kita mahal. Yan lang ang narinunig niya. Pero buto nga 3v3. O na lang sila. Kinagpaplanta ng spike. Pero sabi yung mga kalaban. Si something nagpakita. Mamamatay siya. Pero yung problema nila. Mindfreak nilang ang davay ang natira. Mind freak together with the Vi. Isang taga Indo, isang Malay naghihintay kung pwede pa ba nilang makuha to into that uh, match point. Kung pwede pa maging OT pero nakatingin na. The Vi finally gets his work together but then time is ticking. Nakakrossfired ang dalawang miyembro ngayon ng Jeji. Nagahanap na mga pick-offs. Wala pa dyan. Pero Sigma. Mind freak, kahit isave pa pa yan, wala na yan. Next sound na yan. An ascent? 2-0 to tol! Pakakalain mo! Ay, may kasawa pa kagad ako! Ay. Wala na kagad to! GG's guys! NT! At wala nang oras si Dabay! Ay! Ay Naku po! Meron pa! Pero nga lang lahat na nakaswing na lang! Wala nang oras! Ay. GG's! 39! 3-2-0! Hindi pa rin natalo ng paper next sa Revenger Round! Ang Genji at sila ay mapupunta sa lower bracket! Walang Genji ay may magtatagumpay papuntang semifinals ng upper bracket! 2-0 mga tropa! Ayan ang kwento nila. Ang akala natin, paper text ang mananalo, pero pinatihimik sila ng geng-geng. Ibang-ibang iba talaga. Pero ayun na nga, GG well played para sa side ng paper text. Hindi naman kasi sila sanay na matalo. Pero importante, andito sila para sa kanila. Ano daw? Ano daw? What? Ano daw yan, men? What? Uh, sinabi ko, what, uh. what, what? Pero hindi. Babawi sila. Andyan sila tropang something and friends. Mag-iingay sila kasi may lower bracket pa. At kailan ba ang laro nila? Bukas tayo ang magkikita-kita. Shoutouts ka pala kay HG. Yung Sentinels. Ikakast mo na. Isang, al alam mo ba? Ano yan? Ito ah. Legit men. More than 1,000 days na ang VCT. Pero kahit isang beses, hindi ko man lang, hindi ko man lang nasigaw yung pangalan ni Tens. <laughs> Wala bili. Pero malay mo, pag nanalo sila dito, malaki ang chance ng Sentinels pumunta papuntang Grand Finals. Pero as of now, maba pa rin ang story na isusulat ng mga teams natin as of now. For Paper X fans, hindi pa naman tapos ang laban nila dahil meron pa tayong lower bracket kung saan may kipaglaban sila bukas na bukas. Ay, actually, hindi pa. Hindi pa pala, guys. Sa March 23 na to. Ay, oo nga. Bukas na nga. Bukas na ba? Oh, 2 a.m. Hindi ko alam. Ano ba? Yung oras kasi, guys, magkaintay. 22 lang yan, so mamaya. Mamaya. Tapos bukas 23. Yun nga. Yun. Ibang klase, boss. Pero yun na nga, talagang wala pa eh. Min sa side nga ng Genji, pumunta sila dito, dinisect nila yung strats ng Paper Rex. Basang-basa nila, alam nila kung paano dudurugin ng Paper Rex. Na kahit defender sila, Diyos ko, I mean, I mean, yun nga na kahit defending sila, sa tatlong site na mapa, alam mm. nila. Miss ko yung coach nila, ha? Ano nangyayari? Hindi ko alam. Ba't nananalo yung mga tropa natin dyan? Pinag-aralan natin ito na mabuti. Diba? Gusto na talaga ibigay yung credit sa Genji. Ang galing nila to take down a monster like Paper X, di ba? Pero for the problems ng Paper X, yung nakita natin na usual problem since dati pa, 
ito pa rin yung nagba-manifest ngayon and I think they really need to do some preparation, some answers pagdating lamang sa mga usual mistakes nila ngayon dahil hindi na maganda, hindi na nangyayari yung gusto nilang execution eh. Yun na rin talaga. Parang uh, ang paper X na nahimik ata sila ngayon eh. No? And we're mm. really hoping na makikita nga natin ata, ata sila. Well, yung ating uh, rematch nga nung kick-off finals, mukhang uh, 2-0 na ang uh, <laughs> Genji doon. So, pwede natin sabihin na ito na ang pinakamatinding rivalry nga na pwede nga natin makita. Kasi dati kasi DRX, di ba? DRX ah. versus paper X. Yun talaga pinakamatinding rivalry. Pero ngayon, nagbago na ang lahat. Siyempre, new year, new me. New year, new team. Yung talaga pinaka nakikita nga natin dyan. Pero, dun sa mga players nga natin dyan, sa sayo ng paper X, dyan sila para makabawi. At ang Genji, itutuloy lang nila lahat ng pagkapanalo. At yun na nga mga tropa, ito na ang first series ng ating umaga. Huwag kayong mag-alala, may second series pa. Si Kuya Vil, mamamaalam muna. Magkikita ulit tayo sa Grand Finals. Kita kit sa Baguio, kung nasa Baguio man kayo. Pero Ray Ray, ito na ang sunod. Ito na, puto na tayo syempre sa Facebook interview natin together with Genji, guys. Is, can, can we hear it for much? Can, can we hear it for Genji? We're the Genji fans over here. Thank you. La primera pregunta es que fue una partida en la que se hacen algunos cambios por el lado de PaperX. ¿Había alguna idea y en qué se enfocan especialmente en este segundo mapa para que el cambio de composición no le afecte a Genji y puedan cerrar un 2-0? Munchkin, first of all, congratulations. The first thing I want to ask you is, uh, I want to know what, what goes behind the scenes when we get to see that PaperX composition change on that second map. It seems like it was slipping away, but you were able to take it back right at the end. So what was the focus to make sure that map would go your way? 로터스에서 페이퍼렉스가 조합을 다시 한번 바꿔들고 왔는데 이제 젠지 선수들은 그거에 대해서 어떻게 풀어나가려고 했고 대처를 했는지 궁금합니다. 아무래도 갑자기 이렇게 따라잡히는 모습이 나오기도 했거든요. 어 일단 저희가 사이퍼 상대를 많이 만나봤었기 때문에 사이퍼 대처 방안에 대해서 일단 첫 번째로 이야기했었고요. 그리고 저희가 중반부터 좀 따라 따로 따라 잡혔던 거는 저희가 좀 방심하고 저희끼리 커뮤니케이션이 잘안 돌았던 것 같습니다. Well, uh, we're familiar with going up against uh, compositions with Cypher, so the first thing we talked about was how to play against the Cypher comp. And uh, I think when Paper X were making the comebacks, I think we had some uh, miscommunications and mistakes going on, but we were able to, you know, set it straight. Lo que nos cuenta de ese mapa de Lotus es que ya habían jugado en contra de composiciones de Cypher, así que el enfoque principal era cómo tenían que jugar en contra de ese Cypher. Y cuando Paper X en esa segunda mitad estaba ganando dos rondas, el enfoque principal era en que la comunicación no estaba de la mejor forma y después la podían arreglar y cerrar el mapa. Ahora, eh, mientras más vemos Gen.G, mejor se ven. Si ¿Sí se consideran uno de los equipos que bajo presión puede brillar más comparado a los otros tres que tenemos en estos playoffs. Uh, the more that we get to see Gen.G, the, the brighter and the better you're looking. This time around, close it in a 2-0, do you find yourself to be one of those teams that is able to uh, be better under pressure compared to other teams that we have in playoffs? 계속해서 경기를 치를 때마다 강해지는 모습을 보여주고 있는데 젠지라는 팀이 먼치킨 선수가 생각할 때좀 부담감이 더해졌을 때더 잘하는 팀이고 또 어, 훨씬 더 이렇게 좀 긴박한 상황에서 경기력이 더 살아나는 그런 팀이라고 생각하시나요? 어... 사실 저희가 부담감을 아예 안 느끼는 건 아니지만 사실 그렇다고 해서 또 부담감을 많이 받는 건 아니거든요. 사실 부담감이 저희 경기력에 영향을 끼치는 것 같지는 않고요. 그냥 저희가 연습하던 대로 계속 대회에서 성장하고 있기 때문에 그래서 더 잘하는 거라고 생각합니다. I would say there's a little bit of pressure on us, but not a lot, and it's not going to be a lot. There is a little bit of pressure, but that's not enough pressure to crack us uh, when we're up on the stage or, uh, you know, affect how we perform. And I just feel like we're that type of team that gets stronger and stronger and that uh, can grow as we play and as we make those runs uh, today here in Madrid. So I am very glad that we're able to pull this one off as well. Dice que definitivamente hay presión, de que la presión está ahí, pero que no los llega, que no los rompe, que no les destruye en el momento en el que están en el stage, en el que tienen que jugar. Eh, y también dice que sí se consideran como uno de esos equipos que bajo presión puede brillar más y cada vez los vemos más, más fuertes por eso. Ahora para mi última pregunta, quiero saber si vemos un escenario en el que Genji llega a esa gran final, ¿esperaría tal vez más adelante un rematch en contra de Paper X o espera tal vez que sea en contra de alguien más? Ya. Uh, assuming que siguen tomando esas victorias for the next couple matches here, uh, assuming that you guys make it to the grand final, everything just goes according to plan. Are you expecting to have a rematch with PaperX or are you expecting it to be someone else? 대략대로 결승 전에 간다면 PaperX를 만날 것 같으신가요? 아니면은 다른 팀을 만날 것 같은가요? 어 일단 제가 
원하는 건 페이퍼릭스가 아메리카 팀들 다 잡고 다시 결승 오는 것까지 다 원하고 있지만 그래도 센티넬도 한번 온 김에 만나보고 싶기 때문에 센티넬도 열심히 해서 올랐으면 좋겠네요. Well, uh, if it goes to my plan, my personally, uh, I want Paper Rex to um, kind of eliminate all the teams from Americas and then we meet again in the finals. But uh, I want to play against Sentinels because they're a really good team. So I hope they do well uh, right now. Um, but yeah, 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 I would like to face Sentinels. Dice que si todo va de acuerdo a su plan, la idea es que PaperX le gane a todos los equipos de Américas para que se encuentre nuevamente en esa gran final. Pero que aún así dice que le gustaría mucho jugar con Sentinels, espera que les vaya bien en lo que viene siendo esta partida que ya se viene. Y hablando de eso, nosotros nos vamos a pausa, we're gonna take a break real quick and we get ready for that Americas match. We've seen this matchup before, and last time Gen G became the king of Pacific. But this is a different stage, and a stage that Paper X have conquered over and over again. We got two last damage, but no Genji. kills. Oh, this has come back into a winnable scenario. So just need to hit the bullet. Yo, yo, yo. that is even close, guys. That is even close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> like it's gone. An opportunity here at least to shut down the first and the second one. Yet as well, rockets on point. One enemy remaining. It's a blind brilliant from Carol. Nice up! What's about this is uh this would be exceptional time. Good luck to you and good night. What a performance for the side of Genji. Done! And the follow-up and he's out of the ball knife out and Dublin wins! He brought a knife to a knife fight! on the other side, Showstopper, he, he should be dead, eventually. A very quiet start to this game, and a reaction shot. Ah! I want the shit. Four on nice means they know where they are. The take out is perfect. Saken there to help with this fight. Instead, something has to do it on his own, and again, he finds texture. That's a big part of this take. There's it's, it's no done. chance. It's There's done. no chance whatsoever. He had to stick it underneath his nose. And short of a big misplay, it was never swinging the other way. A consistent showing from the side of Gen G as they take victory over their Pacific comrades. It's on to the upper final. Red Bull gives you wings. Go!
Welcome back, everybody, to day six of Masters Madrid. I'm your host, Yingsu, and I'm back on the desk with Mimi and Hypog. We've had our first regional rematch already, and let's get into the second. It is America Sentinels versus Loud, and I believe, Mimi, the matchup that you're very, very excited about. Yeah, this one's going to be fantastic. It went all five maps in the finals in America. Sentinels pulled it off there against Loud, but Loud has really leveled up at this event thus far. It should be a great match again. Yeah, I think so. A couple of stumblings along the way. Uh, it is a concern for me that Loud have already kind of shown some bad tape here. Obviously, with the perma ban even being shown here now, Breeze, there's no questions left over their map pool. Yeah, I mean, we saw the same three maps before in the first match of the regional, but I wonder if we're going to get that again here. But the thing is, uh, Hypog, as you would know, Sentinels have played an obscene amount of games coming into this tournament. They continue to do so here in Madrid. Yeah, a lot of tape, obviously, to go through. Um, an opportunity there for Loud. They've already shown that, that, you know, they're willing to switch away from some of these Phoenix compositions and pull out a curveball and, and change something up. So there is actually a real opportunity with the break coming into the playoffs. The Loud, I don't want to say in terms of prep, but have the upper hand in that regard. They played less maps than some of these teams, but remember they were playing back to back. It was something like 12 hours of prep between t playing Heretics to then play Casey and beat them. And it was the same in America's. They played more rounds than the rest of the teams in America's playoffs combined. But finally, this team has had a bit of a break at a playoffs. Yeah, and I mean, this, this break is going to be very, very important for them as well. And speaking of that, here is what Coach Kaplan had to say right after they secured playoffs. I cannot wait to sleep. <laughs> uh, it, it, it means a lot. Uh, it's been really hard to have such a quick turnaround. Uh, we showed everything we had pretty much in kickoff and it's uh, we didn't have a lot of turnaround time to deal with that strategically, right? Especially even with scrims or jet lag, there's just so many challenges. So having some time to breathe and be better equipped to handle opponents studying us is a huge relief. and confidence boost for the games ahead. I mean, this is the thing. They've already achieved everything so far without that a little bit of a break. So how much stronger do you think Sentinels are about to be? I think they're going to be really strong. We've already seen, even with the low prep time, how good this team is at counter striding against both Heretics and Casey, I think the squad came in with really good game plans to fight forward, to punish their opponent's tendencies. I think they're really good when they have even more time. And we saw that in America's when they went into playoffs, they further leveled up. This is a squad that when they really take that effort to study their opponents and come prepared to a match. Yeah, and I think indivi the individual performances here, sassy a little bit of a concern, but I think if there are going to be any changes to the composition, the way that uh, particularly Zek and Tens are both performing individually, there's room there to put them on anything potentially. And outside that, John Q as well individually standing up so far here in Madrid. Yeah, let's talk about Tekken here because we talk, we, we say yeah, tens and Tekken, Tekken. Okay. We've been kind of debating, you know, rookies here and there, but there is no debate when it comes to these two Mimi. They are just the best right now in this tournament. Yeah, both these guys are looking like top five players in the tournament and they're on the same team. And the thing is, they're always playing together. These guys out of the server, yeah, they're good it. friends. The, their teammates call them the kids of the team. They're always hanging out and they're setting each other up together in the server as well. They're a very aggressive duo. You'll see them take risks, but the difference between them and maybe a team like Paper X or a player like Forsaken per se, is that it's always together and it's always being really well integrated into John QT's system. When they go for these risks, when they go for these early fights, the rest of the team is calling around that. They hear Zek and say, hey, I want to make this play. Tens knows how to set him up and the rest of the team adapts around that really, really well. Yeah, and I think as well, just to double down on that, the support system here is really the difference. To have everybody here delivering individually, Second and tens being the ones to lead the charge. I, I, I it's terrifying to have to go up against them in this sort of form. I'm going to make Tekken a thing, but let's move on Don't to the other that. side uh, for Lau because they had a slow start. Uh, but Hypog, as you know, even when they've had a slow start in the past, they always go really, really deep and they, they manage to take it all the way sometimes. Yeah, Lau have always just got this playoffs form that they seem to, it's almost like the trump card, the Uno reverse that comes out in the series that they need to deliver it. And I think, I don't necessarily think they've shown that so far, but coming out and, and bouncing back the way they did uh, with the follow-up series, we talked about obviously it being a bit of a concern, the lost to Gen G, but outside that, you still look back and you think, well, what series has Les been playing in? In particular, Les having another MVP worthy performance. Uh, and you look back at the series, you think, how's he doing that? 
Yeah, and I, I honestly think that this team has leveled up yet again to a form where they can be a contender for a title. I, I think they worked out some of the issues they showed in the kickoff event, where they're, they're playing these like Phoenix comps, it's not really working out. Here, I think they really narrowed down their map. Well, they showed maybe some weaknesses on Breeze, but on the maps that they're committed to, their Sunset, for example, they've looked excellent. The strategy is really coordinated. Players have also leveled up quick in their last game, looked so much better than the rest of the season thus far. This is allowed that all always wakes up the deeper they get into tournaments. It seems like they find the ability to hit the peak at just the right time in like every event. Yeah, and I think as well that they, they've already shown here that they are willing to kind of detract away from the commitment to the Phoenix and Breach. Uh, they're obviously busting out the Euro in particular, but QCK's individual performance across all the duelists has been pretty incredible. I keep saying that nobody plays this much Phoenix and comes out looking yeah. like, you know, a great duelist or a great individual player, but somehow he's doing it. Yeah, you guys mentioned Les already. He was also having a, a great tournament. I believe he is standing by with Mika Fabs. Take a look at this. Not just quite yet. What about uh, this? What about this? this? I want to <laughs> look at this because this guy's yes. stats have been ridiculous this tournament, but they are every time. Les yeah. is the consistent member of this squad. With Osmus out of the team, he's the number one guy you have to look towards. He's always playing Viper, but he's competing with the star duelists in every role. The guy's ridiculous. And if Loud is going to win a trophy here in Madrid, it'll be because he's keeping that up. Yeah, that was less. Uh, we got less as well because less is more. So more let's less. send it down to Mika Fabs. Hey, Les, I like that little groove you had on going on a little bit back there. So you've been on the team for forever. You know how it's like when the team gets that synergy in order to win championships. I'm curious how uh, this level of synergy has been from like the beginnings of this roster all the way up here to Masters Madrid. What's that journey felt like? We have Arthur here to help with some translation. Oi, Les. Então, primeiramente, eu gostei que você estava ali mandando uma vibe bem legal. A gente quer saber, você está desde o início com a galera, com o time, e agora com esse novo roster, vocês estão com a sinergia. A sinergia está boa. Como é que está a sinergia de vocês agora até o campeonato? Ah, a gente está começando a evoluir, né? Querendo não, estou no início do ano. A gente está com um jogador novo, staff nova, então a gente está planejando a longo prazo, mas estamos evoluindo aos poucos no campeonato. Overall, step by step, we're evolving not only in the championship because we also have a new player. We're working on with like new staff as well. So I would say we're just on the way evolving because overall it's the beginning of the year as well. Well, eager to see that next step. Keep that vibe going and best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But being here is about being the best in the world. And as he stands at this stage, it does feel like both of them have a great chance. It's the new versus the old guard for Americas in this match. It's the third time they've played this year, and we're already into the veto, Mike. These teams have a lot of similarities in their strengths, and I think we're going to expect to see maps like Sunset, maps like Icebox that was just picked that both these teams love to play. This, honestly, what we're getting already is a bit of a rematch of that finals. Yeah, definitely. Well, actually, yeah, with Sunset to round things out, concern, a oh, massive concern to kick things off on split. Obviously, two very polarizing results, obviously, regionally yes. looking back at this, but last one being a 13-3, Sentinels absolutely slap loud about. Yeah, Split is far and away the best map for Sentinels oh, yeah, that we have yeah. seen thus far. They look lights out on that, in particular their defense, their protocols, the way they set up for the retake. Everything Zekin. has been on point. And yes, so much of it is Zekin, and so much of it is also John QT. It feels like his calling is perfect on the defensive side of that map, on how this team sets up. This first map's going to be a challenge for Loud. Yeah, just how close do you think this will be, though? Because the first map, match we saw today, very, very one-sided, also what we expect it, but uh, hi, Bog. Do you feel like it favors uh, one team or another coming into this? Uh, I'll be honest. It I do give the edge to Sentinels here. I don't think we're going to have a very clear-cut series, though. I think Loud may be looking to reinvent themselves once again and have that bounce-back factor. Uh, I don't think this is going to be an easy run. 
Yeah, the question for me is what has Loud changed? Because they haven't had to really show their split since that grand final. So there has been a bit of time to kind of look back, see what went wrong there. But even the best teams haven't been able to beat Sen there. I look more towards the rest of this pool. I think Icebox and Sunset, both teams are incredibly close on how they play. In particular, Icebox leads towards Louds. I really expect us to get a third map, to get Sunset, and that's so exciting because these teams are both excellent at the map, but with very different reads. One playing the Breach and the Phoenix, the other playing the Gecko composition. Both have these great retakes. Both have really cool ideas for how they take space on the map. Really hoping we get there. Yeah, and I also, uh, you mentioned a little bit of doubt perhaps in Sassy here, but uh, Hypok, he's going up against Sadag. You know, they've been looking forward to <laughs> yeah. this matchup for a long time. As we take a look at uh, the agent select, how much pressure do you think is going to be on his shoulders? Uh, I def well, no, no surprise to see the compositions come out, but I do think it is a little bit concerning Sassy's performance in areas, but I mean, you could argue again, it's it's another one of those familiar opponents, a very, very comfortable ground, and obviously regionally, Sassy's performances were above what we've seen so far in Madrid. The Sentinels are starting on the attack. A lot of this comp is built around how in the mid round they take space for Zekin. I think shutting down Zekin has to be a priority for Loud. He is looking like the best player in the event right now. And if he can keep that up in this one, if he can get the openers for Sentinels, give John Keith those, John, John QT, excuse me, those options in the mid round, the way they've been able to for most of this tournament, it's going to be really tough for Loud to recover. Yeah, well, I've just been told that Bren and Saisho are in fact contractually obligated to cast every single Sentinels game. So uh, here they are, over to you guys. Isang malupitang umaga, tanghali, gabi, madaling araw sa lahat ng nanonood ngayon. Finally, we're going into the US or the Americas show out, showdown ng players coming in from Sentinel at ng players ng Loud. At Ray Ray nga pala kasama ko ngayon. Dahil, again, nakita na natin kung paano naging mabilis na yung first series natin, ano? Kaya nga eh, talaga nga kala natin magiging dikit na dikit na laban yon against Genji together with Paper X pero hindi pinayagan ng Genji ang Paper X. Pero looking naman at Paper X, very positive sila. Pero ngayon, skip na natin, puta na naman tayo syempre sa Grand Finals ng kick-off <laughs> ng Americas between um, Loud together with Sentinels. Yung mga oh. points ng mga analysts natin kaninang gaganda, sabi talaga nila yung mid-rounding ngayon ng um, Sentinels, Sentinels, they circle around second which is good and I'm happy to see Sentinels back at it again already. This is their first um, playoffs in a very well. Like, I think two years natin silang hindi nakita halos. Kako, totoo nga eh. Kaya naman nalang ganda na ng mga pinanimula nila. Ang ganda rin naman ng pag-convincing ng pagpasok nila dito going to the playoffs. But a really, really questionable moment dito ngayon is kakayanin na nga ba ng loud na manumbalik ka. Since again, sabi nga natin, this is a really good matchup na parehas ng mga series natin ngayon ay nanggaling nga sa grand finals ng ating mga kick-off stages. So, will this be the same? Manunumbalik na nga ba ngayon ang kabakpotensya ng Loud or Sentinels can still do their thing, do their wonders lalo na, again, this is a best of three series pa rin. Kaya nga, nakita nyo naman yung map dito, guys. Unang map natin is going to be on split <laughs> tapos next, Icebox Sunset munti ka nang hindi bumagal yung styles nila. And going up against Loud, very similar yung identity nila. It's just that mas straightforward talagang Sentinels, mas yes. aggressive sila. But the reads ng Sentinels, because of John Cutie, their new IGL all throughout this group, parati yung perfect, parating may masterpiece. So, we, ito bang loud ma figure out ba nila to? Knowing na karamihan sa kanila bago, it, this is their first land, syempre may mga kabakaba pa yan, pero mukhang narinig na natin na team brehan na natin ngayon dahil sisimula na naman natin dito lamang sa split. Sino bang makukuha, makukuha nito? Will it be itong loud or Sentinels? <laughs> Loud ngayon ha, gusto nilang umagaw ng tempo pero mukhang nababantayan naman ito maigi ng Sentinels. As we can see, may ipit sila ngayon ng going ito ramen pero may paghuhudos dili pa rin naman ang ginagawa ngayon na players ang Loud. Ready na nga ba ang Sentinels dito dahil ngayon nagbabakawin na nga kaagad sa Celsius and this is good dahil maambahan at mabibigyan nila kaagad ng confrontation itong magagaling ng garage. So si QQCK ay exit na lang din muna. <laughs> oh no. And di ko alam kung guys um quick ba yan? Oh, di ko alam eh. quick. quick Nasa BLR diba? quick. Oh quick. Okay. Late ko na nakita. Hindi <laughs> ba akala ko din na una quick eh. Or quick or Mr. Quicky, alam mo yon. Um <laughs> <laughs> kay ano yun eh, kay tawag dito kay Sisi na. Si Mr. Asiano. 
si Mr. Quick. <laughs> Pero ito ah, Quick na nga ba sila magkakasagutan ngayon dahil all the way from mid, there's the immediate confrontation between the two players. Kaya naman ngayon, mabilis ang 3v3 na kaagad na magiging laban. But all this time, we still have here the controllers on the left behind coming in from the side of Loud. So nakikita natin, grabe yung control nila going into CT. We even have here so much gold na nobility. Kaya ngayon, mananaig pa rin pala ang mga players ng Sentinels kahit nandito na nga kaagad ang players ng Loud para manumbalik with a 3 take dahil si Ceci nakatulong pa rin sa kanila. Grabe, ang ganda nun. Para ato talaga yung execution ng Sentinel. Sobrang, ano talaga eh, talagang chef's kiss. Aka, um, munti ka ng ibang masabi ko. Starts with an F kung anong nationality ni Alex doon. Pero to, Ooh, si Zelsis talaga good read. Kaya talaga sinabi niya, alam niyo ano? By the Sentinel's bundle daw. <laughs> Oh, that was sayang. such a great start. Ang ganda, yeah. ganda, ganda. Ang ganda na simula na yun dahil again, Celsius nakatulong na nga lang din with just the lineups. At yun na nga lang din na nilang oy ng players na coming in from Lao. So by this time, kailangan na nila magdalawang isip na kung idederecho na nga ba nila ito dahil si Les kaagad na nawala sa mapa. Naka talagang uh, sassy din. The flanks are just perfect. Look at how calm and coordinated they are. Pero that won't work for Twist ngayon dahil John QT has been taken out. Pero maganda na ito kagad. May nakagat na kagad, kagad ngayon si Sassy. Pero nga lang dalawang member pinaroon at panaroon panaro na kagad ni Tenz as he gets the second kill. And alam na nila kung nasaan si Twist. Sobrang obvious. B right now is just open but they just gotta take care of those flanks. Kapag sila na 3v1, medyo mahirap madugutos sa Sentinel side. Definitely. Lalo na ito pa naman ang Byron nila. Pero buti na lang, hindi pa nakaikot at hindi pa nakadaling nga si Natuis all the way from garage. And that is another round well played coming in from the side of Sentinels. Mabilis lang dahil we had a mid-take. Meron tayong buys coming in from Sentinels. At doon sila nanalo nga when it comes to their executions and their firepower. But this time, Rere, Byron na ng loud. So magtat... Mag Titignan pa natin kung magiging successful na nga rin ba ito ulit. Dahil tatlo pa rin naman yung nakasurvive kanina. Ito na yung pagbabalik ng loob pagdating sa loud. If this is gonna go into the hands of Sentinels, malaki ang chance na maging clean 2-0 na naman muli tayo ngayon. Konting setup lang mula sa side, syempre, ng mga taga-Sentinels as well. Talagang ito na yung plano nila. Go into A. They just want to rush in. Wala naman kagat problema pagdating sa Cypher na yan. Pero sa Dak, tinutukan lang silang lahat. Nakikita na siya Alaka. kagat ngayon. But then, wala walang kawa-kawa. Oh, lahat sila. Pumapasok sila na dapat hindi. At nakakapagtaka yung ganitong angles. But all in all, good opening for both the teams. Definitely a better opening para na nga sa side ng Sentinels dahil nakapasok na kaagad sila ng side. Ang problema na lang nila kailangang harapin is yung tatlo natitira. And quick! Viper Spit naman na agad ang makukuha ngayon ni Chelsea. Controlling and completely dito ngayon yung side. Kailangan tuloy lumangoy ng players ng loud at hanapin pa kung saan na nga ba dito nagtatago si na Celsius. Pero unfortunately for them, meron na nagtatagong paranoin all the way from downtown, all the way from the corner. Nandito na si Ceci, but unfortunately kay Ceci, hindi naman tumama ang kanya mga bala. Tense! Masyado bang risky ang magiging play niya. Pero together with Celsius, he can go in with a crossfire and Tens will be able to finish till he's out. Pero down he goes with 23 HP. He's holding in to the team views. Pero si Tens pa rin na makakuha ng triple kill. Down to a 3-0 na kaagad. And that was again the buy round coming in from Loud. That was so smart, Tens. That was so smart. Kung makita nyo lang yung replay ito, nireplay na nga natin, meron sila sariling Moli. Pumabor pa nga kay Tens yun kagad. And all by himself, he played it quite well. Hindi niya in-expect yung angulo ito. Akala niya na mas maganda kung in-stick na lang din niya. Akala niya na malayo-malayo pa kagad si Tens. Pero ito yung plano ng Sentinels eh. Talang nga na si Tens pa yung nahuli. On those moments, he's able to make this. He's able to capture that. 3-0 mm -hmm. na kagad. Napaka-importante pa naman again ng round na yun para sa side na nga ng Lao dahil bukod nga sa Byron nila na ago na naman ng Sentinels yung momentum and ngayon kailangan na nila mag-king wise pass mga pag hold sa nga ng kanilig kanilang mga sites and this time na condition na kasi sila ng Sentinels na baka sakali pwede sila mag-med pwede sila mag-A main pwede sila mag-rush kaya naman ngayon apat ang nakastock Make it five, dahil tumo together we are strong, sabi na nga ni Tsui. Para magsama-sama silang lima ngayon, going into mid. Pero wala pa silang nakikita na ni Isa. Tingnan natin kung magiging successful na nga ngayon si Stacey. Dahil makukuhaan pa siya ng info coming in from any trailblazer and the guiding lights coming in from either teams. 
Pero buti good thing for Sentinels not to capture mid. Ang dami niyan. Isang pong squad niyan. Nakita na ni John Cutie. He made the call once again. Pumunta kayo ng B. Walang tao sa site mismo. Tens goes for that safe plant. Second goes for that aggressive pain shots. Once na nakita niyang bababa na nga ng mga membro ng loud. Pero be careful. You gotta respect itong mga moments kung saan nakasherif lang sila in everything. Pero nga lang, ayan na yung move on that retake. Kinagat nga lang ng ote. The concuss is there. But then second is just picking everyone out. He has oh my no God. mercy. Because oh this, this is just the trades coming in. We only have Quickie together with Twiz. Oh. Nakakross fire sila pero Ay. wala nang awa ngayon. Second Twiz. Try to get it but second gets three. Pinoy na Pinoy. Clean Pinoy four Pinoy. Oh. <laughs> Grabe, 4-0 na kagad para sa side of Sentinels and that is just given the fact na kahit alam nila na magpa-play together na nga yung loud para sa kanil kanila mga retakes they are just really much more stronger pagdating sa kanilang magiging firepower they have the viral, they have what it takes para nga ma-pin down sila all the way from screens and unfortunately for loud hindi man, sa, hindi man lang sila nakapasok kahit papaano nga sa loob ng site para ma-defuse pa yung spike and again, it's just a firepower we have such a good round para sa Sentinels Sobrang ano talaga. The execution, it's so perfect. Good read talagang. This is the version ng Sentinels that we've seen kailan pa? 2020 or kaya Masters Iceland pa guys. Pinakaunang Masters pa yun. Kung saan sumikat yung fanatic flash. Yung sa Haven yun. Yung sa Sky. Diba? Lahat naging meme yun. Ang tagal nun eh. Naging natroma lahat sa Sky. Pero ngayon, Ay Sentinels, they are not just press W. They they are not just coordinating themselves around the tens. This time, this is a five v five. This is a smarter Sentinels already. I'm happy to see na ganito sila. Default heavy lang tayo ngayon. Di natin kailangan magmadali pagdating sa decision making. But look at this. A side. Oh, oh open na open na. Lalo na't na, Byron pa naman ito ng loud ano so kailangan nila mag-ingat lalo na't na, para at least hindi nila mabigyan nga ng momentum shift ang loud lalo na't na, again we have ultimates available katulad na lang nito seekers to find out the whereabouts coming in from sentinels pero ganun din naman ang magiging sagot ni Sacy we have the guiding light tingnan natin kung makakapasok na nga ba sila dahil nag-connect na nga yung mga seekers hindi naman magpapakita na kahit saan pa man dito si Quick pero as we can see hindi naman din kaagad a take lang ang gagawin ngayon ng sentinels pressure is given all the way from mid. So, ano na ngayon, nagbibigyan ng atensyon ng loud. Ang dami na pag-overthink dahil they are just all over the sp all, all over the place scattered sa pag-e-entry. Eh, pero ngayon, may pararayan na kasama na, Riri. I know. Ten seconds Ooh. left. Seven seconds. Makakapag-plant pa. Tatlo. May iwan na nga. Four bullets remaining for the players mm -hmm. coming in from loud. Pero tingnan natin kung ano na nga ba ang magaganap. Dahil again, this is going to be the retake in a 3v3 scenario. Again, na buy round na importanting importante para sa loud. Pero kung tutuusin, yeah. ang hirap na nito kasi buy time mm -hmm. na lang ang kailangan gawin ng Sentinels. Talaga, ang, uh, itong retake, too late na. Kung kanina pa yan, sana kung hindi pa nag-detonate yung first shot, 20 seconds ng bang OMG. okay pa kagad. Pero nga lang, That's less still gets those shots. By time na lang. And si na lang. Wala siyang pang post plant. Ang abang nakagat sa kanya. You know, they lost those gunfights. You know, they don't have any utilities at all. Nag ano sila, nag-dwell sila upon those dry picks dahil naubos na nga nag-setup sila and that uh -oh. was very tactical for Loud to play the patience game. Matatalo naman natin sila eh kasi wala na silang utility at all. At kahit ba yeah. nag-neural theft, hindi na-upload. Sobrang late na din kagad. Definitely. Eh. Yun nga eh, buti na lang they have amplified their utilities para pumasok ulit for the retake. At yun ang pinaka-importante para at least maging worth it yung pagpasok, maging worth it yung mga bodies going down after nila makipag-duel all over laban sa Sentinels. And bagamat nakita naman natin na sobrang separate yung approach ng Sentinels to tackle down A, ready na naman yung, yung loud para nga bumawi at para mabatayan nila kung saan magagaling si Celsius. Still, for one, we have so much eco para sa Sentinels. Ibig sabihin nito, hindi na magiging problema sa kanila pagbili ng mga rifle. Oo oh, nga, wow. bilis na naman kagad. But then, loud as 
Nangyari na nga kanina, magastos pa rin naman because Sadak right now will be focusing on buying those utilities. Pero mid-tickets, they're nag-hasalabungan lang yun nila mapupot. Nag-meet up lang. battle pay. Kaso parehas yata. So, wala silang nakita among A. Pero they have to back out. Pero to na, sinabi na ni John QT. Dito tayo papuntang A. Hinarangan ko na kagad yung ramps para sa inyo. Ilabas niya na kagad ngayon yung RFR para makita ko may isa. At pinpoint na nga kagad nila. And this is the time that they finally will go towards A side. Not scared at all. Lumabas na rin kagad yung showstopper. Nakpagkas pero na-open lang. Umiwas lang kagad ngayon si Zeken. At wala pa rin nangyayari. Sumabay na lang si Tens kagad pagpasok ng side. Wala pang namamatay sa kanila. Pero ngayon sa pagpasok nila, retake naman na kayo nila po problemahin. Magagali pa ng flang at dalawa pag coming in from Rams. So kailangan na madaliin ni Celsius si Pagkito na go way back into A side. Pero ngayon kasi nabawasan na kagad na kay Zeken. We have even the showstopper na magkoconnect na pa kay Ceci. Down he goes. We have your chance for the trade. And quickly enough, nandito na nga ngayon. Nagdado lang isip si Sada kung ano ang uunahin dahil ng lahat ng mga kakampi niya. Magagalip pa ng heaven. Pero at least, nandito naman si Lesto. Take down on to one. Unang-unahin na nga kagad ni Celsius yung mga nasa itaas. Pero again, it's all up to Celsius. With a double pick, hindi siya magwawagi. And another round goes to the side of love. Tada naman, the micro adjustments loudest up there. Kahit pa sabi mong open yung A side kagad pagdating sa Sentinels, the retake has been perfect. Tapos sinyo kagad yung flank, hindi nila expect. Tapos na kapag igib pa kagad siya ng showstopper, removing sassy as well, and may kasawa pang snake bite. Sobrang lugi sa moments na yon. Ang mga taga Sentinels, lahat sila um nag freeze, and that's where they really needed sana yung Um, read mo lang kay John Kito when he's on that cypher pair. This is what it is. Good shot for loud kasi ayaw nga nilang makapag-igib pa ng maraming points ang Sentinel when they are under attacking. But remember, defending sided ang isang katulad ng split pop. So para kay Sentinels, makapag-6 sila dito or 7, that's already big. Oo, oh, malaking bagay na yan, ano? Kumbaga, tinagalog ko lang kung ano yung sinabi mong it's already big para sa side na kayo na seven as well. Sobrang importante pero naman, they have the lead, they have the momentum and tempo, but then nababasa kasi nila every time na humihiwalay si Celsius. So, ibig sabihin na kailangan niyang isipin ngayon is yung mga magbabacklines or kaya yung magpa-flank. And unfortunately for them, for Sentinels rather, is yun nga, nade-deny siya quickly enough dahil ito pa naman sana yung plan B ng Sentinels para manalo sa mga raw sa makakapag-plant na sana sila. And This time, makakapasok pa rin kaya sila ng site dahil half armors lang, kaya nilang i-exhaust. May kumukuha ng attention going into mid. Nagpapalit-palit na sila kung saan sila kukuha ng attention. And this is go giving so much curiosity, Soloy, kung ano ba talaga ang babalakin ngayon na Sentinels. Pero ito yung flank na dyan, cutie. Hindi siya makapag-open. Binibate nila, men. Oo. Baiter, sa'yo na nga. Nakita na pero may podcast. I think John Cutie's gonna die out. Pero that's okay the call. Na. Tumakbo na sila papuntang B-site. They remove one. That's going to be two. Is possible na silang manalo kagad. Kaya mag-aggressive take lang sila. And si Sassy pumapasok sa kagad. Woo! Kaso nga lang yung plan ay hindi nag-work dahil natalo siya doon. At lahat na sila nakapag-revolve around B-site. It's up to tens kung meron siyang mapipitas. Pero si Tuiz ay inaabangan lang siya. Pero masyado siya nag-focus sa isa. Kaya lahat sila bumabagsak isa-isa. At it's up to Sadak. It's up to Shroud. Sadak. Para makapitas ng isa. Pero tens din and halaw him. 5-2. Good play para sa Sentinels. Ang ganda na naman ng trade-offs. Prepared na prepared sila on those angles. Sayang sana yung pumasok na nga coming in from mid, ano? Pero again, round is around para sa side nga ng Sentinels. And once more, ang dami kasi talagang attention na pang bait out nga na ginawa ng dalawa coming in from Sentinels. May isang kumukuha ng orb, nagbibigay ng sound cue. Tapos merong isa na kumuha nga ng, ng pick of agad all the way from 8 tower. So, really is unfortunate for Loud, ano? Dahil kala ko pa naman kanina, unti-unti na nilang nakaklind up yung kanilang momentum. But then again, there's still Sentinels who's holding their ground, knows what to do to overwhelm players from loud pero ngayon hindi naman mababak ng daw si Les trying to contest all the way from mid and we take yata ang dediretso na ngayon ng sentinels talagang ano lang no um, di na natin kailangan mataw especially na ito pa 50 round lang to ng loud 
Kaya matatawa talaga yung Loud makipag-contest against Sentinels. But ito, just some few noises to, from Loud, uh, rather from Sentinels. Kuha lang ng little bits of that information. Na, nagtataka ba't sila na overwhelmed papuntang B-site? Ando na kagad eh. Pero siguro kinol ni Jen Cutie, wag mo na mag-commit. Kasi I haven't seen much of the information. Kung ilan. Pero if they go mid, they go eh. Sobrang dangerous to sa Sentinels. Dapat ang pick nila dito from mid to B. And that's hmm. going to be possible. That's going to be a good win para sa Better kanila. Better win, no? Lalo na't again, wala naman din kahit anong tao nga na nakapwesto na going to B. But then again, Ang mas gugustuhin ngayong gawin ng Sentinels is as bait and the attention going sa B-site nga. Pero ang problema nila, hindi naman kumikibo na kahit na sino coming from now, that apat pa itong mga nakasak. This time, they're trying to think about the ways paano nila i-overwhelm pa lalo ang Sentinels kahit this is one of their rifle rounds. But then, tama lang ang desensyon ngayon ng loud para nga mag-stay put inside of the site. We have so many bodies already going down dahil ngayon sa mga crossfire sila isa na lang kaagad na natitira. That's going to be less na magagali pa ng spins na meron mang na-pick up na gun dito, na rifle dito. Tatlo pa rin na makakalaban niya and ready na kaagad si na John QT dahil narinig niya na yung sound cue and ngayon, tatlo pa ang pwede nga pick and unfortunately for less he cannot do anything apat nga dapat ang mag-hold sa loob ng A side pero hindi pa rin sila nagogi and really is unfortunate dahil mukhang ready naman ang set nila sa ganitong passing stop ng momentum ng lap natatawa talaga ako uh, mahanig yung isa nangyari sabi natin magbinalang sila mananalo to sila pero buti may advantage sila pagdating sa barrel buti hindi sila na pinch ng mga tagalaw that was a big risky take for sentinels not much of a read but I'm happy naman those setups nga really well really perfect oh. talaga pero ngayon natalina lang yung sentinels eh. they just need to play their A game dito labang sa speed yeah. kung ano yung napay nilang stats yun na lang talaga yung usual nilang uh, gagawin pero hmm. as for loud kita mo talaga nahihirapan ano eh? sila eh Kumbaga, wala rin naman kasi silang idea kung ilan talaga yun nasa loob. So, bale, ang magiging decision na lang dyan is to risk it all. Alam naman nila na, magigi, na they have their buy round, they have their rifles. So, kailangan na lang nila is panalo nga yung kanilang mga duels at yun naman din ang kanilang natugunan going into a site But then again, ang ganda rin ang ginawa nila kanina to try and bait out the, ro the rotations coming in from Loud na kahit pa paano, doon tuloy magkaroon ng hesitation si Loud kung ano yung dapat nilang gawin for their holes, for their defense. But yeah, that's going to be it for another round sana na may papanalo ng Loud na stuck pa naman sana sila sa a site pero hindi talaga kaya, lalo na trifles pa kasama, kalaban nila. Talagang ano, no? Talagang uh, this is like just Sentinels winning the setups. Aside from the gun battle, nakita naman natin, tutok naman din kagad yung loud. The setup lang talaga, hindi sila makababi. Maybe because this is the problem, when you don't have a Sentinel at all, you have a double um, control, you only have those concusses as well. Malulugi ka talaga in a way na di mo ma-figure out saan nag-lurk around si John Cutie. Saan ba siya makakuha ng information? But... Uh, at the same time, kita mo kagad, the 2-2 two -two place ng uh, Sentinels, uh, there's just the trade-off, uh, there's just everything up May behind. At hindi sila nagmamadali. Kumaga, yep. no? Di sila uh, nag pag, ano eh. Dating sa mga picks kasi ito yung importante na ready ka rin mm. kagad para nga bumawi, bawian mo yung tropa mo na natumba mm. kapag natalo nga sa mga duels. Dahil yun din naman ang ginagawa dito ng kabila. Kasi kumbaga, they're talking about the mechanical skills na kailangan nila dapat talaga yung fundamentals ay naka-intact kundi masasalisihan ka, ma-check and kaya ka agad ng mga corners at kung ano man na pwede nga makuhaan ka ng pick-off ngayon ng kabilang team. But then again, this time, ako po, mukhang magiging pangit ang pangitain ang babunta ng, ng, ng A-site, ha? Kaya naman, nakarap lang din naman ang Sentinels. I love this dahil umatras sila kaagad. They are already advanced. Nandun na sila sa baba kanina. But then again, importante itong round na ito for loud. They already used in their seekers. We even have here the thrill baser bago na sila pumasok and even have the snake bite. So again, mukhang magkakaroon pa na split push dahil going into mid, going into B site at trust na lang muna for a retake on loud dahil again, buhay naman si Kwan si Sin eh. Meron siyang rolling thunder dito. Magiging enough for a retake.
Oh, si Kawan Zin nga talaga with that uh, um, rolling thunder. Pero remember, that wall ni Viper, sobrang overwhelming nga. You just don't know where Ayun they are gonna be stretching. Pero look at the position nga, coming si from Sassy. Umalat na kagad na si Sada. Nawala na din kagad si Kawazin. Trade-offs is just there. But the Viper Spit, hindi pa nila mahanap kung nasaan si Zelsis. He's at that perfect spot. Maiilang ka sa, ng, sa pwesto niya. Hindi mo may, kagad may keep. And there's Sassy also nice contesting skill. the angles. Pink is just gonna be dying out. Tarinig na din kagad na saan magagaling si Tours. But time is currently ticking. Second takes down less. Celsius will be will not be paying for the post bet, but the time wala nang time para kay Tuiz at all. And that's just it. A big win from Save Sentinels once again. That default, that slow pacing talaga loud is just gonna get be um get beaten by Sentinels. Hmm. Seven to it is. 7-2. Mabilis lang daw. Nilang tatapusin itong mga series na ito. And again, dahil lang doon sa Viper Spit, kahit may Rolling Thunder, oh, yun na sana yun eh. Yun na sana yung opening nila. Pero nabawasan kasi sila to the point na hindi nila alam kung sino may naglulurk, saan may naglulurk, kailan magpipick off yung lurk. And that was such a great showing. Para nga kay Sasey, kay Sasey, para nga makakuha ka agad ng minus one. Laban sa loud. And again, isa-isa ka agad sila tumamba. Buti na lang may nilabas pang neural theft. Si, say, or rather si John Cutie kanina So that was such a beautiful round Use, Using all of their ultimates Para lang manalo laba sa loud Talagang uh, Everything Bando is just dito. perfect Wala na naman kagad movement ang loud They are under thrifty once again Zekken tries to clear out Wala siya makuha ang info Dahil wala nga nagpapakita All of them are gonna be coming from mid Pero mukhang narinig na nila Where they are gonna be coming from And this second Mami meet up One, two, three. Pero nga na di nag-work dahil isa ay mapapanish. A-out lang kagad si Tens ngayon. Pero may paranoia, paranoia. pang gusto niyang ipasalo. Pero lahat sila nag-back off. Natakot sila. Medyo nakaka-overwhelm yun. Lalo na't again, we have the walls para nga hindi nga makita ka agad kung saan siya nakapweso. Pero ngayon, marinig na nga ba ito na loud? This is the plan B, the ultimate plan B ng players at Sentinels. Kapag hindi kinaya yung holdouts for the postman, nandito naman siya para ka agad. Matulungan na kanya mga tropa para hindi to make this quick. Pero at least ang hindi niya ito magiging problema dahil si Stacey makakatulong pa. Another one goes down sa mga kamay ngayon, mga bala ngayon ni Les. And that is going to be it for another round na pwede sana i-trifty ng loud pero hindi kinaya dahil ang dami nilang kailangan isipin. Nagbigay pa ng isang another chance pa. Para nga si Tessa makapanalo pa for Sentinels. Ang ganda na sana yun. But time, again, wala na daw ang enough time eh. Sana talaga pinush na lang nila kagad doon nakapag-bowl sila among um, ramps pero medyo nagdalawang isip sila. They finally moved. They don't really want to give those monies Grabe. pero wala. Pinush pa rin nila. The power is up there for Sentinels. Loud being taken really crazy. Yung ito na problema. Wala kang Sentinels play. Alam na kagat ang Sentinels. Ano ba yung problema? Second, finally punish us out to one. Pero may trade-offs lang mula kay Kawansin. Good trades. That's good coming in from Loud. At mukhang may next pa ata. Dahil si Kawansin mainit na. Dahil Kawansin makakakuha ng tatlo. Contesting mid. John Cutie na lang together with Sassy ang matitira. Grabe ang mga naganap nun kanina. Dahil again, ang ginawa lang naman ka agad is second. Let's just give space. Conquer the territories na meron nga kanina for loud. Pero hindi ito nangyari dahil Kwanzen was just there ready for the trades, ready for the duels itself. Kaya naman ngayon, dadalwa na lang kaagad ang natitira. Let's see kung magiging ganap ba ang pagpick dito ni John Beauty. Ready na ba kaagad si Quick? So unfortunately, it's all up to one. Madetectek pa kaagad ng Roomba and that's going to be a quick finisher. Buti na lang si Quick ang may hawak na itong operator at nagawa niya pa rin ang paraan para magkaroon na naman sila ng pangatlong round. Ay, dako. Uh, gulat lang yung Sentinel sa mid. Akala nila, dalawa lang or isa yun. Hindi, marami yun. Tatlo yun. May kasama pang operator. Good step up mula sa side din naman ng loud. Nakakatakot. Big risk to, to actually go up against she. But they have that double um, initiator. Those flashes, those concusses are gonna be working. So I think ang kailangan talaga dito ng Sentinel is to actually just calm down. naka eight naman na sila. Big Um, investment already among their um, attacking side and that's good but para sa loud naman make this into at 8-4 you win the pistol next time okay naman na din kagad ang kanilang plano pero nakakatawa talaga yung sentinels it's just very different di nila alam eh the anti-strat is there for sentinels and loud can't distinguish oh. it 
Dahan-dahan lang muna ngayon ang Sentinels dahil naggawan sila ng isa pang round. Ang kailangan nilang isipin ngayon is paano nila mababait out itong ultimate, itong showstopper from Quick. Magiging problema din nila dito is panlalaman ba nila kung saan nga nakapweso ngayon si Quick. Since again, kanina, nakita nila si Quick yung may hawak ka ng operator. So might as well just pick it out, bait out the warning shots at ayun, nalawan na nila kung saan. Pero itutuloy pa rin nila ito, showstopper, tamang-tama, pero no! Oh! He's just going to chop it out! One or ultimate down already para sa side ngayon ng Loud. At ngayon, nilalaban na lang kaagad nila Tess kasi lahat sila ay naiiwan na nga kaagad sa loob ng site and they have the ultimate time of their lives. Para nga i-plant ka agad yung spike. Ang problema, apat pa rin naman itong buhay coming from Loud para makapaglaro for the retake. Pero hindi na ito magiging problema pa dahil si Celsius na daw ang bahala. Pero pa Watson with another Rolling Thunder coming into this half. Lumundag tuloy si Kuya Baselsis. It's all up to Stacey all the way from the backside. Pero nandito pa rin naman si John Cutie to make that plan be working in their favor. Will this be an ace? Dahil meron pa tayong utilities up and coming, coming in from the side of Kwanzin. He's just playing in for time. Low HP yung dalawa, pero double pick ay pwede nga rin mangyari pa. This time, he's just going in with a defuse. Nandito na rin naman siya. Ngayon, makakapag-pick John oh. Cutie. What a man, what a guy. He's just playing in for time. Kwanzin, makukuha niya nga ba yung ace niya? Dahil ngayon, yung oh. oras si Diva. Papa para sa kanya, and John Cutie for a 9-3 scoreline into the Sabuhara round. Oh my God. Yung mukha ni John Cutie, kalmadong kalmado. <laughs> yung gigil, yung gigil ni Kaunsin, parang sabi, hirap-hirap na ako bumuha. Tahan, okay. anina pa ako bumuha ng kilang katunay. Tapos alam, predicted eh. Alam niyang magka-cross pa yung dalawang sa post plant. Because that's Ooh. how it's supposed to go in. But John Cutie, he used that box to his defense. He knows that he can just go with those stops. Tapos ito pa, nag-alangan ka, ganit hindi nagtiwala. Ay, Kaunsin ang teammate niya. But then this round goes into Sentinels. We all thought it might be 8-4 just because of Kaunsin trying to distinguish where they are with that rolling thunder. Pero hindi. You are with Jen Cutie, one of the smartest players. Pagdating lamang dito sa VCT Madrid. At nag-iba ang changing. Ang iba ang ano, ang uh, pacing ngayon ng loud. Imagine, maganda sila. Maganda performance sila parati sa split. Pero again, Sentinels, nawawala yun. Talaga, dahil wala sila naging bawi doon ha. Again, kung tumama lang sana yung showstopper, himayin natin yung round na yan dahil nasayang yung mga ultimate sila. It really is unfortunate dahil doon na nga. Sana para ma-overwhelm nga itong Sentinels kanina. Showstopper was there. Alam na kaagad ng Sentinels ko saan siya mapaparito. But then again, hindi naman sila nag-matter doon. Hindi naman sila nagpadaig doon. Hindi naman sila ngayon nagpa-overwhelm nga doon sa showstopper ngayon. Dahil again, only thing that he needs to rely on itong si Quick is yung kanyang operator nga. Yung showstopper pwede naman kaagad tong iwasan or kaya saluhin ng isa pero mabilisan kaagad yung magiging trace dahil hindi niya nga maikasa kaagad yung operator so hindi siya quickly na nakapag-react so unfortunately for him, he was quickly traded off and this time retakes and the crossfires and again the plan B's na laging iniikot mm. around the map ng Sentinels para nga magkaroon pa ng mas winnable advantage ang naging reason kung bakit hindi maagaw ng loud ang round na yun talagang uh, <clears throat> the punishment ng Sentinels ibang klase imagine you have that double controller as well diba medyo nakakalito talaga at the same time and you also have what you also have one aggressive player like second that's where they usually revolve their plays around kung nasaan si Zeken doon sila pupunta kung, na, kung nakapick off si Zeken ng isa ready tayo para pumush na pero syempre Kita niyo naman din kagad, oh, with Les and Sadak, it has just been pretty, ano talaga, tahimik sa kanila. And medyo sayang tong moments, but here we go. 9-3 already, mapik ng Sentinels, pero nasa defending na sila. At mabilis na quick up na papuntang a site wala naman sa kanila ata ang problema sa side ng Sentinels. They don't want to risk those aggressive pushes. A next si PPRX kanina, so kita niyo talaga yung malaking difference when it regards to this team. Pero Zekin was just really smart. They take out oh. one. Nagpositioned sila sa harapan ni John QT. 39 ni Zekin. Makapitas ng isa. Pero Kawans in takes down Sassy. At most probably lipat sila papuntang B-site. Bilis ang mga naging trade-offs. Pero again, really is unfortunate dahil na off timing pa kaagad sila ng Sentinels with those picks. But this time, this is going to be a lot of risk to take para na nga kay Tuis na ipick pa nga kaagad itong A. This time, 
is still there, magro-rotate na yung dalawang matitira, magiging question lang dito is tama ba na mag-rotate sila kaagad going to be the look at the, looking at back at the minimap, tatlo na kaagad yung attention na binubuo na nga ngayon ng, at, ng Sentinels going inside of me and huli na ang lahat para kay Les para nga pumasok at makapag-plant dahil again, he's already low on HP hindi niya ma-risk out, hinitay niya pa pagpasok ni Kwanzen but then we have here the deny we have tens with another and now, unfortunately, it's all up to choice ni Tuis. Kahit alam na nalang nandito na nga siya galing in from A side, it's still unfortunate dahil hindi pa rin nila kinaya itong triple setup nga na, na meron para sa side ng Sentinels. Ano yung isang sayo manood ng split, no? Ang ah, bibilis ng games. <laughs> para sa Sana lahat. all ganito na lang kadali para sa kanila maglaro, no? Oo nga, eh. At saka para ka nanonood ng APAC. Ang <laughs> ah, bibilis maglaro, in fairness. Pero ito din eh, alam mo, nung una, nung nakita ko si Tenz on that omen, masyado parang kaya ba ni Tenz? Imagine you came from that jet player, an aggressive duelist, going into that omen. Wala na magkaroon nagbago, you're just only gonna be focusing on number one, smoke ka lang naman, madali lang naman, aralin yun, pangalawa is, is paranoia, napabor sa kanya, and shout and step para pwede na siyang gumalaw-galaw. Sinabi natin rin, madali lang mag-smoke. Ah, May <laughs> controller heart. <laughs> But then again, yun nga, isipin niya dito kung paano niya matutulungan kasi mm. yung kanya mga tropa, paano, madena yung mga vision, paano hindi papasukin agad yung mga kalaban going into the site. At yun na nga mismo, ang ginagawa ng dalawang controller na ito, smokers na ito from Sentinels, dalawa na kaagad, or rather, isa na kaagad, yung isa pa nilang magiging duelist pa ang nawala kaagad sa mapa. But then, CC... This is going to be huge, lalo na si Tuis. Nako, dumidilayan siya kasi sana. At yun na nga ang nakuha niya. Laban kay CC, that's going to be a one-man down. But then again, pagkukuha lang naman ito ng attention, eh, hindi naman din kumikibuka agad ang players on Sentinels. They're just holding all the way from backside. And ito pang mahira para sa Lauda. Hindi nila alam kung sino ang nasa loob pa ng site. Mahir, may upgrade pa din kagad on the other side to si, ano eh, si Twiz. Pero ingat lang. Pero may camera si John Cutie left. picture. Instagram punch. Alam na kagad ni John Cutie saan sila manggagaling. Nakaabang na din si Zeken. Pero good concast. That was just the crazy setup from Loud. Punishing. Pero na kay John Cutie ang sagot together with Zeken. Kung mapapunish nga ba nila mga member nakatingin sa kanila. Pero kala may paid off. Pwede lang nga i-delay. Pwede-delay siya 12 seconds. And may next pa kagad ni John Cutie. At isa na lang kagad na dito na Dots Carville. Let's finish off by 10. Imagine, hold lang ng hold, sabi ni John Cutie, walang problema. Kasi ganito kasi yung ano nila eh, set up nila eh. Their setup is based on being passive enough to wait and bait out players from the attacking side na pumasok na lang ka agad sa loob ng side na walang ka-idea-idea kung sino yun nasa loob. And again, they have double controllers. Walang silang ibang kailangan isipin ko dito. Tukan lang ang mga players nga kami from Loud. At ito ang nakakainis ha. Hindi sila tuloy makapag-play for picks kasi sobrang pa, sobrang daming patience sa meron nga yung set. So they're just waiting, sitting like, sitting all the way from the back lines and waiting for the picks to happen. And now, mukhang iibahin pa nila yung tempo dahil we have your CC try to go in for the picks. Mananalo pa rin siya doon. Minus one already mukhang. Pwede pa madagdag madagdagan all the way from mid. Ang sakit naman no, na for loud side, nag-force pa sila kanina. So talagang looking lugi sila pagdating sa guns, pagdating sa capabilities at remember, they lose this round. It's already a match point for Sentinels. And this is just so disappointing to see loud losing itong mapang to. History-wise, kaya naman nila eh. But then, Tens nakaabang. What a great crossfire. Zels is together with Tens. Great calls. Lahat sila bumabagsak. Napakasakit. And we only have less na natitira. What more can he do but less? Ano pang gagawin niya dito? Lalo na sheriff lang yung hawak niya. Nasmoke out pa siya. Dalawa pa yung controller na nag-aabang. Paranoia. Sige, maghadukin ka pa. At alam na tuloy ka agad is less kung saan siya manggagaling. Pero, that was the viral again. For the rest of the gang of Sentinels, one more round and we're going to game number two. Agad-agad, wag na tayo mag-break, break it whatsoever. Grabe! Ganito lang kabilis sa split nila, ha? 12 is to 3. Hindi man lang makalapit ngayon ng loud. But let's see, this is still the buy round na susunod naman dito sa round natin ngayon. Isa na lang, honey glaze. Ang sakit sa ulo, sigur. Kamot ulo yung loud. 
At ito pa, inopen pa nila. Dapat ito, ito na lang yung binan nila. Sana nag-take na lang sila ng risk maybe in Ascent or other maps. But here in Split, sayang, sinabi nga ni X Likeable, dito lamang sa stream natin, playground ni John Cutie ito. Eh, dito siya pinanganak eh. Ito talaga 100 percent. Dito siya pinaglihi. Oh, Bakit ba? Oh, dito siya pinaglihi. <laughs> Ito yung craving sa gabi nung nagbubuntis yung nanay ni John Cutie <laughs> sa split. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, Bandal or Phantom eh, no? Oh. Tingnan natin ngayon kung ba dadagdaga pa nga yung winning advantage ng Sentinels, lalo na again. Wala talaga, wala na naman kikibo. Tingnan mo nga si John Cutie, just waiting patiently all the way from the backline. Sa hayaan niyang meron ngang magbabantay going to mid, hindi nila hayaan na basa-basa lang pumasok agad yung loud. Again, you're controlling in the tempo. That was such a good control. Basing on with that line coming in from Stacey, ang laking bagay nito, lalo na bawas na kaagad sila ng isa. Itong si Sadak pa, pero at least they have still the blinds available for Kwanzen. Pero yun nga magiging problema. Kailan niya ito gagamitin? Saan niya ito gagamitin? Kompleto, buhay pa, lima pa ang Sentinels kayo na lalaban for the retake na. Ito pa, low pa si Les. Wala pa yung tagahiling galing nila. Wala pa si Sadak. Exactly. Ito pa yung, ito na yung mahirap. May, kompleto pa yung kanilang uh, utilities. Pero time is ticking. Kailangan nila gumawa na para under. Stock contest lahat. Pigil na pigil. Agad na nga din kagad ang post plant ng loud. Can you be able to get out one Zelsis? But then they don't have time. Mamamanage ba nila ito? Mukhang hindi. Dahil si Kawan din nasa post plant. Kailangan nila puntaan. They're gonna go with that. May kasama pa sa si Tuiz. May post plant na ito. Wala silang nagawa. Talo sila ito. And nabubuhay pa ang loud. Para lang ma-overtime nila ito. 4-12. Pero nga lang, looking at the economy ng Sentinels, may pang-buy sila hanggang next round. Hanggang round 18. Oo, meron pa yan hanggang mamaya. Dahil continuous itong nagagambala nga ng Sentinels na may panalo nga ng loud. But then again, really is unfortunate for them dahil nakulat pala sila ni Kawan Zena earlier bago sila mag-try ng defuse. Again, smokes lang yan eh. Uh, cyber case lang yan eh. Ibig sabihin ito, madali lang dumaan yung mga bala dyan. And again, they only just have to pick. This time, it was, it is finally their buy round. Pero let's see kung sino mga ba yung unang magpipick. Dahil again, we have here the changing of the tempo. Magiging problemado na naman ngayon na players ng loud dahil bawas na kaagad sila ng isa. At least, dalawa naman yung controller sila. Pwede pa, kahit pa paano nga. Ang sayang naman kay Les yun. Siya pa yung naalay. Oo, oo, eh. Siya na nga yung kailangan. Pero okay lang. At least, nandiyan pa rin main spawner. Nandiyan pa rin naman si Twiz. Wala namang problema. Pero ito, if Kiki will shut down, this is dangerous. Ay, natrap pa. Sakong sakto. May kasama pang bomb. May kasama pang kagad ang neural type. Alam na nila kung nasan. Tapos ito pa yung problema. Yung spike. Yung spike wala sa kamay nila. I think this is it, honey. Glaze, alam na kung nasaan. Dalawa na lang. Pwede makapag-show spike. Stopper, pero disiplina ay nandyan. Nakatutok pa din si Ted. Nakahawak na ng operator. Lisa na lang. Kaga, they're gonna be dying. Ito the has and Sentinels wins this map 34 against Loud in their map pick, which is split. Ay, nako. Easy brush off onto the shoulders of players of Sentinels dahil minadali. Ginawang basic ang larong ito, ang mapa na ito dahil hindi man lang sila pinagpawisan and whatsoever. Para nga, sa laban na ito dahil again loud hindi man lang nakausad kahit pa paano ano going into 3 and 4 until then 12 na kasi it's already the match point para sa side ng Sentinels and once more nasimula nila ito in the first half when they were on the attacking side and ganda ng pagbibigay nila ng momentum all throughout ano dahil hindi malaman hindi ma-decipher ng players ng loud kung ano yung uunahin sobra sila nabibait out so many utilities ang na-exhaust parati ng players nga ng Sentinels and again it was all worth it dahil Sino bang nabibait out? Yung attention, yung rotations, and everything else. Pero babalikan natin na sinimula nito ni Celsius with just a great lineup at na vulnerable lahat. Tapos itong clutch potentials ni Lutens. And this time, it was a quick 3-4-0. Laban niya sa loud. This is just crazy. I think pwede nating sabihin dito na kinain lang talaga ng Sentinels ng buhay. Akala nga natin 8-4 pa. Pero hindi, 9-3. Those momentum, good reads. The, how calm they were. Sa Sentinels, hindi nagmamadali. Um, everything is just fine. Zelsis also on that uh, entry, uh, those entries.
lahat talaga stitch up well for these two teams. And uh, looking on the other side naman for Loud, maybe they were just really overwhelmed. Hindi kasi na, hindi nila ano, hindi nag-respect ban yung parehas na dalawang teams eh. Instead, they just tried. Kain naman natin yung speed, maganda naman performance natin. Totoo. So bakit hindi tayo mag-speed pero kinain nila yung effectiveness ng Loud. They took the risk, kasi. but the risk wasn't rewarding at all. Ang ganda kasi rin kasi talaga ng mga ginagawa nga ng Sentinels all throughout the map. We saw earlier, lagi kong pinipin down nito, pinipoint out nito na there's always a plan B, there's always the contingency plan para sa side ng Sentinels sa Manalo nga all the way from the stretch. But will it happen on the second map? It's going to be Icebox. Magbabalik tayo ng ilang sandali. Honey Glaze with the double nga po pala. Kasama ko ngayon si Ray Ray. See you in a bit. Soy una gárgola, salgo de noche con todos mis gatos derrapándote en los coches. Vita encendida, todo de roce, la vivienda activa para el perro hasta las 12. Un, dos, tres, con la nalga para el piso, la bebé anda sola, nadie le da permiso. Prende y pasa, lo seguimos en casa, que yo tengo un par de amigos para quemar la sasa. Oye, bandida, bebé, tú eres una atrevida, cuando baila está encendida. Le pide al DJ que ponga el chauri con la blue, que grosería. Soy una gárgola, salgo de noche con todo lo mío, te amo por tu padre. Soy una gárgola, salgo de noche con todo lo mío, te amo por tu padre. Yeah, 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 yeah. Con Yori, dimensiones, con el con el yo en la casa. Hey guys, I'm standing right now with Kaplan of Sentinels. Now, of course, the team, I don't think I need saying, but the team is looking like the current favorite to win it all. And a big part of that is just how consistent the team has been. How have you ensured that, especially since you guys have been very vocal that it's such a hectic schedule, how have you been able to uh, ensure that consistency in their performance? Yeah, it's always impossible to perfectly control how your off days go. You know, you can't prevent things like jet lag or a hectic schedule. But uh, the one thing we can do is control how we sound once we get in the game. So as a team, we really emphasize the atmosphere. Is it too high? Is it too low? Recognizing it as a team without me needing to pause. And, you know, the whole team having the skills to call it out and know what to do to, to shift into the right space. And the guys have done an incredible job with that. That's awesome. And have you guys been able to take a day off? Have you touched grass? Yes, uh, that is another big part of it, uh, preventing burnout. So we had a really nice day where we, uh, I think it's called Parca de Retiro or something. It was beautiful. We got outside, walked the city. It was much needed. Yeah, glad to hear it. That's why probably Sentinels look so good. So let's see if they can carry it over to the second map. 
Oh, great choice of extracurricular activities there from Coach <laughs> Captain. <laughs> I'm your host, soon right back here with Mimi and uh, High Park. They look so good. It's, it's good. the park, man. I went to the, that park. It's lovely. They, they ride around on a little rowboat. There's peacocks. They in the had park. a boating day for sure. For well, sure. How could they not 13 how, four lives? How come? That? How come we don't perform like this, Mike? After we go boating. <laughs> yeah, I can't answer that one, unfortunately. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, to take nothing away, now if there was any discussion ahead of this, I know Josh said on the cast as well, there is no question. Sentinel split is seemingly flawless. Like, they do not miss a beat. And every single decision you see along the way in some of these rounds, it's not even coming down to mid-rounding. The decisions of the individuals are automatic. They're firing on all cylinders. They look so drilled. We talk a lot about this team's defense and how they're, how good their retakes are, how good their protocols are. But look at how they're playing their post ones as well. They're setting up four forward here. Zelsus has a molly off his teammates contact and then they're ping-ponging off each other to take that fight together. This is another round where once they get in the post one, they're going for these executes with the double dive between Tens and Zekin, which always looks incredible. And again, look, Zekin has a nade primed, ready to go towards heaven. They have so many layers to these post plants and really it seems to every stage of this map. Sorry, yeah, the, sorry, just caught, caught my breath for a second there. I They're think as well, loud, yeah, yeah, just a, an inability to really throw them off their game, right? There was no pressure towards the back line, the weaker extremities ahead of some of these executes coming in. Uh, unfortunately, uh, loud just didn't really get a look in. And with the way Sen have been playing and how well drilled things are, if you let this Sentinels execute on you, you're losing time and time again. Yeah, and I want to shout out to the fragging IGO on the other side too for yeah. Sentinels. A John QT, take a look at this. A Hyper X Reflex. I felt like every round when he was still alive, Mimi, something magical was going to happen. I mean, this was after Cow and Zine got a 4K, almost gets the ace in this round, and then John just plays the clutch to perfection. He's not always the flashiest player, but when you put him in a position, he needs to step up. He, he seemingly game. always does. Does, Mike. Yeah, he does. It looked absolutely ice cold afterwards as well. Giving him a wave to, to, to close out the half. Um, it's, it's heartbreaking to see Loud lose rounds like this, but like I said, with the individuals on Sentinels, not even Zekin and Tens, in scenarios like this, stepping up, this, this is the plan B. How scary is that for every other team? I mean, everything is just coming together beautifully uh, for them, but the job is not done. The job is not done just yet. They are one map up, but let's throw it down and hear what Loud's coach SDK has to say ahead of Icebox. Welcome back, Mika Fabs here now with Welcome back, Mika Fabs here now with STK of Loud. And now that was a very tough uh, first map. Um, what what was the team struggling with the most and how do you guys plan to remedy that going into Icebox? I think that we, we entered in a game with a game plan. Did, this game plan didn't work, unfortunately. They adapted their, themselves, so they have a, like, a lot of merit on that. So on Icebox we have a like we are more comfortable on the map, like we have like more plays on this map. So I think that's about this, like reset about the first map that anything went good and uh, go for with our full power right now. Well, Loud is a team that you can't ever, ever count. So let's see if they're able to bounce back on Icebox. Exactly, Mika. Well put. But the thing is, uh, Mimi, what are Loud's game plans for Icebox? What do they do? So they play this Harbor Viper comp that they've been playing for a while, but they execute on it really well. Last time they played, the thing that impressed me the most was their protocols in plant denial and retakes. They're very good at kind of timing how they're using their mollies to delay their opponent's plant, then going for these flood retakes that with the Harbor Viper are really effective. This is a map where I think you get to see the experience, the fundamentals of Loud on full display. They played this comp for a while. They have a lot of variations of how they want to set up with it, especially on this defensive side. This is the comfort zone for the Brazilians. Comfort? I don't know. I, well, I, I, call me a doubt or whatever. Okay. I think, obviously, this being the anomaly of the, of the Grand Finals for me is a very, very close fought affair, a 13-11 scoreline sure. regionally. But I, I just, I, I don't feel like we're getting the same loud here. Other than obviously the EDG series apart, I, I don't think really loud are in a position today to throw Sen off their game that much. Obviously, previously, less has been the standout individual for loud on Icebox, but. I, I don't know, I, I, I just don't get it. See, that's the thing, though. I, I agree with what you said. This is still, I think, a map they are very comfortable on, but Sentinels is also so good at it. They run a very different comp. They're playing this KO Gecko, and I actually think that can play into this Harbor Viper quite well. You can be fighting through the walls, fighting through the smokes, combining those two pieces of utility, and Zekin just looks unreal whenever he gets to play the jet on this map. Well, this is the thing. Last time they faced each other, uh, Mike, Sentinels did come out on top. You think history is repeating itself? 
I, I feel, I feel, yeah, we were talking about this before. We were talking about, yeah, it's going to be a long, drawn-out affair here. I, I think with that start, it's just so hard. Loud one ones time and time again, we say they're never out of a series. They're never out of a map. I'm just not seeing it again today. It's it's another concerning look at, you know, and you'll see, I mean, even there with the, the interview there, talking about the adaptations that Sen made, I don't feel like they made an awful lot. Loud had no approach to really disrupt Sentinels gameplay that they've demonstrated time and time again on split. Sentinels, they do look so, so good, but you guys are home voted and you think that this is going to go the distance and I have faith in the MasterCard fan poll. Uh, but the question is, Bren and Saisho, do you guys have in faith in Loud? I mean, I'm, I'm praying. I'm on my knees here. Ano daw? May faith pa daw ba sa loud? Yun yung tanong ni Madam Yinsu. Ako, hindi ko alam ang pwedeng mangyari. Pero still, looking at the map pick ngayon, ay napakalakas pa rin naman ng loud. Pero ngayon pa rin kami nagbabalik. Ako si Riri, kasama ko si Honey Grace. Pero double E, Honey Grace, anong thoughts mo dito lamang sa lineup ng Sentinels and Loud? Ay, hirap na naman ito dahil... Yun nga, mabilis na nagkaroon ka agad ng minus one ang players at Sentinels. And what I love about this is their initiators. We have so many blinds. We have someone to plant in the spike. Ang kailangan na lang nila is at least bantayan nga itong si Wingman. And again, because of those utilities, ang dami na naman tuloy iintindihin ng loud kung saan ba sila manggagaling. But this time, this is still Icebox. It's one of the OG maps na alam nating memorado na naman na ng loud. Paano nga ba ito abusuhin? Oh, isa ito sa mga highest win rate nila. At lalong-lalo na itong lineup nila, yung double controller na yan. Diba, imagine you have that harbor, you also have that viper. And speaking of Sada, remove two members kagad. Zell says to get it with John Cutie. Pero nga lang si Zeken, nakatakas na sa pain ngayon. Sila na lang talaga kagad ni Tenz ang natitira. He knows where Sada is. But they gotta take the risk. They gotta play contact or else sila ang mapapanish. Dalawa manggagal si Snowman. Nag-out na nga lang din kagad si Second. Pero look at Tenz. He's just playing around. He's just gonna get tagged ngayon with the Aray last ka. shock dart. Pero may kapulit oh na tayo. Oh my God! Kapulit na lang kagad ang natitira. Mas Molly na Black! Kagad sa ato katira. Woo! So far pa sila. Sentinels, what? 2v5. They still want it. Grabe naman yung round na yun. And again, as you mentioned, that was a 2v5. They have the numbers advantage. But then, nagpatama sila lahat sa bala, sa crosshair mismo ni Ted. So, all the way pa sila ng snowman. And unfortunately for them, he just really is precise. Pagdating sa kanyang tutok, ayan, nakala ko, katapusan na ng buhay niya doon sa eh. second shock dart na yun. And he even had the time para magkaroon nga ng opportunity. Ito pa yung kanyang molly. And they were just, they, why were they picking? Yun lang din ang tanong ha, ni Ted's kanina. And wala naman silang smoke na kailangang intindihan. So, again, one around para sa Sentinels. Matutuloy na nga ba ito in their favor dahil ang dami nakastock up in A-side. Ito pa, sabi ni, Te, ni Tenz, ba't kaila, ba't nila inar sa isa si Tenz? They have lots of, ano, utilities. Sana nung pagka-shock dart, pumush na sila. Dinisrespect nila yung dalawang taong natitira sa Sentinels. And remember, sino pang natira? Ay, si Zeken, together with talagang Tenz as well. There's already, alam na kagad ni Zeken, si saan magagaling isang miyembro on the flank side, pero kawan din together with Sadak, they are just gonna be falling down. Dadalong isip na ngayon na pumasok at gumera for the retake ang loud. Dahil again, we have here so much walls to try and think about, pero tatatlo na lang kaagad sila natitira and low pa kaagad yung dalawa. It's going to be a problem dahil ang tanging objective lang nila para sa round na ito is bawasan nga ang, ang Sentinels, pero hindi pala ito mangyayari ngayon. Oo. Oh. Madapot ang Sentinels. Pag pumunta ng Sunset, baka ma-GG pa sila. Sige. Why not finish it? 2-0. Sige, Ted. Sige, akasin mo, Tens. Yan. Ay. Sabi ng postman, sabi ni Coach, eh. 2-0. 2-0. Mabilis. Nababilis na round na yun. And at least, maganda doon is isa lang naman ang namatay para sa side ng Sentinels on their buy round. Magiging enough pa kahit pa paano yung buy round nila laban sa loud since they're just having the Bulldogs in their hands. At least, the damage is also enough to conquer players from loud na mga half-armors lang din ang kaya nilang abusuhin. Tama. <clears throat> ano talaga eh? Um... Nagugulat ako sa performance ni Tenz talaga. Well and improved. Dati kasi sobrang nung nag-jet shine, tapos na eh. Tapos na yung ni Tenz. I think there's so much learning from this man. And I'm happy to see that kaya niya sumabay. Kahit ibang agents, talagang nilaro niya to. Ilang best practice niya 
ng napakabuti. At big shout out nga pala sa nagsistream pangalan Laz. Hello Laz. Konnichiwa sa'yo. <laughs> Nakalive kasi siya HG. Share ko lang. Ah. Pero ngayon, 2-0 na nga kagad. At uh, kanina, bilang sa nalabing eh. Nilito yun nila. Stock A naman sila oh. ngayon. Guys, pagpasensya niyo na si Ray Ray ha. Kasi pare-parehas po kaping simp ni Laz. <laughs> Ayun na nga po. Magkakaroon na nga ba ng simpatsya a players ng play ng Sentinel sa Hell. Again, this is the Byron coming in from Love, pero patuloy na naman sila na no overwhelm since the condition na nga sila to try and take on B. Ito naman ngayon ang ginagawa nila. Overwhelming A side, tatik it as Mike. They're just going for the lineups and early on to this round. Meron tayo kaagad. The no command coming in from Tessie still wins on the two worlds. Apat na lang kaagad ang natitira dito para sa side ng Loud at kailapan nilang itindihin ang mga bolis lineups and whatsoever na ibabato na nga. Unahan na nga with the blinds. We have Moshpet na nagamit na nga kaagad kanina. We have lineups coming in from Celsus and even have your players coming in from John Cutie pa as well. Pero ngayon yung mga duels ay nuunaan na kaagad ni Celsus. Taking down quick. Nandito yung double picks pero with the twice wing hindi pa rin kinaya ng Sentinels dito ang pang overwhelm pa rin rin kay papaanan ng Loud. Wala, siguro na inis sila dun, no? <laughs> yung mga taga centers atin na yun, eh. Konti na lang, eh. Pero kasi masyado sila lahat nasa labas. Wala din silang gun at down advantage. They only have their goals. They didn't um, settle for those half buys for those specter buys kasi alam nila na next round, mas makakabawi naman sila. Mas maganda, mas maganda na na, mas maganda yung economy mo. Pero ito naman si Zeken ay sinasabihan yung mga kuya niya. Mga kuya, kumal pa kayo. Sorry, Pinoy na Pinoy si Zeken, guys. Ganyan yung reaction ng mga Pinoy pag gusto mo magpakalma, di ba? Kumal na kayo. Kumal pa kayo. We need to call the mollies, sabi niya nga doon. Pero this time, ha, ikakol na nga ba nila yung pagpasok na going into B-site. Tatlo ang nakaabang. Wala naman silang idea kung sino-sino ito. So, again, baka gawin na lang nila ulit kung ano yung ginawa nila earlier in split na kahit na ilan yung nasa loob ng side, winning out the duels is much more of a favored moment. And again, bibigyan lang nila ng opportunity ulit sa second na makapag-preposition, push all the way from yellow, take advantage of whatever space na pwede nilang kuhanin, agawan ngayon, labas sa loud. Dahil again, they can just play in for time para nga umikot ka agad ng site. Maganda dito to for loud is nagdalawang isip naman or hindi naman din basta-basta ditong umalis nga ng mid si Sadak and Les all the way from A site at marami pa silang utilities na natitira. Ang hirap nito for um, Sentinels. Oh Nakita na lang isa lang. Hindi nila alam kung may isa pa magagaling sa B main pero ini-sprayan lang siya pero how while that is happening isa lang ang titira sa A site. Lalayo pa! Lalayo pa si Celsius! Nawala yung mga ano niya na pop off niya. Wala na yung alarm bot. Isa lang pwede niya mapapop off. Yun yung mga nano swarms na bawasan si Tens. Makakain pa nga kagad at buti na lang ang daming time Grabe, for John Cutie you. to actually clear that as well. Malumayo siya, no? Tapos nasuppress pa. Medyo sayang. At ito na, post-plant na naman sila. Pero ang importante, may thrash na kagad si Sassy. Pwede nilang abusuhin ito kagad. Pero then, they are quickly denied because of that recon. Nalaman tuloy kung saan sila mag-pick out. We have here the trash. Tama ka doon. Nalaking bagay nito to get an info, to get what it takes para nga manalo sa round na ito for the post-plant and even given the retake potential na nga nagagawin ng loud. Ang dami tuloy kailangan isipin ni Kwanzen. And this time, may ipit siya sa lahat ng mga crossfires. Doon din naman ang mangyayari coming in from Suiz and Quick. All over the place na kagad sila. The time is another taking. Wala na silang iba pang magagawa to try and defuse in the spike. Iisa na lang with less low on HP at least. Nabawasan niya pa yung isa coming in from Sentinels. But unfortunately for the rest of the gang of loud, this is already a 3-1. Parang nakikita na natin kung ano ba nangyaring na nga kanina. Ganun lang din yung performance, halos calm and collected. Hindi sila nagmadali kasi kanina nagkamali sila din eh, na masyado, na lang, masyado silang naging laid back pagdating sa post plant. Pero ngayon, sinagot niya ngayon si Zeken. Ito na, kalmado na tayo ngayon. Pwede na nating i-contest agad yung mga aggression somehow ng loud. But that 50 is there. We only have less on that battle damage. Pambili naman siya on towards next. Pero kailangan pa rin mag-ingat. Kailangan pa rin respetuhin. Ito ang mga one-tops pagdating sa loud. Ay, yun na nga. Ang hindi na respeto ni Sacy. One member down already. At wala namang halos na damage ito coming into quick side. 
Byron ito ng Sentinel sa kanina pa nila hawak-hawak itong mga vandals na ito. And let's see kung uh, babawian ba nila yung kanilang tropa dahil after getting it that orb, they are kind of close with their ultimates and at this time, mukhang napapakiramdaman naman din ng loud na pwedeng baka sakaling mag-rotate na naman into A site of players sa Sentinels. They're holding all the way from B or mid para at least madali na lang sila makakapag-rotate at ma-imagine or ma-take down nila pa. Yung mag-lalert na nga from Sentinels na, for example, si Celsius or kaya naman si John QT hmm. palaging umiikot nga rin to try, to try and take down, cut off the rotations pa coming in from loud. Actually, no, maganda to. Yan. Yun lang nga. <laughs> Si Kawanzin, bumagsak kagan, natalo siya. Dot ka dun eh, ganun ang plano ni Kawanzin. Mapitigilan niya ba? Eto, alarm bot, hindi mapapansin. Pero may iba nakatutok na kagad. Sadak goes for the diffuse. There's the post plat, but less takes down Zelsis. Tato na lang kagad, natita na ba't say hello to Quick? As we only have one, that's gonna be John Cutie against three. Lahat nakahold na against him. At iniisa-isa na nga kagad siya. Tatamaan na lang kasi Tools. Ita-diffuse na rin ito. And this round goes into the hands of Lahat. What a good thrifty round. Imagine after the top, galing kay Quiggy, lahat ngayon ay naging maayos. Hindi kagad nakapag-punish ang Sentinels going into B-side. Ganda na pati sila ang magkukol na rin naman na ng timeout. Ano? But then on that thrifty, nasimulan kasi kagad ni Quick. Taken down on to one. That was a good flank. Mula din naman kay Quick. Parang habag pa ulit-ulit na naman dito ang players sa Sentinels na mag-sure na kagad sila to try to take down the site immediately. Tapos hindi nila mababantayan kung sino na nga ba yung nasa kanilang mga likod. So unfortunately for them, they lost the round na kung saan mapipake up patuloy yung mga upgraded guns na tuloy para sa side na nga ng loud. Ako po. Pero loud pa rin ang kumuha ng, call, ng timeout. Kasi alam nilang that round was just a round where they got lucky. They were able to get one. Na, na discontinue yung plano ng Sentinels. And they need to calibrate something new. Pero to agwap, gawap. Di ko alam yung cursive, sorry. Pero syempre, um, next pa ng loud. I think it will just almost be the same. But they have to just know where one member is. Kailan matake down nila si John Cutie or maybe if hindi man siya yun that's going to be sassy dahil nga ang problema nila ngayon is not just only the flashes but the lurks as well. The same problem that they faced noong first map. Pero good rotation sa manasa kanila ganda na rin ang answers nila and let's see kung uh, nagbago nga ba ang revolvement ng loud ngayon under defending. Meron naman operator ngayon sa mga kamay kasi ni Quick. So just holding into the long angles will be in their favor kahit pa paano dahil at least they can just play in for the trees. They have double controllers. They have even the recon. San lakin bagay para nyan para kawansen na gamitin nga all time and time again. Labas sa sentinels. Kailangan nilang intindihan at iwasan ng loud as yung mga flashes, blinds all over the place kasi sa sentinels kayo nand. Buti na lang i isa lang ang nagbabantay ng B side. But ang problema nila ay katangi tangi lang den naman as the retics. But then. It's just playing in slow. Buti na lang, nagbabantay dito ka agad si Quick. And one, once more, hindi huli ang lahat para sa kanila na makapag-flank lurk na naman to take down onto the backlines ng Sentinels. Buti na lang, din di sila nagpakita eh, Quick. Ang hirap mapitasan ng isa kapag nasa attacking ka sa icebox eh. Lalo na kung si John Cutie pa yung tapitas, everything will just be bad. No smoke or rust at all. Sobrang empty-handed. Maraming may kita. Feel ko nakita ni Hibla ni Zeken. <laughs> so, alam na nila agad saan magpa-push at mga taga-sentinels. Here's the setup. Delay lang ng ulti upon that default. Pero sinamaan pa nga din. Kagan ngayon ng ulti. Sinamaan na nga kagan. Zeken! Pero hindi nila alam na nakalikod na si Kuya mo, Zeken. Pero may trade ng plan at Zezi sa lang together with Zezi. Sa mga natitira. At sinamaan pa. Kasi lang palak nito is talagang namalakpak ang mga miyembro ng Sentinels as well. That's one of the reasons kung bakit siya talaga decisive para makapag-push dahil we have the reckoning na makakapagbigay lang din kaaga sa kanya ng space at dami tuloy kailangan intindihin coming in from loud side na kung paano sila mag-hold for the posters but unfortunately pagdating naman sa mga duels hindi kaaga nagwawagi dahil isa na lang kaaga na natitira quick with just the blade sword will be finishing Celsius out at yun na nga kaaga na ang pang equalizer nila para sa half na ito buta na lang at least na deny nila kaaga si second dahil siya yung naging ultimate lesson na nakapag-amplify nga ng reckoning earlier to try and take down all the way from the mid side tapos yung rotations pa and then again nasimula na nga din ito ng pang-counter if din din naman sa kanila dahil si Sadak was already gathering himself all the way from mid so again 
para good round para sa side ng loud. Buto na lang din. Figure out na ni Sadak where to place everything on B side. At atong mga taga Sentinels ko napapansin niyo, hindi sila usually talaga nag It's always been B. Dahil ang daming verticality ng A side, medyo complicated talaga kesa sa magwal ka sa B. Open up mo lang since may double initiator ka. But right now, the call is up there for Sentinels. 3-0 has been successful but loud. They were just really patient pagdating sa retakes, pagdating sa mga angle holds. Hindi sila masyadong nagpapa-overwhelm kay Tens together with Zekan as well. Pero ato naman sa Sentinels, kailangan nila ng clap. You know, guys, kailangan natin uh, hindi maging reckless pagdating sa decision making and now they're cooking something up in their sleeve. But as for loud, alam naman natin bakit ito yung rason nila eh. Napinik nila to eh. The good reads, the adjustments, baba macro or micro pa man yan, alam na alam nila yung next step ahead sa mga nakakalaban nila. Finally, no? After so many rounds na nangyari na nga in split, na-punish na nila into a thrifty ang Sentinels. At higit sa lahat, iisa lang naman na makakapag-buy ng kanyang vandal ngayon. And that's going to be John Cutie. But as you can see here, moving on forward is si Quick. Ay talagang decisive talaga siya dito ngayon. Para makapang-overwhelm, makapag-take over ng space in case na may makuha siyang info ka agad from Sentinels. Na saan nga ba siya? Or saan nga ba magpupush na ka agad yung Sentinels? He immediately backs away para at least may mga trades sa magaganap na nga in Les's favor. With Les... Literal, there is more. Pero ngayon, maagang flash na ay na nila. Natuto na sila kagad ng those aggressive pushes. Trinay din nila. I see, kung pwede may isa pa behind yellow. Pero that won't happen. Pero nga lang, pagdating kay Kawan, din alam niya may kasawa pa kagad siya. Ultimate and Quickie will be able to take down Celsius. Everyone is just gonna go one by one. John Cutie lang together with Zek. And nakahawak ng Blade Storm. Ayaw niyang humarap kagad sa isa. Pero the John Cutie together with Zek. And 2v5 pa to. One goes one. Kailangan niya pumasok. Kailangan niya maghanap ng depensa. John Cutie pinapaulunan ngayon. Pero nagpapay lang siya for postman. Nagpapay lang siya for defense. Pero nga lang natitain siya ngayon. Second na lang all by himself. Pero wala na siyang oras para dyan. And he'll be dying out into the hands of twos. Four, three. Tables third three. Kanina na swing streak sa Sentinels. Ngayon naman, loud four round swing streak na. Ganda ng mga retakes ang ginagawa ng Sentinels or rather ng loud ng paulit-ulit dahil again, ang laking lasa din kasi na binibigay talaga ni Kuanzen to try and just delay players sa Sentinels kung ano ba yung dapat nalang i-push out. At si John Cutie, alam mo naman na kailangan niya talagang i-push yung lockdown na yan para hindi siya ma-detain, para magamit niya pa na maigi at hindi makakapasok pa ang loud sa kanyang Viper Spit earlier. But then again, that was also a really bad para para sa side ng Sentinels dahil bukod sa natalo sila, that was just again another eco. Then this time, they need to make sure na magiging worthy na naman ngayon, na ultimate ngayon coming in from CC and Celsius all together dahil lockdown ay pwede na rin naman ng isunod. But then... Sagot din ng law sa kanila is just this Viper Spit. So itutuloy pa rin ba ito ng Sentinels? Makakapaghimay pa rin ba sila ng mga players coming in from law dahil oo, oh, oh, meron na kaagad tayo <laughs> lockdown para makapag-push out lang din ng mga players coming in from law the inside of the Viper Spit pa. Ingat na ingat lang ang Sentinels pero si Quickie na sa likod nila ngayon. Pero second takes less out dahil nga na-detain siya. At buti na lang Zels has got that good hit. The bait lang ng onti si Quick down. Pero third is already the Hunter's Fury. Not gonna work at all. Tens is together with second. Will be workable. 3v2 tayo ngayon. May cove pa pero nga lang may kasama ngayon na post plant. And Kaunzin tries to go for that defuse. Nasira lang pa unti-unti. Walang naging remarkable place pala sa side ng loud. And as the time is ticking, wala na silang oras. Pero Kaunzin still alive and kicking. Ay! Kawanzin saves the day once again. And Loud, what a remarkable retake. Idinaan saan? Sa tutok. Kinulit pa kasi talaga ni John Cutie yun earlier. Kung hindi niya siguro tinuloy yung jump pick na yun, he can still win out, play it for time. Pero buti na lang din talaga na ginamit nga ni Kwanzen itong 
kanyang Hunter Fury to try and push out players from Sentinels kung ano na nga ba yung magiging position nila. And once more, pinush din kasi talaga ni Kahawan sila earlier all the way from their post-man positionings kung saan ba sila naroroon para ma-play in for time nila ang round na yun. But hindi sila napagbigyan pa kay papaano to play it out dahil nakatripo. 4K pa nga si Kwanzen earlier. Tingnan natin kung yun ba ay mangyayari ulit. Force buys all the way from Sentinel side pero quick is just quick enough to take Sezi down 2-0 na kagad. Wala pa bawi ni isa si Sezi. Pero at least this is a go signal already para sa side of Sentinel sa pumasok. Take down Kwanzen and wala na sila magiging tinik sa kanila mga lalamunan dahil kanina pa sila naagrabyado ni Kwanzen. Pero make it a double with a collateral damage. Ooh. Quick! Down to double or dalawang players sila kaagad na natitira para sa Sentinels. Oy, good call na lang din kagad. It's all up to John Cutie to play it around. Four bullets left. He needs to go for that reload. The sakpa ni Les narinig niya yun. Loud once again. Perfect, amazing retakes. It's what we have in Sentinels. Kung anong pinanish nila sa Loud. On the very first map, ganun pa rin yung binaliktad sa kanila ng Loud ngayon. 6-3 it is. 6-round streak na ang Loud, guys. Ha? Wala pang naipapanalo ang Sentinels after those first three rounds. Parang, uh, in short, naging intro boy sila literal. At ito pa, yung paa sa kayong siko. Nagtabi. Ang layo nun, ha? Pero nagtabi. Dalawa ba naman silang tumalo na magkasama na nga at hindi nila napansin pa na magpo-push out pa si Quick all the way from Snowman. So really is unfortunate dahil again, dalawa man yung initiator nila pero yung either of the blights ay tumatama na nga kaagad sa aggressive push, sa aggressive position kanina pa ulit-ulit na kinukumpit nga ni Quick. And this time, it's a different story. One member down all the way from A-side pa sa Sentinels. Boy. Make it two dahil less na naman. Makakadali ng isa. Panibagong yugto na naman ito para sa isa na naman player na tumumba. That's going to be triple plays down already for Sentinels. And what more can they do kundi mag-push lang, wait out kung sino nga ba pwede nalang ma-bait out. And unfortunately for second, hindi pa nag-connect ang kanyang mga spray transfers. Bigay na yun eh. <laughs> Wala pa rin pero... The performance of Sentinels. How can you actually defeat Loud on their defense? This is their best um, side when it comes to Icebox. This is the main reason why they've won a lot of matches here in this map. You just can't gamble on those pickups. Les knows how itong mga taga Sentinels gagalaw. Pero siyempre, Sentinels, hanggang kailan ba yung tres na yan? Hang, aabot ba yan hanggang next half natin? Or maybe try and make this into an 8 to 4. Kasi yun yung pinakamalaking possibility at may pera pa sila ngayon. Kaya pa paano masasabi natin laging nauudlot nga ang pagpasok ng Sentinels? Paano sila mauuna sa mga duels dahil lagi sila nauunahan neither ni Les, ni Quick, all the time. Even though that they have the double initiator setup, bukod doon, is hindi nila nagagawa ng tama or hindi nila nagagawa ng magandang timing yung mga blinds nila. And once more, yung blinds na ito, again, hindi na naman tumama. Les, trying to do well out second. Unfortunately, hindi naman siya yung tumama. And this time, ang dami na rin umuulan ng mga utility and even those small is enough na rin kaagad to force back players from Sentinels. At yun na lang din ang reason kung bakit nagtaranta tuloy si second. Kung ano yung kumunahin, tatarantahin na lang kaagad sila paulit-ulit ng loud. Dahil tatatlo na lang kaagad sila natitira. We still have here to trash na pa, oh yeah, Monster on the loose na kaagad ang mga players natin ngayon. Stacey with another, Celsius with a double. And now we have two players remaining left alive. 5 HP and a GF for Celsius. Pero at least, si Sadak buhay na buhay pa. Hindi na kailangan nilang kumulit pa. Again, nagkaroon pa tuloy ng info sa Sadak kung saan na nga i-anticipate si Stacey. Pero at least, getting in the info, getting in the distraction is all the way from Amen and John Cutie. You must not miss out the shot. You must not go with a mistake laban na nga kay Sadak at the time. And so, the thinking, yun na lang din na kailangan niyang itindihin. And that is God. finally going to be it. Finally, a round win para sa Sentinels. Pero sobrang, sobrang gasas pa rin. Ang, ang confident ni Zelsis doon, ha? 
Ang cool nun. Sabi ni Sassy, okay, magta-trash ako. Sabayan mo sa Sphinx yung trash ko. Kasi syempre, ang unang gagawin ng mga tututukan yung trash eh. Yun naman talaga. So everyone got caught off guard against Zelsis and John Cutie. Syempre sa mga comment compose moments, hindi mo siya mapapatay. Tito mo naman kagad. Talon-talon lang ng onte. Alam niya na kagad na na-half yun. Very tactical plays from him. 7-4 it is. Best king scenario yung mag-7-5. Pero mukhang para sa loud, new adjustment na naman muli ang pwede nilang may pakita. Definitely. Operator still on the hands of Kohansen. Ang maganda dito for them, iba-iba lagi yung may hawak ng operator. So, iba-iba tuloy yung chances ng center na sa ma-anticipate nga kung sino yung may hawak ng operator. Kanina si Les, kanina si Quick. And now, finally, this time, it's going to be Kwanzin. Kung baga, salit-salita silang magkukuya. This time, mga pasok pa rin naman ng Sentinels. They have the biggest opportunity to do so. Pero ma-overwhelm pa rin sila dito dahil sa cascade. So, oh. meron na nga kagad to help Kwanzin. But then, there was quick trades oh and God. going for another trap ball. John Cutie to the rescue, the savior the man himself para magkaroon pa rin ng mas magandang advantage going for the 4k will this be an ace blaze star sa mga kamay ngayon ni quick he goes up all the way from the second floor pero magtanong hindi niya pa makita kung saan nga ba magagali pa si the John Cutie unahin niya sana si Celsius and Celsius is just ready enough for him bedding out the attention 7 to 5 hindi pa rin naman imposible yan lahat para sa side ng Sentinels humabol sa ating scoreline no way John Cutie yung crosser spray yung spray down na yun yung kay Kawan din against sa dakip pa naman yung partati you take down Kawan din this round will be yours tapos sa kapag pop up pa siya ng Viper's Pit grabe talaga John Cutie I'm so impressed alam niyo ba yung background ni John Cutie share ko lang sa mga nanonood ngayon saan siya nang galing hey guys I am here right now with Coriano Coriano what's up how are you liking Masters Madrid Master Madrid is awesome. I mean, I'm really cheering for Loud. I arrived two days ago, and I'm enjoying the city. Of course, right? And how are you? How do you feel about this rematch? What are you expecting from Loud? Uh, Sentinels is a very strong team. Uh, they beat us on VCT America, so I'm hoping for a really close match. Uh, we weren't able to show our game on the first map, but we are trying our best on the second one. Of course, excited for that comeback. Now, what's this? I hear that you bought every single VCT bundle. Is that correct? Yes, is that true? Oh my gosh. Okay, now I have to ask you, what's your top three? And you can't say loud. Okay, uh, I really like tail, uh, Talon, 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 G2, and also um, Cloud9 one. Oh, okay. That's a that's a healthy representation. I like those picks. Now, last but not least, can you give a quick shout out to the fans? Maybe get them to uh, buy some uh, loud bundles. How about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, buy loud bundle and uh, thank you guys for cheering for loud. It's a close match. We are top four. Uh, last masters, we weren't really great, but I hope this one we can get the title. All right, you heard it from Coriano. Let's get back into the game and let's get loud. Gabi nga, nangyaman nun, Honey Gris. Lahat na, lahat ng bundle, lahat ng um, team bundle binili niya. Ikaw, may binili ka na ba? Lapa eh! Wala mo magsusponsor sa atin dyan. Kasi, ang dami talaga choices na at least hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin naman natatanggal yung eSports hub natin dyan na pwede nga natin pagpilian ng ating mga uh, VCT bundle. Pero, kung tatanungin ako, feeling ko Talon is a really good choice. I love I love the Phoenix na nandoon nga sa uh, I love the birdie birdie na meron nga sila doon sa kanilang player card and I love the red. Pero parang gumagana kasi yung marketing ni Celsius sa akin eh. Sa lahat ng mga <laughs> postings sa Twitter niya, 'di ba? Oo, oh, no. Kita talaga no. Ang galing ng mga sentinels talaga. Pati yung SMM nila, yung social media manager, dapat may bonus 'yan at the end of the year. Pero syempre, ngayon, bake tayo sa game natin. 7-5 it is. At uh, if Sentinels wins this, then sobrang ganda nga nito. If they lose this, that might be crucial as well. Pero to, tahimik lang matagal out. Pero sassy, medyo GG siya dito dalawang. Pwede makaswing sa kanya and knew it. It will be like that. It didn't work dun sa plan na gustong i-execute ng Sentinels and they need to run all over B. Coming in from um, A, yung dalawang miyembro, pero on the other side, si Sadak naman making few noises lamang. Slow and steady wins the race. Yung lagi ang ginagawa ng loud 
especially nung nangyari na nga kanina yung ating first half to win out the retakes time and time again and now it's all up to second missing out a few shots at least nakuha niya pa rin yun laban kay Kwanzen bless with the trade ready naman ka against si Celsius all the way from yellow but this is going to be a lot of risk to take ang dami yung kailangan itindihin ng mga wall si Cascade na pang ulit sa ulit sila pinapush right click to the heads going in for another sense para makatulong and less with another trade and now with the right click hindi na naman ito magkoconnect sayang ito dahil again it's such a really hard damage na may itatake nila coming in from the sheriff but once more we have such a good lineup coming in for the Vipers. So, mula na nga muli sa Sentinels and another man goes down. Isa na lang kaagad na natitira. Si Les na lang and only HP that he has left is 14. Paano niya pa ito mapapush out pa dahil meron pala ditong Viper Orb na pwede pa mag reason ko bakit makakapag-rotate pa. Closing in by John Cutie. Hindi niya ma-check in yung bawat corner at least. Nagpahihwating na kaagad si Les kung saan siya manggagaling. This time, he needs to play in close. One-way smoke will be enough for him. Going to the right click. Alam niya kasi na low on Asia na kaagad si Les. So that right click is still going to be enough. Tapos ngayon, 7-6 pa ang ating scoreline. At talina nun. Nakita niya kagad eh. Abe niya, ganito naman talaga usually post-plant ng mga Viper. That's how I play as well. Pero si John Cute, no, sa tuwing nakakasave siya ng round, pansin ko lang, wala lang. Another day lang din na magaling siya. Pero to sakto na lang. Then pinilitan ni Sadak eh. Kasi wala nang oras kapag diniscontinue pa na kagad yun. And at 1v1, they are able to make it out. Loud. Pero syempre, sabi nga natin, they win the pistol, they will tie up the game. Pero ano ba next plan ngayon ng Loud? Are they gonna be winning with those Trifties or hindi? Yun nga lang din ang magiging tanong eh. Dahil yung Trifties sila ito ay hindi puro sheriffs lang din. We even have here the outlaw sa mga kamay na nga ni Zeken. And uh, for most of the time, ito ay talagang laking damage kung sa kung katama. But unfortunately, it doesn't. Nah, kaya naman ngayon free upgrade tuloy sa kanyang mga kamay. Si Quick, this is a quick reaction coming in from Loud para makapag-plant. Four salt players all the way from mid. Pero tangi problema na naman dito ng Loud is every utility, every molly na pabato at ay babato mamaya-maya sa kanila ng Sentinels. Pag narinig sila ngayon na makapag-plant and CC after being taken down, there goes two players already for the trade. Down to two na naman dito ngayon ng Sentinels. Diba? <laughs> Sabi ko sa inyo, pag yung Loud naka-pistol, Nakakapitos pa rin. And for Tweaky to actually get that, that's just really creative. Na-surpress na nga sila kagad ngayon ni Tens. Down with the 3v2 tayo ngayon. John Cutie can just play his molly once again. And speaking of, that's gonna be happening. He sprays through against Twiz, pero mukhang merong nasa harapan niya. Kinol niya kagad to against Tens na meron na katulad ni Les na pwedeng pumunta sa kanyang harapan at may kita pa niya kagad. John Cutie, nakatalikod pa! Naka po! Salis lagi, balik lagi, balik lagi, balik lagi. Kau pre, ayo just kepo, ayo just kepo. Tidak ada yang terlaga, pasai si Tessa nak agak dah nanti tera ten seconds remaining, ada kau pagplat pada si Lada Spike. Kau problem apa kau? Is nak gula kau agak dia si Koi kau sahaja magagaling na wall up, para makapag reposition kau agak si Les. Mau huli pada naman with that time and that is going to be a quick answer dah bu maba instantly yang wall. And this time, he still has enough time para nga makapag-rotate, makakuha ng gun, but another, another expensive round para sa Sentinels. <laughs> Sorry na tumakas sa round na to. At sa ulo, bes. <laughs> And ako, may kanyang-kanyang, may kanyang-kanyang uh, aris, eh. Kito nyo naman, si Nita, si John Cutie, pero to, eh. Siguro, eh, naging timing. Alam niya na merong sa likod. Hindi lang niya in-expect na pagkatalikod niya, nandun na agad. Pero puto na lang, pretend, may sak ito din yung oras para ma-pull off niya kaagad yung knife na yun. There was the surprise and everything just paved in. But that round was really expensive sa side ng Sentinels. Kala ko si Fluffy. Oo. Yun nga din sasabihin ko sana. May Wolfas kasi. Kala ko si Fluffy. Grabe, alam mo naman yun. Si Mr. Worldwide din yun. Pero sabi nga natin, expensive round para sa Sentinels. So down they go sa ating eco sa ating sheriffs pero at least si second nakakuha rin naman ng damage onto the players of loud taking down their duelist so slow pacing will it be para sa side na nga ng loud dahil again as we can see unti unti na nila kinoconquer yung loob ng a-side dahil wala namang ibang lalaban pa nga dito coming in from sentinel side aray yun lang aray <laughs> ba't di ko gagawa yun sa icebox 
Ba't sila ang tatapang nila ako? Hindi. Eh, pero ngayon, ganda na lang post plant mula sa side ng loud. There's the cove, there's the moly. Post positioning, every angle will be watch out. But on the other side naman, may suppress. Alam na nga kagad nila kung nasaan ang iba at si Sassy. Dalabas na nga din kagad ngayon yung flash na yan. Pero wala pa rin nangyayari so far. Dahil ang gagawin na lang ngayon ng mouth, we are just gonna be playing for that post plant. We don't wanna dwell upon this. At lahat ngayon nakatutok. Pero Sentinels, they don't want to give any money. Bullet. Pero mukhang si Senza kita siya. Bullet! Sa wall na yun, Senz, tumingin ka kasi mamamain ka dyan. 7-8 and Loud will be able to win this. That was such a funny round dahil doon sa wall na yun. Dahil may sobrang liit na ano eh, pagitan. Para nga makakita pa dito yung Loud kung saan ba sila nakapweso, kung saan sila magtatry ng defuse. Akala nila sobrang na ano na sila na walled up na kaagad sila akala nila hindi kita dahil again there's a wall at little do they know there's such a little space para nga makuha yung mga ulo nila doon kanina so really is fortunate once more para sa side ng loud dahil na abuse sila yung mechanic na yon nakakuha sila ng lead once more sa side na nga ng sentinels and close enough to say na buntik pa sila na matrifting na nga dahil doon sa full blown stack ng retake nga ang gagawin sana ng Sentinels but this time it's a different story by round half buys or half armors lang daw para sa sayo nga ng Sentinels meron na palang meaning yung QT ni John QT John quality tactics daw nakita ko lang sa Twitter so yun pala ibig sabihin guys nung nakarang araw pa yun ah oo so yun yung meaning sa mga di pa nakakaalam pero ito may kasalong palakpak na ito talagang aalis pero syempre Zek and gusto niya yung bumabalik-balik lang sa isang palakpak trinay niyang may mapitas na isa out na naman muli pero masyado ka makulit para asinin man lang yun pero sinamahan na rin ni Tess pag sa timing pag sa timing sana ka tisig wiki na kung hindi siya nakita ni Tess at the same time just promise there but it's not gonna die out boy pa rin 1 HP humihinga pa rin and may only of Zels is on the other side take off by takeoffs but this full by na sentinels walang mangyayari feel ko need na nila mag tactical pause tinan natin ngayon kung ano nang gagawin ni Celsius dahil siya na lang nga ang tanging natitira and this is I guess such an expensive round para na nga sa side na sentinels dahil napaka importante na ilaban na nga nila yung side pero again napaglaruan na naman sila ng loud dahil doon sa mga trade-offs sa kanila magiging crossfires and everything else so again Another round goes to the side of Loud na seemingly parang naging flawless dahil nga hindi nila matake down si Quick. Wala. Pangalan mo, Quick talaga mahirap yan ha. Pero knowing itong Loud, tinanggal nga nila si Pancada, kumuha sila ng mas pressure, sabihin na lang natin na player. Ang dami expectations pa rin sa kanila, questions like they can actually get Get it? Are they still going to be consistent? Pero mukhang sa sagot na binibigay na ngayon ng loud, they are. At mahirap to para sa Sentinels. They lose this three rounds na yung difference nila against loud. At they have it called for a tactical pause na naman muli. Pero syempre, ang gusto lang ipilit ngayon ng loud is we're just gonna be pressing W. This pose plant that we have, it's hard to retake for your Sentinels this time. Lalo na, iisa lang yung controller nila. Ang hirap nito, pagdating na nga ng pagdadanay ng Visha, pagdadanay ng Postman, at pagdadanay ng mga duels in favor of loud side dahil lagi sila na overwhelmed. Bukod nga kay Quick, there's also Celsius and uh, rather si Sadak. But then, speaking of, Sadak goes in for the kill. Laban na nga kay Celsius and this time, hintay na naman ng loud na bumaba na nga kaagad yung wall bago sila kaagad umararo sa loob ng site. Fortunately for CC, hindi niya naman makukumit yung mga duels. There's John Cutie, recklessly pushing all the way from that cove. And what a flawless round na ito para na nga sa side ng loud to make this a three-round lead against Sentinel. Ang bilis for loud. Alam naman nila eh, na Sentinels, nasa round sila na wala silang pera at all. Make the most out of it. 7-10 it is. Pero looking at the replay, precise. Gunplay lang talaga mula kay Sadak as he gets the four kills. Daming pera. Sabi niya, Ayo, kami ang nananalo ngayon. May time talaga siya para may pag-banter against Sentinels. Pero ngayon naman, sila ay konting nga na lang. Usap lang. Kailangan natin talaga to eh. Kailangan natin gawa ng paraan. We've been taken off by those setups. 
the double controller, that hardware play talaga, has been really punishing them and they need to make the most out of it. Isa lang yung smoker nila ngayon. Wala sila ganong consistencies. And they have to, may have to, ano talaga, initiators. Pero utilities-wise, sino ang panalo dito? Siyempre, lamang talaga ang mga tagalawad. Oo, oh, lalo na ibabato lang nila yung mollies maya't maya. Yung mga walls nila na kanina pa nila naaabuso dahil dun sa mga cascade. They keep on pushing in the boundaries of Sentinels na hindi nila matansya kung sino ba yung magpipick, ilan ba yung magpipick. Lagi itong nakakapang-deny ng operator angle na to the point na hindi nila nga magawa ng paraan itong mga pushes na ginagawa nga time and time again nila quick. Dahil bakot kay quick, there's always Sadak na magkakasama. There's also Tuis na nakapagbigay ng kaagad ng info or ng space with the use of the cascade and info naman na magagaling nga kay Kawan Sen. So, really is unfortunate para sa Sentinels dahil nakuha na nila yung early momentum nila kanina pero ito ay unti-unti namang naagaw ulit ng Loud. This time, Loud playing in their chances. Recon na all the way from close para makita nila kung meron bang pwede na naman dadobalihin siya at maunahan na kaagad nila kahit paano when it comes to the duels. Careful lang naman ang mga taga um, Sentinels, they lose this round. I think it's a GG already. Magiging match point pa nga kagad ng Loud. And they gotta take that risk going into that match point. Pero syempre, ngayon naman, they have that thrash. I think that will make a huge impact. But what can you say right now? If you have a lockdown from Sadak once again, Operator from Zekken won't work at all. Nag-default lang yung ibang member ng Loud and they are just waiting for it. The fake is there, Hindi pero pa naman it didn't work. Eh. Oh, hindi May nila kinain pa. May operator pa rin naman eh. Oh, oh, so, ibig sabihin, kailangan niya muna talaga makatama, makapag-reposition na kaagad dahil nakahabol na kaagad sa kanya si Quick. Buti na lang, hindi siya kaagad na unahan, hindi siya kaagad na pick out. But then again, that's going to be one of the curiosities na kailangan natin itindihin dahil magro-rotate na kaagad quickly. Ang players are loud. And this time, they have to face the sales. Oh, Pero ang problema, yeah, yeah, mas nauna yeah. pa rin naman si Quick sa laban sa kanya. And this time, Sadak is already inside of a side. So, nakuhaan niya pa rin tuloy na pick up dito si Tess. And unfortunately for Ceci, siya din ay susunod sa kanyang hukay. Now down to two players sila kaagad na Sentinels. What a round. What a curious, curious round it is. Para sa side na nga ng Lord na nanggaling ng B. Akala natin na kukumit na nila ito fully. And itong operator na nag-miss out na naman into Celsi's side or second side. Dahil ang hirap na naman ito. Dahil apat pa rin naman na natitira for loud na fake lang talaga dito yung mga taga Sentinels eh. Hindi nila in-expect na habang naging yung dalawang member from B, Sadak used that opportunity to gamble upon those pick-offs pagdating sa A-side. No choice sila, they gotta save. Or else, wala talaga silang pera. Sadak has just been really creative upon reading itong mga taga Sentinels. At uh, ang mga taga Sentinels yun, punish lang. Wala silang map kuwang pick-off. Yung mga utilities nga nila, hindi nakakalamang at all. Flashes are there. Pero ano meron kung magpa-flash ka? Kung kalaban mo ay dalawang controller, kung meron silang kasang katulad ni Kawan Zin, what a great of a player when it comes to that initiator role as well. So isa na lang for loud. Match point na nga kagad at malaki ang kapansanan ngayon na hinaharap ng isang katulad ng Sentinels. Hirap din kasi lalo na on this round alone ha, ang dami nilang nakuhaan ng pick-offs off-guard. Dahil lang doon sa mga chance nga ng players on loud na makaikot na nga going into mid, fully taking it fully or fully taking advantage of the players na nakakarotate pa lang going into A-site. At parang nakita nga na natin na sobrang rattled ngayon yung players sa Sentinel dahil hindi nila alam kung ano nga yung unahin when it comes to those walls, to all of those cascades and smokes na kung saan lagi sila na o-overwhelm maya't maya. Kaya naman, tingnan mo naman at this time, we have the wall from the Viper, so much cascades, and they are just holding back. Loud is just giving enough time para sa oh, Sentinels kayo na mag-overthink saan ba talaga sila papunta. Wala pa rin yun, guys. Mahirap na, Zelsis nga lang. The timing. Akala niya, pwede siya makasun ng isa pa. Pero John Curie with that Molly, may isa siyang ma-out. Hindi na pipigilan pa niya kagad ang loud sa pagkokamit papuntang B-site. Pero, konting noise lang. Akala nila magbabak off. Pero no, they will just re-eat once again. They have that wall coming in from that uh, harbor as well. And trying to spray lang kung pwedeng may makakita. Kaso wala, nag-back off din kagad. Good discipline lang din mula sa Sentinel side. 
grabe rin ang disiplina na meron niya dito for loud, ano? Dahil bagamat nagamit ng kanila lahat ng mga walls, lahat ng kanilang mga smokes, they are just holding off before sila tuluyan nga magapag-plant. But then, sa dagal na nga nang iniintay nila, si Tens tuloy ang nagpipick out sa kanila. This time, the shock darts, para matake down si Tens, there's still the flashes. We have the mollies and even have here mosh pit para nga madenay itong pag-plant. Oh, Pero unfortunately for Kawad's na dito, mama, you should siya laban kay Tens. Buti na lang na dito si Tuis for the recovery. We have two more players reckoning para mapalakpakan ka agad yung mga natitira players. But say si patient game is the key. If you want to play that slow, yun din ang gagawin ng Sentinel sa kanila. So this time, they held their ground. They won the duels. They won the trade-offs. And unfortunately, ito para sa side ng Love dahil they already had their momentum at nakakuha na agad sila ng multi-kills dun eh. At ito pa eh, sayang yung kay Kawanzin na sa Comparsate Stands we are talking about. Pero good thing naman for Loud ngayon. Ang dami nilang ano, pera. Wala silang problema. Kaya nilang patapusin to hanggang kahit pag 11-11 pa yan, mag-survive pa rin yung kanilang economy. At ito pa, they kill off one kill for, eh, they kill one member from Sentinels. They will be able to go into A site. Tapos may kasama pa kagad galing kay Les na Viper Speed. Pero si Tens wala. Kaya gusto niya mag-play for contact. Confident siya na makakapita siya dahil nandiyan kagad si Seca na nakatingin sa mga miyembro kagad ng Loud. Okay, this is a good angle oh. para maybe from Tens, pero hindi ka agad siya tumama. Operator sa mga kamay ni Seken will be punishing two players immediately down to three. They still have time to plant in the spike, kaya naman nila laban pa rin ka agad ito ni Sadok to plant in the spike para magkaroon pa rin sila ng equal amount of advantage. We have the police though, pero sobrang kate nito. Kaya naman, he needs to reposition, he needs to back away. There's still a minute left. At mukhang sa pagbaback away nila, hinahayaan nila ma-exhaust muna ng Cetras. Yung kanika nila mga utilities, nakita na lang sa ikin kung saan. Nakapwesto kayo si Sadak. So pushing in, he has a blade from hand. Going over the triple that that is such a great pressure for Cetras para manaig na naman in another round laban sa Loud. Uh, crazy sentinels. Uh, imagine, nearest nila yun. Silang dalawa ni Tenz. Uh, uh, talagang literal na hawak kamay silang dalawa. Tapos buti nakaikot na rin kagad si Sassy. Together, syempre, with uh, John Cutie as well. Dalawa na lang. Before matay natin ang A-game ng dalawang team sa to ayaw pa nilang mag-match point. Ito ang mga taga-loud. Pero ang loud, ang dami pa rin nilang pera. Wala kang problema, ika nga. Pero Zeken, i-risk nga to to take down, take out the clock. At successful nga sa taas si Sada kay Babagsak. Bilis. Kaagad ang mga pagbaksak ng mga body seat all over the place dahil they keep on anticipating second na no, mas na assert nila yung dominance against him. Pero yun lang din ang kailangan na i-risk out pa ulit-ulit a second para nga manalo sa mga duels para hindi siya naman yung ma-overwhelm ng paulit-ulit nga ng loud. Dahil again, yun lang din ang ginagawa nila. Cascade, find an opening, go in for the trades. If ever na mauna sila, they can just play in with the utilities as well. Dahil dalawa naman yung kanila mga controllers eh. Pero magiging question dito ngayon, ready na nga ba si Seke sa pag-pick out all the way from Ness. And he is already waiting it out. Meron ba dito magdo-double pick na? Dahil again, yun lang din ang best chance of winning on this operator. Nangalaban dito kay Seken. Pero buti na lang, they have already forced him out. Dahil doon sa recon na ito, hindi tuloy makakapag-pick out. At yun na lang din, we have... Up plan B para sa side of Sentinel Celsius with another pick and Celsius with another kill. That's already a double. And now we have a quick answer to the band coming in from quick. Sassy, dalawa na ang tens, isang kill nala pwede siyang mag-null command. Pero ito na nga pinag-uusapan natin. Les is just gonna go for that post plant. And Sentinels, how can they manage this? Nagtatago lang naman kagad ang mga member ng Loud. Eh, wala na silang papakailaman ngayon. Time is taking the flash has been taken off. But the spam's up there. Pero nasa oh, wow. side nga lang kagad ni Kiki. Ang isa may kasama pa kagad nice, ako. Wing man. They just really want to make wing out of the post. <laughs> Pero di nila nakita, di nila narinig ako na bahala. Sabi na 6 man ang Sentinels. 11-10 na tayo ngayon. Actually, narinig nila eh. 
Trinay na lang barilin, trinay na lang free fire. Pero unfortunately, sobrang risk na nasa loob kasi sila ng side kanina. And ang dami nga nakabantay, ang dami nakaduel. And gusto, na, gusto ko na nakapag-play together nga dito si Celsius and Stacey. Dahil yun ang pinaka-importante. Hindi rin pala tumama itong mga steak fight. So really is unfortunate. And too late na rin naman na itong Hunter Fury all over the place to try and take down players from Sentinels. But then again, one more round para sa Sentinels. May equalize nga itong scoreline na ito. At baka possibly mga ma 2-0 ang load Pero yun ay pwede pang maiba Ang magiging tides natin Dahil again, we have again uh, so much Eco pa rin naman na natitira for loud To make this another viral for them Tatagal ang loud hanggang 12 Hanggang mag-match point Kahit pa paano ang sentinels Pero itong problema, wala silang ultimate Wala pa ang layo pa Doon sa kay Sadak Unless kumakuha pa siya ng 4 kids Which is going to be the next round pa So ang pwedeng gawin talaga ngayon ng sentinels Is to just gobble on those angles It won't be the second time around Pero Zekan still tries to spam it as well Pero mag out na lang din kagad siya There's the setup na nga lang din kasi na problema nila But we have the null command We have the post plant ng sentinels Napaka mabilis na di TikTok But they just gotta be careful Dahil ang dami ng win-a-waste na loud Ng utilities pagdating lamang dito Kaya nga eh, hindi nila ito May babato nga later on At iisang snake bite na lang Siguro mga shock dart nga Kay papaano Quansen needs to live for another day Dito sa round na ito Pero again Mas madami pa rin silang utility Sa kakarapin Kami yung from Celsius And even 10 side we have two players down already. Pero ngayon, with that pick coming in from Tens, he goes in for another. Ngayon, sa pag-pick naman niya, masyado siyang umabuso nga ng angulo laban dito kina Sadak. And now, fortunately, that's going to be one member left alive all the way from Belt. At yun pa ay nakuhaan na nga nila ng pansin. Celsius with another and Celsius will be finishing out another round para sa kanila pabor. 11 is to 11. Dahil again, nakita naman natin kung paano nga tinabaho ng Sentinels itong pang-equalizer nila. By the way guys, 11-7 yun. Four rounds sunod-sunod from Sentinels. Tapos yung previous round na dapat match point na nasayang pa kagad sa kamay ng mga taga loud. But then, as what I've said, may economy sila pero walang available na ultimate spare. Very tactical for Sentinels. Pop off yung lockdown. Pop off syempre. Yung null command na yan. And ang gagawin ng loud is to just relax. Go for that uh, tactical pause. Planuhin ano ang next step. Dahil kung sino matatalo sa round na to, I think that might be a call already for 13-11 unless we go for that timeout. Napaka-intense. Akala natin parang grand finals na, di ba? Pero shows to us the magic na sentinels. The way they improve dito lamang sa icebox is very good. Tanda, ganda ng palita nila palagi, ano? Kasi sabi mo nga kanina na ubusan ka agad ng utilities nga yung loud. So meaning to say wala silang pang post plant, wala silang pang lineups, hindi nila ma-force back ang players sa Sentinels. Saan ba talaga sila dapat na nga magbantay? And after that one shot, kapag ka from tense, akala inabuso tuloy ng loud yung pwede nilang chance na mag-overtake na nga ng mga boundaries laban sa Sentinels. But little did they know, Sentinels is just intact together na ready sila for the trade-offs. Ready sila with the double picks. Kaya naman ngayon, they are given or they have been given dito na naman ang isa pang round for them to survive much more further laban na nga sa loud and of guns and of utilities and ultimates ang pwedeng ang maging lason pa dito laban sa loud. Sakit ito sa loud. Half by na lang. Kagad ang pag-asa ng tatlo nilang membro kung natalo sila sa round na to. Pero malaki pa rin naman yung loss bonus. So most probably half armor than Vanda lang gagawin nila. They have that lockdown. They gotta make sure they get the take properly. If not, that's gonna be hurtful. May thrash pa kagad na kasama si Sassy. So tatry ni Zekan dito. Siyempre, obvious na to. Magpipick siya ng isa, pero wala. Tactical lang. And he will be detained. That's it. Out na siya kagad. He took the risk. Pero siyempre, may thrash na lilabas. Hinaba na mga membro. Hinanap na kagad ni Sassy. Sana mga miyembro na to. Wala. Nag-out na lang din kagad and B is up there for them to take with. Narinig na nila na ginamit na nga yung trash. Napatay na nila si Seke. So, immediate rotation na kagad ito. Going into A site. Buti na lang may sagot kaagad si Celsus to make this an equal amount of firepower to go around this match point na pwede nga nilang either mga teams na makuha. Pero too late na kagad yung mosh pit. At least, they can gather the cell zone space. 
Pero kulang na ito eh. Postplant na kagad ang lalaroin ngayon ng Loud. And sobrang deadly pa naman ito. Lalo na they are playing all together inside of the site. Nandito yung Lambot. Nandito yung Blind. Oh Hands going God. in for the first kill. Nandito na rin naman na si Lasacy and John Cutie. And isa na lang kagad na natitira. Toys all the way from the corner. Mukhang naanuyong lang pa nga siya kung saan siya magagaling pa. But this time, lahat na nga kaagad na nakabang all the way from the other angle. Alam na nila tuloy kung saan magagaling si Celsius. Alarm bot with another. And now, this time, 96 HP. They're refusing it to spike. Tatlo pa rin sila magkakasama. And match point pa sa Sentinels. And this is going to be a big of a heartbreak para sa loud na matalo ko sakali. Ang sakit! Para sa loud! Natalo ka 5 rounds na ito pa. Yung flank pa ni Les. Yun din yung napaka-intense. Tapos, your timing is tense when it comes to that flash, and the recon was too late as well. You lose cowans in, you lose information. No flashes available pa sa side kagad ng loud. That became the huge problem. Dahil pwede lang naman maging selfish dito eh. Si mga taga sentinels when they wanna play, and this is the problem. Half armors indeed na nga ang Marikita will send, will finally win this or hindi. Dahil mamamatay na naman si Tenz at mag-change pa ata ang pacing ngayon. Nandito kasi yung reconing pero pinili niya pa rin. Buti nalang na-pick up ka agad ito ni Second. They have their ultimate time para nga makapag-back away, para nga matry nilang ma-deny itong pagpa-plant and na-spike. Pero better yet, they need to do this wisely dahil nakaabang na naman inside of the post-plant. Inside of the side, ang players nga ng loud. They have the numbers advantage. They have been jump-picking all throughout. Kaya naman ngayon with the bait and switch, dito naman si second. Unfortunately, second is already traded off. Two kills already para kay Kwanzen. Nandito naman si loud. Nandito naman din si Dizzy. All the way from another angle. It's the cutie less and all over the place. We are welcoming you guys to the first overtime on this day. What a round, definitely, para sa side nga ng loud. My goodness. Nagtataka lang ako, bakit kayo nag-double up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Pero sige, tiwala naman sila. Alam nila, gagawin lang naman ni Tens together with Zekin yung ginawa nila nung round, if I remember, round 21 or 20, na nakatingin si Tens sa isang certain angle and that will be the next swing by Zekin but that didn't work. Loud, ca finally captured na lugi tayo ngayon. And... Ba may ibang plano ping sentinels against us. But right now, 12-12 Icebox once again. The trauma is kicking in. Pagdating talaga sa Icebox, napakadaming rounds kung saan mo may kita na parating overtime dito. But it is what it is. Nas defending pa naman ng loud. Magiging good read ba to sa kanila or hindi? Lalo na, sobrang risky ng buy na ito for quick ha. Pero ultimately, Laking hirap na ito kung sakaling hindi siya makatakas dahil na-deny ka agad yung kanyang dash. We have the zero point. We even have your the blind. And another swing na mabugmumula na nga with a Ferrari pick mula dito kina second. He was immediately forced back. Apat naman dito ngayon na magbabantay pero ang sayang na naman dito ang pick up again from Stacey. There's two is for another angle. Trades after trades ang nagaganap. Tatlo. Nabas sa dalawa na lang kaagad na natitira. Na-down pa kaagad yung spike. And this is such a good opportunity for Sentinels na mag-back away since there's still one minute left para sa oras sa ito, para pa, para makapagkorotate pa sila, going to be. Ang paplano nila, kumuha ng orb si John Cutie. Kapag na-plant niya to, Viper's Ultimate. Si Twiz ngayon, 1 HP. So, nakatutok sa kanya pag nag-wall down itong um, turret natin. And speaking of, wala nga lang na-pick up. It's all up to John Cutie to make the most out of it. Kaso nga lang, mahirap going up against three people. Wala yung spray down. Meron nasa likod niya, pero meron pa pala sa oras. Yan ang kagad na kuha pa kagad ngayon. Yung Viper's Ultimate. Pero yung oras. Taas! Taas na si Toys! It's a match point for Loud! Ganda ng round na to. Lalo na again. Sobrang ultimate overwhelming tactics lang din ang ginagawa nila. Time and time again, laban sa side na nga ng Sentinels. And unfortunately for Sentinels, they keep on dry picking dahil nagamit na nila earlier on ang kanila mga utilities. We're talking about the DC and the flashbangs na para lang din ma-force back agad yung loud. And again, it was so unfortunate na lagi na lang namamatay sa crosshair, sa operator. Maulit-ulit ni Quick. Itong si Sacy and... This time, magpapalit naman tayo ngayon ng mga sides. Match point already once again para na nga sa side ang loud. And again, baka gawin na naman nila yung pang match point na ginawa nila kanina. Trying to commit fully inside of B. Going for the free fires. After nila makapatay ng isa, magro-rotate immediately going to A. Pero mukhang ito ay full-on commitment na kagad dahil they are already pushing 
all the way from Snowman trying to go in for the picks. Going in with a double now with another kill. This is a good opening dahil again, Isa na lang kaagad ang natitira. Second pa with this operator. How can he even prevail this? Lalo na't again, ang dami na nakaabang sa kanya. Man, sayang na build up ng Sentinel. That was a match point. And yet, nag-crush down sila. Doon na sa mismong round 23, kung sa, ra, rather round 24, kung saan nag-double up sila. But that uh, didn't work. Uh, good read naman for Loud. Sadak won that. The fact that he killed Tens on that round habang nakatingin sa kanya, naging opportunity na nga to go into a site And for the overtime, feel ko na pagod yung Sentinels nila. They just can't dictate the pace. But then, because of that, we're gonna go into map. We're gonna go into a sense to everyone. What a creative and what a banger. We're lang dito lamang sa ating second map. Nakita natin yung improvement ng Sentinels dito. Nakita din natin kung gano'n nila binasa ang moments na itong mga Tagalawd as well. Lagi kasi silang nauunahan ng Loud pagdating sa mga first kills eh. And lalo na doon sa round na ito, katulad ito, I love that dahil nalito nila fully ang players sa Sentinel saan ba talaga dapat sila magbantay. Nag-rotate sila going to B, bigla naman silang lumipat going to mid and then take down the rotations coming in from B going to A. So again, tuluyan nilang na-decipher ang mga plays nga ng Sentinels kung ano ba dapat ng bantayan na nga all over the site and just really goes to show na na-dismantle nila all over or na-ipit nila all over ang Sentinels kung ano na nga ang dapat nilang ipanalo ng mga duels since again, that was such a close round, close game para sa side ng Sentinels to win out. Well, it is what it is, guys. Ayaw pa ng loud mapunta sa lower bracket. At ito pa, pupunta pa tayo sa sunset. But we're gonna go on a short break when we come back to tuloy natin ang story ng dalawang teams sa to. My name is Ray. Alongside with me is Honey Grace with a double E. And see you dito lamang sa VCT Madrid. What a response that was from Loud. They take things equal, which means we will go the distance and see map three. I'm your host, Yingsun, and I'm back here with Mimi and Hypog. Uh, did we maybe believe a little bit the comeback was real? I, I, I really did. Sentinels nearly pushed us all the way, but Loud, I mean, they started that first half looking incredibly dominant. Their protocols on this map look incredible.
I mean, to be honest, it looked like two different teams. Obviously, Loud being the headliner here, a massive swing back into Icebox, but uh, a couple of concerning rounds there from Centrals, considering what we've seen them really dial into on split. But they're sort of being defined by Loud's retakes yeah, on the defense, yeah. and that's where this team absolutely thrives. I think, in particular, the way that they're setting up to play these retakes on that B site were really impressive. Here, here's a few of these rounds to take a look at, right? This team just having, I, I feel like, really good synergy on when they're bouncing between these pieces of utility, right? It's that first stage coming in with the dart clearing back site, and then they're really leveraging this harbor utility to set up cover for the planner and fight deep in these post plants and force Sentinels to lose, even when they have a comp that's built to win these post plants with a ton of mollies. Yeah, and I think actually this is the example we saw where we got a little bit of a react from Zekin afterwards. Uh, but I mean, you say loud retakes, there were a couple here that Sentinels almost just completely forgot the timings on it. Uh, talking about, you know, some of the, the mollies to buy time, uh, run down the clock a little bit, but the the, the big di difference between these two teams is Loud's ability to demonstrate this on both sides. Yeah, let's take a look at those uh, post plants in just a moment as well, because I think that's the round you meant, Mike, where I think he was saying something like, chill with the mollies. Yeah, chill they with the mollies. A yeah. bit too early. I mean, there were two examples that almost felt a, a, a little egregious, criminal, sure. that they lose those post plants. And, and remember, in a game this close, those were the rounds that were make or break for Sentinels losing the map. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, this is the one I think it was. Round three was the one that Zekin did have a little uh, reaction here, but it just felt like everything gets dumped at the same time when they have everything. Like you said, this is a composition built towards finding clean entries, minimal utility invested on the way in, forcing Loud back into a five-man retake, which looked fantastic for them. But this one, Sentinels almost just gave this away. Yeah, and, and we really build up how good the protocols are, how perfect Sentinels look on a map like Split. But on the other side, I mean, remember, this team has had to play a ton. Cap Kaplan was saying they've had to show everything. And I think we start to see that a little more on this map, like this reaction Guys, from Zekin. Calm the mollies. Yeah, we really I mean, it's exactly. You, 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 can, you can watch this back. You see another example as well, but he did, yeah, round eight. Uh, was another one where it's, in terms of the plan, the initial plan coming into the round, it's executed to perfection. Loud play into it perfectly. Sentinels are set up for success, and it just seems like, I don't know if people are just jumping the gun a little bit. There's a little bit of uh, misinformation being spread internally within comms, but um, yeah, a little bizarre to see considering how clean their protocols were on split. We went into this hearing that ha uh, that kind of between map interview from Kaplan where he said the team is really good at kind of finding the right energy, knowing when to yeah. calm down, knowing when to heat up. And I think we saw that on display here because it went from, from that, you know, Zekin giving some feedback, some of these post plant rounds that shouldn't have falling apart to in a second half, Sentinels looking absolutely revived and pushing us all the way to overtime with great retakes of their own. Yeah, you can't help but feel if it was just one or two of those pro spawns that win their way, maybe yes. it wouldn't have different even gone story. to Very overtime. Different. And they want both pistols as well, let's not forget. Uh, but let's talk about Les a little bit as we move on to uh, map three, because again, on that map, he was so impactful, <laughs> so crucial to ke keep them in it. I mean, we said ahead of this coming in, Les is usually the superstar on Icebox. And uh, another one, add this one to, to the collection, because uh, just individually this time, time and time again, in the right place, the right time, and he delivers back, back against the wall could be a 1v3 he could be solo anchor in sights he's just constantly delivering for loud yeah that's the thing that really st stuck with me right how good he is at getting a kill as anchor and always getting away yeah. it's insane how much just survivability the man has especially when he when he's holding down towards that b side he's always getting a frag falling back and then using his mollies really uh, tactically to be able to set his teammates up when they're playing into these retake rounds he's such a star and he implements into the team perfectly yeah well let's talk about sunset real quick because these are the agents uh, for Lex, selects for that. Uh, what do you make of this, Mike? Uh, I mean, well, back to the default, basically rerun of the, the grand finals, to be honest. But obviously you're going to see this is the map where we see the Phoenix come out once again. Uh, I have questions still about this composition, but it's, it's the way that they apply it. We did see some better... Um, but well, sh showings of uh, sure. proactivity, but I'm still not completely sold. I think the strengths of this comp for Loud on defense is fighting for extremity control. Yes, using yeah. that breach, using that omen line control to set the Phoenix up. They also have great alts to cycle through and win out these rounds. But Sentinels, their strength, second half is going to be retakes. This first half, their comp is actually really strong at shutting down that extremity control. Expect a lot of early battles. This map's going to be important. Only one of these American squads get that guaranteed spot in the top three. Yeah, Loud, they've done so much already to push it to here. Let's see Brandon and Saisho if they can get their revenge. Time check. 
3 a.m. na at nakita na nga natin na mapsi pa rin tayo between loud together with sentinels. Ako nga pala si Rerick. Samo ko dito si Honey Glaze at pupunta tayo sa sunset na ito na natin yung agent composition dito, Honey Glaze. At tingin mo, magiging dikit pa rin to? Oh, eh, nasimula na nga maigi ito kanina nga ng loud And I really do think Sentinels has a better form this time around Lalo na attacking lagi ang best chances of winning nila pagdating nga sa kanilang mga first halves Pero yun ay dapat nga ding on time yung kanilang mga initiators To have those blinds keeping up and coming Para magkaroon ng magandang opportunity sa second Makapasok, makakuha ng entry Ay, talaga nga, give Jezek and his pace. Pero quick na naman si Sadak to actually pinpoint one. Tens right now will be tagged. Wala silang healing ngayon ha, sa parehas na teams. Pero maganda dito sa lahat. They finally brought up this composition again which is going to be yung um, Phoenix. Ang daming flash ng ano, loud. What Lima. Diyos ko po. Versus naman ngayon sa Sentinels, they have four. So, isa lang naman yung medyo yeah. difference dito. Pero, isa lang ang pinili nilang duelist sa parehas na teams. May malaking difference between that Phoenix together with that Trees. Pero, parang mm -hmm. mas confident lang ako sa Sentinels part. Pero, nag-meet up to his call set dito May sa Nagas. Mag-i-inside sila. <laughs> no? Kahit pa paano, oh. mabilis kasi magiging entry ng Sentinels, lalo na dito Ay. sa second. But unfortunately, it was too late already para doon sa DZ Sorry, blind na yun. So, teka, second is already down. But then, hindi naman dito matitigilan ang Sentinels para nga pumasok sa loob ng site. I remember this map. I remember this game na naging laban nga nila early or way back pa na kanilang Grand Finals and kickoff Nagrabe yung mga retakes nila. So, yun ang magiging deadly later on. Pero sa tingin natin na ito, ay mas naunahan na kaagad ng Sentinels ang mga buddies going on over. Pero this time, there's always a trade-off mm. coming in from Loud. Quick with another, quick with a finisher, and quick. Lee, matatapos naman yung pistol round na ito into their favor and let's see kung magiging bawi ba ito ng sentinel sa mapa na ito ah sayang nakatukis pero lahat sila nagstuck agad doon wala silang nagawa good flash na hard kagad for um, sassy 1-0 great start for loud under defending tatandaan nyo when you are on your attacking mas kabor talaga to actually Dito lamang sa sunset. But right now that a lot of teams have been practicing how they retake on this map. Itong isang katulad ng loud, they're able to give that into a definition. Pero sino nagligtas na naman siyempre sa kanila? That was Sadak together with Quick. Ang ganda din ng concast. The flashes were really um, adapting sa playstyle ng Sentinels. Sentinels, so force by ngayon. Uh, they only have the singers. Nasaraduan sila ng pito, going into mid. And this is their best form. Best strategy to move on forward into this kind of buys is to win out so many close angles and so many overwhelming factors. Sa kaya nilang ipin down nga laban sa lao. Pero will they be able to do so? Dahil one way smoke is already there. There goes the blind. Nadito nang si quick na mapapa back away na lang den agad agad. And this time, this is a better chance of winning den naman para sa side ng lao na to try and regroup. Dahil Ang hirap dito eh, lalo na kapag kalaban mo si Sentinels ng nakaganitong stinger sila na magkakasama-sama, can be a really unfortunate expensive round para sa loud kung sakali man. Expensive round. Itong Sentinels taking so much time once again. You haven't dictated pa. Nasa, nasa may tiles part pa kagad. Ang syempre isang katulad ni Zelsis. The concast didn't work but they have to make their move. Wanting distractions para lang may pumake off pero wala. Market control na kagad sa center. Tatakbo lang sa nila. Pakabilis pero sila sa katingin. May tinamahan na isa. May shock turn pa nga mula kay Sadak. At kailangan na na magplant dito kagad sa B-side. At retake na naman muli ang kailangan pagpunungan dito ng loud. Speaking of the retake... Ano bang utilities ang tatapatin nila laban ng Sentinels? We have Smokes, Paranoia, Smallies, Mosh Pit, and the Wingman. So, sobrang well-equipped ngayon ng Sentinels to play for the post plan. Na ready sila all the way from B main. And even though there's a lot of utilities ay babato, if you push pa rin naman ito ni Kawanzen, already concussed. The spray transfers are just there. No HP na kaagad sila Celsius. And unfortunately for that guy, nandito naman sila sticking out the defuse. At hindi ka agad ito nailaban pa kahit paano ng Sentinels. Pero at least, one of their objectives is make this a really expensive round. Laban na nga sa loud. At yun na nga ang nangyayari kahit pa paano dalawa na lang ang natira para sa side ng loud. 
kaso ang problema, nag-force itong sentence. They took that risk. We've seen the plan. Make the noise upon uh, um, a bit. Itong mga tagal-loud out of it. Tapos magkakross sila papuntang mid. Tapos na-open na nga din kagad yung market. Yun yung naging way para makapasok sila ng site. Pero yung post plant, quite different. Yung mga kodkas, yung mga flash together with the shock type from Sadak and the post plant itself. Hindi na naman naging workable pagdating sa Sentinels. Pero ngayon, contesting kagad sila. Pero natalo sila yung quick together with Kawan. Hindi natin nakita yun. Si Tekken, hindi na naman gumana. At si John Cutie na lang kagad ang natitira. Na eh. Nexpose nila kasi yung kanilang buy rounds earlier. Kaya naman na yun. They are only left behind with just the pistols. And unfortunately for them, 3-0 na tuloy ngayon ang loud. Kumbaga, taste of your own medicine. Ika nga nila. Itong ginagawa ng loud laban sa Sentinels. Dahil yun ang nangyayari nga way back then pa. Pero tingnan nga natin. Dalo na ito na yung buy round ng Sentinels. We have here the trash. So at least sana ito ay maging worth it na ngayon. Dahil earlier on, yung mga push sa si Stacey, lagi siya nakakot off guard, hindi siya makaduelo. Really, unfortunately, most of the times, dahil loud is just ready enough for that comeback to happen. Operator daw sa mga kamay ni Twist, ito ay gagana nga ba dahil separated ang push sa gagawin na nga ngayon ng kabila. Ang uh, loud, no? Nakikita nyo talaga yung experience nila. Sobrang... They, they, there are times they lose, but this against Sentinels, memories na memories sila yung defending nila. Yung mga, sing, mga isolation angles, kitang kita nyong boradong borado at may susunod na nga kaagad. Twist takes down second. Kahit samahan mo ng trash to, huwag kang makakapag-out lang. Hindi nila pansin, bumalik ka ka dun si Twist. Pero dito sa loob ng Hecoms, may manggugulat. His name is Tens. One, two. I'm counting it. Alam na ni Tens. Medyo pinipin mo. Tens, king up. Yun na nga kagad ang nari. Good flash din kagad. Coming in. Up from Zappis and A. It's out in the open. And Tens gets the 4K. Wala ka lang bala. Nakulangan lang bala. Pero still, A side. Hello na kagad sa Sentinels. It's so intense. Pero at least there's Wingman para makapag-plant in the spike. Post-plant na lang ang gagawin na ngayon ng Sentinels. They need to make this worth it. Lalo't ngayon, they have another round para na nga kay Trash. They have at least the info so, dalawa na lang kailangan nilang iintindihan. Run it back ay hindi muna gagamitin. Dahil they have numbers na kailangan pa nga pag, uh, labanan pa dito. Laban dito kina John Cutie. Quick though for a quick trade. Pero yun mm. lang, cut off guard. Dahil ilalabas sa sana yung wall dito. Para nga manalo doon sa duels na iyon. And now, a round finally para sa Sentinels. But sobrang gastos pa rin kahit papaano. Oh, draining ng mga rounds na yun sa Sentinels. They are dying out. Dahil lang ba sa mga contrast na yun, dahil lang sa mga flashes ng Phoenix na yun, kahit ako mismo eh. Pero to, good thing na lang din na napanalo nila. If they won't stop loud, this is just gonna be loud. Um, getting those rounds, getting those critics, very perfect. The plan has been set upon A, pero next step nila is going to be B. Pero ngayon, mitik lang, slow pace lang na naman ang sa Sentinels. Natuto na sila. Ayaw na talaga nilang maulit yung mga pick-offs kanina sa icebox. Ayaw na nilang ma-distract. At ayaw na din nilang masyadong nag-mag-maasim sa mga bagay-bagay. Patutusin kasi yung mga duels ay lagi nga na ipapanalo ng loud. Every time na ready sila, every, every time na meron pa kagad ng mga fault lines na pwede nga gawitin si Kwanzen. But now, speaking of, the fault line will be hindering them to try and take a site once more. And again, sa pagkakataon na ito, they already have the info kung sino ba yun nandito. Pero itutuloy pa rin nga ba nila dahil parang gustong pumusta or gustong i-risk out talaga. Isugal ito ni Celsius. Tignan natin kung gagana na nga ba, looking at this Aldron right now, or itong ating higher POV para nga malaman kung ano yung duo sila. They're just really backing off para at least they have a much more winnable advantage. Pero cut exactly. apart si Jumpix lang, si Quick, kukuha na sana yung tao ng info. Pero hindi, para siya pinayagan ngayon na Sentinel. Still to four members na lang ang loud. Still to have the time para sa Sentinel to plant the spike. At mukhang post plant na kagad ito dahil si Wingman lang yung nagplant na ngayon ng spike. Salamat daw kay Wingman, pero salamat na naman muli sa mga unang pick-up. Si Take Out Quick, Quickie, 
Maganda na kagad tong round na to. Wala na kagad instant flashes na may kita. Ang ganda din kagad na paranoia ni Terrence. He tries to suppress sa mga miyembro kagad ngayon ng loud as he tries to just play it around with the verticality. Pero syempre, yung Moli, kinakain na siya kagad. Tapos vulnerable ba siya? But the best way ngayon for loud is not contested. Save it already dahil pera na lang. Wala na talaga eh. Exit France is up there pero di na rin pipilitin ng Sentinels as well. Malaking pagbabawi sa Sentinels from a 3 to 0 3-2 na tayo ngayon. Tactical na naman muli sila. And I think it's because of Tens gambling those uh, verticalities dito lamang sa may A-side. Mm -hmm. Lalo na, yun kasi ang kalakasan ng isang omen. Lalo na uh, here on Sunset pa. Nakita na nga natin yung round na yun. Or yung ganong klaseng pang-aabuso nga ng mga high round advantage dito sa Sunset. Which just gives them a lot more of an off-angle pick na mas maipapanalo nga nila dahil ito ay hindi mostly na ina-anticipate nga na kanila mga kalaban dahil niisip pa nila ano pang utility sa ibabato pa sa kanila ng Sentinels, ano pa yung magpipick coming in from elbow, ano pa yung pwede nga sumunod sa Mosh Pit the Sea and all over the place nga gagawin ng players ng Sentinels and even Stacy pa. This time, Slow pacing na rin na naman ba? Ito para sa side of Sentinels dahil bagamat nagbigay naman sila ng info going into elbow, ito naman din ay hindi nila itutuloy much further going into A-side. Ang uh, Sentinels ngayon after making some information again, rather here in mid, they decided upon B pero magduguto. Dahil nakatingin ka agad si Tuiz, pwede lang niya kagad ipilit to, pero there's the suppress which is good. Hindi sila makakabato ng molis at all. Wala kagad na mga paranoia na yan. Kaya quick catch up lang mula ngayon. Zeken is gonna be half on his HP. But the best thing right now is to get the plant and you're just going to wait. Dahil may surprise naman kagad si Zeken. May null command siya na pwede gamitin. At si Zeken, ganda ang kota. Ganda. Ganda. Kagad. Malaking pagbabawas dahil out na din kagad si Les ngayon. May run it back pa coming in from quick. Pero hindi naman magpa-play inside of the site ng Sentinels. Always all the time ito nangyayari. Especially nung no, nangyayari na nga. Itong last time na laro nila laban sa loud. Pero all the way from the back, this is what we're talking about. The plan B's na hinahanap natin from Sentinels. Now, gumagana na nga unti-unti. Tens with a composure. Tens with a kill. On to Kwanzin. Dalawa na lang kagano natitira. Look at the time. Hearing at the time. There's no more time intended. Kahit patay na lahat mo last Sentinels. It's still another round for them to equalize this much more <laughs> further. At mukhang ginagawa lang nila. It's a deja vu, pero the turns or the tables have already turned in favor of Sentinel's side. Looking back into the highlights, Ray, ganda ng mga pangitahid kayo nito sa he has the composure and the momentum as well. Dahil, look at this, they just immediately played for time. Dahil, ang daming kailangan isipin ang loud. Let's go! Natawa na lang nga rin ako. Eh. Alam mo kung may time pa doon yung loud? Ako may sabi ko, ang anong ginagawa ng Sentinels. But it's perfect calculated na calculated. Those questionable angles, they weren't able to kill the members of loud. Pero okay lang because round win is a win and a daming pera ngayon ng Sentinels. At habang yan na naman wali yan nangyayari, that push coming from Cowan's in together with Quickie, Effective sana pero walang magpipick off sa inyo dyan. Good read lamang sa Sentinels na gano'n ang pinaplano pa natin ng mga flashes nila. Pero sila sa katapat mo at may isa na namang masasaktan. Masasaktan ng OTC second. Ma-out na nga din kaagad kayo si Les. Pero trade-off is just there. Pupush pa rin nila. They will gamble upon a decent at si Tens ang mangunguna kung meron siyang mapipick off o wala. Iniiba nila lagi yung makakapag-push all the way from backside. Kaya naman ngayon, maiiba tuloy. Ang pangitain na loud kung ano na nga ba dapat na mauna. But this time, hindi nila in-anticipate that we still have the Rolling Thunder. At least, meron silang pang-deny ngayon. Tense with a shrouded step. Wala sulit yung tuloy idea. Yung loud ko saan siya ngayon nakapag-TP. But now, they're just playing for time. Hindi pa sigla. Sigurado kung paano sila makakapasok. Pero at least, he was able to get that shot onto the head of Tense. Quantum with another John Cutie. Makakuha ka ng dalawa pick-offs. We're down to a 2v2. All the way from A main pa. Or B main pa. Ito si Celsius. But down to that's one. Going in with a pick. He can win it out. Just playing for time. Ngayon, he's taking out the defuse with that pick as well. Oh. And that bait. Sadak ang mas makakuha ng panalo laban sa Celsius. And what a gamble it really was. We had the Rolling Thunder. We had the Showstopper. We had so many utilities to counter out loud to try and push in for the retake sana.
That's just very sad. Minadali niya yung uh, diffuse na yun. Akala niya pwede siyang makakuha ng opportunity. Akala niya wala ng oras kagad. Pero sino bang katapat mo? Si Sadak, syempre calculated na calculated na yan. At tignan niyo, Wee, may kasama pang sit down, sit down. Pero anyway, for Sentinels, anti pa rin. That's okay. We still got that uh, aim, uh, talagang aim power, aim power ngayon. 4-3, loud nga lang. Just because of those uh, sadak plays, no? Kaya sila nananalo, eh. Mm -hmm. Ang gusto ko lang din talagang i-comment dito, yung kanyang mga recon balls, every time na makakapagbigay ito ng opening, and every time na malalaman nilang mamimisplace na naman dito yung positioning coming in from Sentinels, nagugulatin sana sila. But hindi, dito naman ngayon, magugulat si Toys kung ano na dapat ang ipanalo na duel dahil si Celsius pala ang mas makakapatay sa kanya. Buti na lang, may naging holes defenses all the way from A-Main. Dalawa pa itong nawala na nga sa mapa from Sentinels' side. Make it three, make it four, less with another kill. Sacy all together na lang ay natitira. But now, with him and his wingman, he can still try to plant the spike going into B. B, lipat ka ng B, B. 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 Kaso wala eh. Itutuloy niya pa rin yung A site eh. TP ka, Bess. Wala ka rin eh. Si Ted Zeron. Talagin mo saan niya pwede magpahiram. Ito si Sassy. Talagang no way but A lang talaga siya ngayon. Let's see if this will be... Oh, okay. That was smart. Pero sana walang nakatingin sa kanya while others are making noises dito. Mga cut off guard ka. Yun na nga mga kapitas ng isa pa. Nakabuli na lang siya kagad. Yun yung Sadak together with Kawan Z. Pero nanabuli na naman kagad siya. DGs! Sacy pa rin ito ha. Five HP oh. with a triple. Oh no, kung nabit pa rin! Yung mga hindi nga wala, what was that? He knows he can't commit it fully dahil phantom naman yung gamit niya. And he has no off angle dahil doon. Sa wall na yun dahil doon. Sa Reginate na yun ang nakaharang na nga sa kanya. And Salah, such a great, great round para kay Sacy to prove himself na kaya niya pa rin naman may panalo yung mga rounds kahit lagi siya ang nagiging unang buwelo, unang first kill palate ng players ng Loud. Oh, the spray. That spray. Oh my goodness. Ang kanta nun. Alex, alam niyo yung mga ganyan? Mga sentinels, sinusurprise nila tayo parati sa mga moments na ganun eh. But guys, it is what it is. A round for loud na sana yun. Two round advantage. And yet, natay na naman ng tables ngayon. And that's how incredible the members of sentinels are. Kanina may nagko-complain. Bottom frag daw si Stacey. Pero wala eh. Ngayon, nak nakakabawi naman siya. Doesn't mean a bottom frag siya. He's not the best player for Sentinels. The fact that he's still there, di ba? Ang daming impact talaga. Nagagawa niya naman yung role niya eh. He's the initiator. He's supposed to go in first together with the duelist. At to make an opening, laking advantage na rin yun. At yun yung nagiging chance nilang manalo parate, makapasok parate. And now, exactly nagdalawang easy pa si Kowansen. Tama ba ang nakita niya? Multo kasi ito ni Tens. But now, makakapasok pa rin naman si Tens with the shallot step. Even have here the knife para makakuha din ng info. Magbabatuhan na nga kaagad ng mga mollies. Makakapag-plant it pa rin ng spike dahil they have the wingman. Now playing it for the post plant. Much more easier and smoothly. Itong matitake nga. Coming in from set to the side. But what was that one tap? Coming in for quick. Ang dali niyang napatay ka agad. Even though na may smoke na kasama. That's three players left behind para sa loud. Baiting in the info. Baiting in with the fix. Going in with a one-tap na naman si Quick. We have the trash para ma-secure na nila fully itong round na ito. Pero sayang! Yung run is back! Nag-deny ka agad dahil lang doon sa isang trash! Pero ngayon, magpapush-out pa rin siya. He can still win it. This is such an ultimate gamble. Ultimate gamble na ginawa na nga kagad. Ngayon ang down and one! That was such a beautiful round for the one-tap si the Sheriff. Dito kay Quick! No, no way, quick. Sayang yun. Pero to, the disrespect. <laughs> Nag, nagkarinig niya kagad ng ultimate ni Sassy. Ginawa niya, oh. Nag-granite back siya. Pero na-detain pa rin naman. But then, yung buy time talaga ng Sentinels, eh. Kahit expensive pa rin yun. Dahil lahat kayo wiped out. Mas ma-ROI pa rin yun kay Quick. Pero okay lang, ah. Don't worry. It's okay. It's still a round win. They don't have money for that. And now, Sentinels turns at main table. Dalawa na lang kagad. Nakagad yung leading nila. And ngayon, problema to for loud.
Ganda pa rin talaga, no? Lalo na, again, kailangan makakuha ng much more madaming rounds itong players ng Loud going on this first half. Dahil it can be much more deadlier onto the second one, onto the second half. Dahil naalala ko on one point na napaku sila ng Sentinels when it comes to their retakes, when it comes to the utility plays, when it comes to the defense na meron ng Sentinels from way back kick off nila in America. So, again, a lot of pressure is given. Pero kita mo naman kung paano nila napanalo kay papaano in their favor nga yung mga duels even though na hindi nila nakuha yung round. Yung mga duels with just the one taps with just the sheriff kills dito nila Toys, Squick, and the rest of the guys here for the side of Loud is still kinda deadly laban sa Sentinels. So, once more, gastos ng round na yun. Half armor sa tuloy ang kaya ng Sentinels. Ay, dahil nga itong sentence, oh, maukulit kayo. <laughs> Ay, para siguro may pera lang din sila just in case they lose that round. Ang mga teams talaga ngayon, they, they go with those half armors talaga para lang masustain yung economy nila. They lose it, they still have time or they still have credits to buy yung uh, Vandal for the next round. Pero ngayon naman, sa loud, ang dami nilang pwede gamitin. They have itong kay Sadak, they have for less. Alam na kagali to see, throws out that paranoia. Pero nga lang, mababawasan siya ng armor. Konting HP as well. He's gonna run through towards A. Pero ang Sentinels, commit na kung, kung commit. Punta tayo ng A side. May null command oh. naman tayo. Kaya ngayon, loud, bibigay na lang nila kagad. I think kapag ganda dito, mm -hmm. Hunter's Fury lang. Pero wala eh. Quick lang sa Sentinels. Play for the postman na lang kasi talaga ngayon na ang Sentinels. Tama ka, may Hunter's Fury pa nga. Sinasadak dito later on para magkaroon sila ng opening. Once they have the retake going on forward, blind one-way smokes. There's the Hunter's Fury na magkakonect lang din precisely laba dito kay second. Then still on a really curious of a angle. Ngayon, nakakuha, nakalasa pa rin naman siya ng isa. We still have an opportunity for him to use... His from the shadows, pero ngayon sa nakikita natin hindi na daw nila kailangan nito dahil sila CC and John QD all together makakakuha lang din ang pang-aapi laban dito kina Tuisa siya na lang kaagad ang tangi natitira. And CC, the last member all the way from elbow ay hindi na rin naman na kinaya pa. No time intended for Tuis to defuse in the spike, pero once more, this ko po, upos na naman ang players of Sentinels. Ganun din naman para sa loud. And again, still a winnable round or a winnable state din naman kasi ang naibigay ng Sentinels in their favor, Eco, and a Around is still around for them. Natawa ako kay John Cutie doon. Pero yun, katala sana. Pero they didn't expect 10 zones. Again, that angle is so cheeky. And for 10 to always do that every time. At kahit every time there's a kill, ang laki ng impact na yun. While on the other side, si John Cutie did knife out na lang niya eh. Para lang mag-buy ng extra time sa side ng Sentinels. Over that detonation ng bomb, 4-6, it is a thrifty round once again for Loud. So, medyo talagang, ano to, heartbreaking to see, I guess, for Loud to lose that round. At ngayon, ito na naman, half, half armors lang. Rather, walang armors. They only have itong mga half buys nila. So, Sentinels, big of a round na naman to pag nakuha nila. Definitely. Lalo na this time, ha? Mabagal na ngayon yung kanilang pacing. Nililito na nila ng tuluyan ng loud. So saan ba talaga sila? Dapat nang tumuloy pa. Dahil on this mid-take, it can be either sides eh. Kung fully nila makonquer itong market, edi eh, market tayo de derecho. Going ito B. Nanalo naman sila kahit na full stack on defense nga yung loud into one side. Pero wag lang sila magpapalason dito kay Twist. He still has a ghost. It's still deadly. Going into the head taps. But with that paranoia, that's already a go signal. Reaction is what only Twist needed para magkaroon ka agad sila ng info at para mabigyan niya ka agad ng senyales. Itong kuponan niya nga going into Loud's Play na pumunta na kayo dito. Kailangan ko na ng tulong. Kailangan ko na ng makasama with the defense and for the retake. And now, yun na nga ang ginagawa nila. Minus one still para sa side na nga ngayon ng Loud. Quick! Using the recon para makakuha din ng angle laban dito sa isa. Now! With just a singer, he's goes in with a double kill. Pero ang problema, hindi pa rin pala niya kakayanan niya. Again, it's a triple and a multi-kill na naman para kay Tens. <laughs> ang yung round na yun, Honey Glaze, that was just Sen being so explosive. They know that this is a round where pagdating sa advantage ng Barela ng John, Tens has been always holding this A main. And which hindi mahandle at all ng mga taga. Um, Loud has always been their main problem. 
And the galing sa clean 3-0, nakabawi ang Sentinels. We already have that three-round difference with Sentinels winning side by side. Meron na naman silang trash. Isa na lang for that neural theft para sa side ni John Cutie. Pero meron pa naman tayong Vipers Ultimate. At tignan natin kung ipapanish ba itong uh, loud ang mga member ng Sentinels using that coming from less. Mm -hmm. Pagal na naman nila dahil time and time again, laging may trash naman kasi si Sacy to check in every corner, to check in the opportunity of them, makakuha ka agad ng info. Even though na hindi na nila makukuha, mapupush pa, extend pa yung fight na ito, laban na nga doon kay Quick. At least, they can delay Quick from trying to retake in the site at ang laking bagay na ito dahil they can play for the post plant immediately, back away na kaagad dahil... Pinors na kaagad nila. Les, etong Vipers met nila all the way from backside. Pero tingnan mo naman yung positioning ni Seke na laking rest na naman ito. Wala siyang kasama for the trade. Nahuli pa si Celsius. Wrong timing it, it is. We have the DC. Pero what a timing and what a free for coming in from Les. Wala naman takedown niya kaagad si Seke dahil alam niyang ganun ang lagi ginagawa ng Sentinels. We still have the Mollies. Ang dami kailangan lang orient na yun ng Sentinels. Paano sila makakahinga lalo na what a move. What And what around? But at the also usual play, na ginawa ng ng loud na basa sentinels. Oh, but na lang na ako ay yung loud na five seven first half. That is so big. Lalo na ako nag switch tay ng sides. This might be favorable for them. Pero kayo na memorize na nilim post plante. Kaya kayo they dwelled on saving those smallies para lang matrap out nila ang mga mga miembro ng sentinels habang ini spray down nila while they are being vulnerable. Very very smart sa side ng loud. Pero too late lang for them to actually decipher that. But then, Sentinels, they win the pistol. Malaking bagay ito. But they gotta consider that they are gonna be on the defending side. Ang maganda lang dito is, syempre, meron tayong traps mula kay John Cutie. And John Cutie, pwede mo nang iwan yan kagad sa A. Or either sa A or sa B. So, that won't be a problem. Pero for Loud to actually lose those pistols, it might bring down yung moral na meron sila ngayon. Takes, ano? Lalo na, ang dami pa naman nilang utility. And doon pa lang kasi sa isang CC na laking bagay talaga with him as the initiator, with him to gather an info and create so much space para sa Sentinels nga na magkaroon pa ng mas magandang retake. Once more, sobrang reusable kasi ng mga utility sa so ibang chances lagi ang may bibigay niya once na makakuha siya ng info early in the round and then use his utilities on the latter stage para sa kanilang retake at yun ang kailangang asahan ng players ng loud and kahit pa paano naman nagwawagi sila at the time na lagi nilang nakukuha yung mga pickups kay CC so ibig sabihin lang nito it's a different chance showing up nga dito onto the second half So much uh, surprises pa, syempre. Pero ngayon, it's already 3.35 a.m. Ang dami pa rin nanonood sa atin ngayon. Good morning sa inyo, mga Sentinel fans. At alos yung mga nanonood. Pero ako, wala pa rin ako masabi. Di ko makita kung sino ba kagad ngayon yung pwedeng manalo. But if si Quick talaga ay magiging consistent, feel ko dito may hihirapan ng Sentinel. So they gotta break through. Through that the duelist na meron silang bago, that bright young man has so much potential. At uh, big shout out si sa mga nanonood ngayon na mula sa mismo ng uh, Madrid. Ay, Hello no? sa inyo. Kaya ay! Ay. Wow, pati yung Madrid nanonood sa PH Broadcast, no? <laughs> <laughs> Ganda ng sinabi nila yun. dito sa comments. So. Sabi nila, iba yan na saan na nila yung post plant doon sa B-side kanina kasi yun lang yung babatuhan ng Molly. At yun nga eh, binatuhan ng Molly, binatuhan pa ng... Alam mo yung vulnerability na may ibibigay pa ng snake bite, sobrang laking bagay nun dahil wallbang lang nila yung pwesto nga ng Sentinels kanina. At yun na, katapos na nakaga ng Sentinels from that round na pwede sana sila makakuha ng 8-4 scoreline. But this time, they still have a lead. Pero magiging problema kasi ito, lalo na at nalawa lang naman yung kailangang habulin ng players ang loud. Ang dami ito na itinipi in and outs coming in from tens para lang din makaligtas from any casualty. Kailangan nila ng numbers to win out the duels, paranoia, para makarecover. Pero hindi ito magiging enough of a recovery dahil si Quick ay mas mabilis pa kaysa sa kanya. Ha. Mas mabilis pa sa Quick. Pero ito na Quick. Daan, girls, it's so... 
Kapit na natin to! The attacking ng loud! This gotta be scary! You have lots of flashes! Meron ka pa kagad ngayon, Contos! Ano bang magagawa ng Sentinels at this point? Hindi wala! Pero syempre, baka sa real round pa yan. That's going to be in round 15. Just in case. Ganda na sana ang start. Sassy, pero hindi. Yung paranoia na yun, talagang, it was just really disturbing. All in all, and I'm proud to see that loud. Yung five points na yan, na naipodar nila, malaki na yan. At Sentinels, this is a big problem that they gotta face. Mm -hmm. Hirap na naman ito. Lala na they are forced down into their just classics. Pero hindi pa rin naman huli ang lahat. Just play for the retake altogether. Magiging possibility pa rin naman ito. Pero ito kasi yung kalakasan niya ng loud when it comes to their composition. They have Sadak to always check in every corner. Yes, meron ko yung mga pang blinds. Pero sobrang mas malaking advantage kasi ito kapag meron ka ng extra info kung ano ba yung whereabouts nga ng players sa Sentinel for their post plant or for their retake. So now, on the defense, on the retake, naku po, namin nila kailangan na namang itindihin dahil this is another Oof. viral nga coming from loud. Tapon lang si Zelsis, baka may mapita siya pero wala lahat. Sunod na lang din kagad, Kawanzin gets the second kill. John Cutie, take it off by quick. 7 is to 7. At tayo na tayo ngayon. The real round for Sentinels. Are they gonna make it? Or will it be just a break it? Kita mo, 2010 na kagad yung KDA ni Quick. And so far, it has been called for Zelsis. Lalong lalo na kay Zeken. <laughs> Gusto ko lang matawa ulit sa comments kasi binabasa ko recently. And good morning pala kay Miss Frances. <laughs> good morning po, Miss Frances. Happy birthday. Oh, wait lang ha. Ito yung reason ko bakit ako natatawa kasi may matinong nagtatanong kung live po ba to opo live po to wala lang po tulog talaga yung nasa comments at hindi siya sinagot ng matino alam mo kung anong sabi ng mga nasa comments bukas sabi? pa daw po yung live <laughs> loko loko ka talaga kayo loko loko talaga <laughs> parang comments natin eh pero uy wala naloko na kagad ang loud dalawa players kagad ang nawala sa mapa dahil doon sa pagkukumit nga ni Celsius earlier so at least a good showing para sa side ng Sentinels na baka sakali sila pa sa kanila pa rin yung lead let's see ha dahil this time kahit tatlo pa rin itong natitira from loud they are still a deadly bunch they have still the rifles pero ngayon baka maliligo naman pa kaagad sila ni John Cutie dahil wala naman silang ibang sentinel ngayon to try and check out or to have that denial counter flow nga ngayon ng pagpasok dito ng loud going into A site but then hindi pa rin kinaya ni Celsius there's still the recon mauhuli tuloy nila na malapit lang din kaagad si Sacy and Sacy with the wingman and a DC bibigay niya na nga kaagad ng lahat tutulungan pa win the use of the paranoia oh. coming from that side so now it's all up to less and twist pero this time twist naman dito makakabawi unfortunately mm -hmm. nandito na rin naman na tayo in a 1v3 scenario ko saan magastos na naman itong round para sa side of sentinels talagang uh... Kahit magasos pero para sa Sentinels, kailangan nila manalo na manalo. But no time already for less. It's either you save it or you just go for the kills. Hawak-hawak mo naman ay Vandal. At nagtatago na nga lang si Zeken against him. While buying time, less is just going for the kills. Pero wala. Wala siyang may kita at all. Sumisilip lang ng sumisilip. 7-8 is there. And finally, Sentinels winning their first round ever on the second half. Shows to us the potential din naman ng team na to as well. Unhappy ako para kay Zelsis ha. Buti na lang din kagad nakakuha siya ng kills kasi it has been very cold para sa kanya with his frags. Ganda na sana na sinimula ni Zelsis ano? pero wala eh. Hindi gumana din yung double pick sila all the way from elbow. Still a good round for loud though. Kaya naman ngayon it's only just a half armor is for sentinels. At least enough showing pa rin naman ng under ego kay papaano. They have enough buys but this time recon Kailangan lang balay ni Tens. Hindi siya malalaman kung saan siya nakapweso. Pero blind. Ito tuloy ang magigirisod ko. Bakit siya habulin? We have here the challenge set para makapagtago. Pero now, this is a good run it back to force players all the way from market. Makikipagpatitero lang at kay second. And second loses it. It's still a good run. It's a good start para sa side ng loud. Head start lang. Pero ito na. Sassy again with the trash. Nakakatromo yung trash niya. Naghanap ng isa pero walang lumabas. Goes with the smoke already. Si Tens lamang. Dito sa mga pangyayaring to. 
Pero nga lang, post-flat, ganito-ganito, pare-pareha sila ng mga stat. O, syempre, baka NA yan. Nilabas agad, kagad si Wingman ako na bahala, pero wala pa. Dahil nandiyan pa kagad yung Moly. Tinatapon lang lahat ngayon ng loud. But this is the chance, hindi pa rin kagad. Kinuha na lang muli kagad yung trash. Ayan na nga yung mga nadetay. Tinawag ko si Wingman, pero ay, 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 Lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo-lalo
Less. Wala na din kagad. Oh, Oras kahit nakuha pa siya ng killer whatsoever. And this round goes sa hands ng Sentinels. Si Zekin eh, no? Talagang it's cold for him. But I'm happy other guys were just doing well. Kung mm -hmm. hindi mainit si John Cutie together with the other guys, feel ko walang magagawa ang Sentinels. Feel ko matatalo sila. Pero buti na lang, oh. agad na ng step up nila sa isa't isa. Ito kasi talaga yung kinakatakot ng load dapat sa set nila sa eh. Yung retakes talaga eh. Ang laki talaga ng potential nila to win out the retakes. Pero that was such a cheeky angle pala. Para kay Quick to take on to second. And ang, bili ang bilis lang din na mapangyayari. It's just really goes to show the advantage ng Byron dito ng Sentinels. And again, just don't be scared. Para nga i-take down yung mga picks. They have uh, the advantage. They have the lead. So once more, ito lang din na naman ang pinangahawakan nga ng players ng Sentinels. Ang galing ng Sentinels. Those, those crucial rounds, they usually crumble sa mga ganyang oras. But this time, nope. They don't want to mess things up just like what they did earlier in Icebox. And they don't want to leave yung mga um, crumbs na pwedeng mapulot nitong Loud against them. Pero Loud, they just also need to memorize something. The main problem is this. Yung surprise ng KO na yan, hindi nila ma-execute. Pag kumuha yung knife ni Celsius ng surprise, Hindi matatapon ni Kawanzin together with Sadak yung utilities, especially for Quick as well. Yung mga instant flashes na yan, yan yung nagpapanalo on the first half. Pero dito sa second half, kung saan nasa attacking sila, hindi nila makita. Kasi lineup ni Tens, hindi mo ba ikita ko saan pupunta yung zero degree na yan eh. Yeah. Ang hirap pa kasi dito, again, laging... May ultimate kasi si Sacy na pwede niya nga gamitin, na pwede niya ma-overwhelm dito yung players and loud. Na hindi sila pwede mag-stay put and just one side ng isang side. So kapag nag-post put na ka sila, they have to be scattered all over or take their chances para makapag-push ng boundaries. Pero ang laking risk pa nun, mabigyan forward onto this route. Pero this time, dizzy, no info. Not just yet, maaga pa masyado. Pero itong mid-take kasi ay medyo may pagka-vulnerable ha. Dahil meron tayong camera kasi sa mga kamay nga na Sentinels. And once more, ito yung kasi wala sa loud eh. Wala silang Sentinel na ano, na pwedeng makapag-take ng mga anti-flanks. Kaya there are times na pwede silang maging likoda, malikodan. Hala ka. Hala ka. Ano nangyayari? <laughs> Nag-explain pa si Annie Gliss, bakit no, kami pinapangunahan? Ha? Pala desisyon kayo. <laughs> Asya ka nakakatawa dito. Yung molly, <laughs> ay yung paint shell. Cherry. Cherry. Yeah, Dalaway. Ay. Ay. 30 seconds Panalo left. na naging bato pa. Pero okay, good job. Clap, clap for um, Zek and it's sacrificing that. Because of that, kasi pwede na siyang showstopper na pang post plot or pang aggression. Pero syempre, let's not forget, Sadak has that Hunter's Fury. Dapat hindi sila magbigay ng information para dyan. Kaso nga lang, ang post plot na to, pangahawakan na lang yun. Si Sadak pa kagad yung natira. Yun nga eh. Showstopper and the From the Shadows can get info. Ayun na nga ang gagawin na nga mismo ni Kuya mo. Still have the smoke. Yun pa, makakapanalo na doon. Wala kay Quick. And this is a good opening. Go signal already para gamitin na itong showstopper. Pero walang nagpapakita. We even have here the Hunter's Fury na magagaling na nga from a distance. Hindi pa nila matukoy kung saan ba nagagaling na nga yung pwesto angulo ni Tuis. Ngayon na alam na nila dahil nabit out na nga nila with their defuse. They're sticking into it. Kaya alam na nila malayo pa si Kuya mo sana. And now, hindi na makita kung sino yung nag-defuse a second. Ang nagpakita, nagpakilala with a triple kill. 37.37 pa ang natira on the timer. Para nga ma-defuse pa yung spike. Grabe ka, Zeken. Hindi ka ganun ka-pop off. Pero the important round, kung saan wala nang tira ang loud right after, ikaw pa ang panalo. Talagang laki ng tiwala mo sa teammates mo. Pero para kay Sadak, hindi niya nakalculate ang maayos yung oras dahil may point thirty seven pa sila. At uh, mainit ang Sentinels. Nice bracelet tens. Alam ko yan yung bigay ni Kaide. Wala lang. Konting glimpse lang nito. At the top match point na sa side ng uh, Sentinels aray, if they aray. win this. <laughs> okay. excited. Sabi sa'yo eh, may mga times na talaga, may time talaga na nangyari na to before pa in their kick-off na retake ang mas makakapanalo nga sa Sentinels on the second half na yun na nga ang nilolobos-lobos nila at hindi tuloy matukoy ng loud saan na nga dapat sila papunta. Still, 
Sabi nga natin, deadly pa rin naman itong thrifty round na meron sila ngayon. We have just the stingers, sheriffs naman sa mga kamay nila Les and Suiz. Pero it can be still deadly kapag tama at maganda yung angulo na yan. Huli ka, Balbon! Dalawa ngayon ang mahuhuli na nga sa kagilid-gilidan na yun. Kaya naman inulan na kaagad ng mga molis, inulan na kaagad ng kanilang mga shock darts. Pero ngayon, nahuli na kaagad si John Cuticus. At siya magagalit dahil all the way from market. Hello, my friends, indeed. Ang sabi na nga nila, Kwanzen, tatlo na lang kaagad na natitira sa kabila. At ito na yung pag... Ay, 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 ay naku po, ang daming ano yun, sentinels, ano yun? excuse me. Match point na yun, mga beshi bap, inaantok na ba kayo? Dito nga, gising na gising pa rin kami, magpa 4am na. Kayo inaantok pa din? Anyway, dahil lang to sa mga miyembro ng sentinels na hindi ko mag-get sa inay nilang magpaka-aggressive na dapat, hindi naman talaga. At uh, yan talagang mahirap eh. Pag ladang kasama mo, they were just, uh, they just outsmarted Sentinel. Sige mo, nag-i-explain lang pa sila. Tapos sabi niya, no, no, no daw. When it's going up against loud. But, I think, pero mga Sentinel, two rounds pa naman eh. Oo. Oh, oh. May two rounds pa rin naman silang leading. Pero I think they almost forgot the fact na meron nga ditong Sova ang players ng loud. So, ibig sabihin nito, it's easy for them to check in the corners. Easy for them to try and dominate in those corners. At wala tuloy na gawa yung dalawang naghihintay lang doon sa gilid na yun. And again, ganda rin naman ang ginawa nga ng players from loud that they separated or split push here on B dahil may nanggaling ng market, may, may napatid man gamit nga ng kanyang tripwar. At least, nahuli niya pa rin. Nakuha niya pa rin yung mga kills at yun lang ang kakailangan mo kapag hindi mo mapanalo head head to head ng duels cash them off card para mas makuha mo yung numbers advantage so again what a really really commendable round para sa side ng love yung loud di nila hinayaang mag match point ang sentinels they were very tactical they were very smart on those things but then again Sentinel still has that null command. Baganda to, once they want to take on that retake, pero syempre, they need to be careful. Ganto yung scenario ng Icebox. Nahabol sila ng loud. At dapat ngayon sa sunset, hindi nila papabayaan yung mga reckless moves na yan. May nasurpress na isa that's going to be Sadak. Buti na lang si Sadak pa para hindi sila makakuha ng information when he initiates it. And they are just out of track ngayon sa side ng mga taga-loud. At least may kaya, kaya pa paano ng pera pa, iko pa yung sentinels, ano? At least makakamake doon na rin naman na sila moving on forward for this round. Pero kailangan na nila ma-figure out kung saan na nga ba talaga papunta ngayon ng players ng Sentinels. Wall bangable spot, mauhuli ngayon si Sacy, backing away players ngayon ng loud. Pero ang bilis, ng... we were just thinking about that trash. Pero nag-pick pala si second, kaya ngayon minus one na kaagad sa Sentinels ngayon. Ang bilis, si diba? Zeke na naman. Si Zeke na naman, siya din yung nang, naunang na-pick off ng loud last time nung nasa icebox tayo. Two rounds na yun eh. Pero it tends to overheat and dapat hindi. Siya nga nagsabi, kalmado dapat si Sacy, mahuli na din kagad at the same time. Location has been revealed. And ito pa, low on HP but good thing na lang to call for that null command. There's just the wall bank. Alam na din kagad ni Sassy saan ang isa na Labas na rin ng, ng these yet good thing pretends to actually take down less ngayon then They are just very careful right now. But who is it? Didn't expect that Sassy gets the information because of Winman's help. Ooh. At nakapangalawa pa! Pinabangan nila si Quick pero kailangan nila hanapin. At isa na lang kagad na titira. That's gonna be two ways. At ako ang layo pa niya. Pwede pa ito ha, pre-fire pa. Kahit pa paano nga, unahin niya na nga ma-pre-fire. Itong nag-de-refuse pero hindi pa rin ang abot yung mga bala niya. No! Oh. That should have been it! Papapatay niya pa rin ang tuluyan ng Sentinels. But then again, still a really unfortunate round dahil ang mas malaking pressure na ito, Ray, dahil nandito na tayo sa match point ng Sentinels. That round, HJ, could have been clean. And yet, si Sassy na iwasan pa nila kagad. Pinayoritay sila mag-plant. And si Tenz, sabi niya, hindi, magtitiwala ako. Malayo yung angle sa akin. Hindi siya saktok-sakto. I have the max HP. And isa na lang, Sentinels will be the ones facing against Jen Jet Loud naman sa PRX para bukas. Ay, naku.
Neural Tepa, deadly nito sa mga kamay nga ni John Cutie. Who knows how to take care of the info na makukuha niya with his Neural Tef. Pero nagbabaka sakali pa rin. A-side pa rin ba ito para sa side na ng loud? Continuously, ito yung lagi nilang tinitake. And I wonder how, I wonder why, na mga pasok na nga sila ulit dito. Yun na lang pala. Kailangan nilang umpisahan with just a first skill. Second, trying to go in with another. Pero at least we have here Daisy para makapag-reposition nga si Daisy. Hunter's Fury to make an opening. But then again, si second, pumilit pa kaagad na makakuha ng pick. John Cutie to take down that. Run it back. Ultimate coming in from Quitty. But this time, this is a good opportunity for Sisi. Para nga manumbalik agad with another highlight. Pero problema, there's just the blind. It's all up to one. John Cutie with just 3 HP left. Ang problema nito ay napakadami pang natitira players from Loud. Ang dami pa si John Cutie pa natira. Pero they gotta make it work. Pero habang hot na nga kagad ang Loud... This is just a 12-10 na sayang opportunity, na sayang yung oras na kinuk ng Sentinels. But what's more important right now is at least John Cutie has that neural theft next round. He gets one pick off, then alam na kagad saan manggagaling ang mga miyembro ng Loud. At ito pa, maganda na dito pag mag-re-retake na sila. So he's just hiding. Hinahanap siya ngayon ng mga miyembro ng mga taga-Loud. 3 HP, pwede siyang mawal pa. Kailangan niya mag-iingat. Huwag mo na pa kailangan! Ay! Yan lang. At least, minus one. Pero minus one na yan. Pwede na naman na matugunan ng iba pang mga players na natitira. Pero buti na lang din at least salita niya yung mga rounds. So walang continuous winning eco nga itong players nga nung loud. So with that being said, ang kailangan na lang natin isipin dito is yung mga defense positionings kasi ng players sa Sentinels na natugunan ka agad. Time and time again, nahuli nila si Sacy. Si Sacy tinuloy pa rin yung pick. And it was a now or never kind of situation. Pero at least... And this round alone, kailangan nila mag-save, kailangan nila mag-eco para meron silang isa pang round na pwede nga ipanalo. Isa na lang, wala pang pera tong Sentinels. Pero buti na lang di sila nag-buy. Very smart naman sila doon. Pero aabot na naman ba tayo sa overtime? Yes or no? Ako lang nag-cast pa naging ganito na lahat. Pero ngayon, loud, good post plan. Pag tinap yan, Matic, mag ano lang talaga sila dito, Rolling Thunder. Di pa nga nalang ginagamit as of now. Yung Viper Spit na yan. Quit! We'll just be gambling once again on those pickups. Not gonna work at least. And it's just been really relaxing for a second to do that. And may kasama na nga din tayong Viper Spit. Pero abang yan ay nangyayari. That's a diffuse. Lahat na kagad ng mga miyembro ng Lauti na tapon yung utility sila. But time is ticking. That boost coming from Tenza. Bantayan na nga ng maayos. Pero Sassy still tries it. But not gonna work. Everyone is just going down. John Cutie na lang. Save mo na lang yan, Beshi. Pero wala. Tatakbo na lang kagod siya. Sasama na lang siya sa pag-detonate. Konting bawas, konting pitas. And it's a 12-11. Napakadikit ngayon ang laban, Honey Glade. May nagtanong, pag nanalo ang Sentinels, twice to beat na ba sila in the upper bracket? Ay, ano ba meaning pag twice to beat? Pag upper bracket kasi, semifinals na kaagad yung Sentinels. So, ibig sabihin, either makalaban nila ang maka, ah, makakalaban, or rather, yung Jeji ang makakalaban either itong Loud or Sentinels. Yun lang yun, iba ba? Tapos, oh. waiting na sila sa Grand Finals. Ganun. Walang toys to beat, guys. May lower bracket naman oh, sa oh, lower bracket na. Hmm. Eh, comment, Rary, ba't walang hugot? Hinihintay ko eh. Inaalaga na ako ng tama, ba't ako hugot? Ang hirap-hirap kaya humugot pag minamahal ka ng tama. Yun. <laughs> Yun. <laughs> Ay, mga marites kayo ba? Pero ito, ito ba talaga, Maniglis? Parang congrats sa'yo. Kung ito mag ot pangalawang OT na to. Oo oh, nga eh. Kaya na naman sa malam. May bukas pa tayo. <laughs> Pero alam mo, understandable din kung bakit sila nagkakaroon ng ganitong klaseng plays. Ano na pwede sila magkaroon ng overtimes dahil, again, as we mentioned, maganda yung round or maganda yung game kanina in split. Akala nga natin na pwede maging 2-0. But then, 
Nabasa din, unti-unting nalaman na decipher ng players on loud ano bang ginagawa ng Sentinels para magkaroon lagi ng plan B. Yun lang pala yun. We have someone to gather in the flanks. We have someone to gather in the first skills. Nakakayanin na lang i-execute. Time and time again laban sa Sentinels. Kaya naman ngayon, they're just overwhelming in the potential of them to use their utilities dahil tingnan mo naman din yung kailangan lang nilang gawin. Just pure contacts. We have those flashes, we have those fault lines na kailangan lang gawin dito ni Quick is just ready with the curveball para nga makabawi ng mga duels. Surprise! Okay, may isa silang nakita. That's a sign. Hindi na naman magagawa ni Quick yung quick nga na approach towards A side. That's why they're gonna be dismantling that plan. Instead, they wanna take mid. Daladala kagad ni Sadak ngayon yan. Nakasilip lang din kagad si John Cutie if there's anything. But this Kawan's in, um, if mag-rolling tower or if magkakontkas man siya, kahit anong plano, wala siyang makukuha. Dahil wala din sila nakuwang info, nakatago lang settle they are just playing for retake. And I love the discipline coming from them. Pero sana hindi mapita si Tens. If napita si Tens, this might be an overtime. Mm -hmm. Yan na silang ibang sponsor eh. Yan na nga, buti na lang nakakuha siya kaagad ng isa. Mauhuli lang kaagad ng Rolling Thunder. At least, he was able to back it up with a 4v4. The smokes are already there, pero unti-unti pang nagde-delay ng time dito ang Lao to plant the spike. Ang dami pa, pero unti nga na lang naman dito, pero wala na si Les, pero kapalit naman nun ay wala na si Tenz. John Cutie, he needs to get just one corpse around eh, pero nalabanan sila ngayon with what quick has, pero binawian lang siya ng flashes as well. Now, good flash. May mapipitas ba? Wala. Wallbang isn't gonna work. Pero to, si to is on this long angle. And this operator is just gonna be punishing set. And as time is ticking, wala na ata silang oras para magawa pa na paraan na mga gusto nila mga paraan. Dahil ngayon, malaking panalo na to sa loud. Dahil nakatutok na sa kanila isa-isa. The only of Zels is not gonna be possible. Second overtime for the series. 12-12. 12-12 dahil ang ganda ng ginawa na nga ng loud all together going inside of the side. Punishing intense dito sa pwesto niya ng ito. At hindi sila nagdalo. Isip gamitin ka agad yung Rolling Thunder after nga nila mabawasan ng isa. And again, nung nawala nga si Ten, sabi mo nga it can be a losable round para sa side ng Sentinels dahil hindi nila na-smoke in. Itong mga angles na pwede sila ma-choke na pwede pa silang mag- galing sana nga dito with the retake all the way from stairs but they were completely countered out ng loud so again best chance sila dito is going on to this attack na may panalo na lulet and again makuha nila yung match point pero how will they be figuring this out dahil again kalaban na, lang, kalaban na naman nila dito is the initiators from loud talaga eh yung uh, concast na yan ikaw and Zid, yung mga flashes ang dami eh Compared kasi sa kay, kay Gecko, mas iba pa rin kapag sa breach together with that Phoenix. It's just gonna be punishing. Tapos parati nilang kinokontest itong A-side pagdating kung saan nakapwesto sila tense. Kung saan, alam na kagad ng allowed, saan nila ipipinpoint tong Sentinels. Eh. So they just really need to get that good stretch. But then... Si Sadak, walang may kita sa mid. Tahimik lang sila. At ito, kung na-pinpoint nila si Les, kung na-pinpoint nila yung dalawa sa B-side, that would be a big win. And Tens right now, hindi sila mag-market. Instead, they are gonna be going dito lamang sa may top side At buti lang naiwasan nila si Kawanzin. Wala muna, back up, back up na. Pero 46 seconds na lang. Paano kasi, ang kanilang plano lang is just... Wait out ko sino yung magiging impatient laban na sa loud na nabibili bait out nila. We had the warning shot earlier at yung nga din yung kailangan nilang gawin para nga may palabas nga yung loud. Pero hindi. They held on to their ground. So ibig sabihin lang nito, this is a good opportunity already. Dahil nandito na nga ngayon kaagad si Natui is waiting out for a really creepy of an angle. Easy of an angle for him to take. Pero nandito rin naman yung one-way smoke coming in from stands. So now, a good opportunity to plant in the spike. Pero sayang dahil nahuli pa kaagad ng aftershock. Let's go against stands. And this time, there's 8 seconds remaining. Para nga lang din, sana may plant in the spike. Pero oh. naprotecta pa rin naman ni Celsius na maigi itong planter. Now, Toys, trying to bait out that TP. Oh. John Cutie with a kill. We have your Toys. May ipit lang din doon sa ating corner. Kaya naman ngayon, dalawa na lang kaagad na natitira. Make it one. Sadak na lang 
ang mananaig sa loob nga ng site mismo. Pero problema, hindi niya malalaman kung sino na nga ba yung pwede pa manlikod na nga sa kanya. Going in with a half defuse. Makikipaglaro for time. Sana hindi mapatay dito si Judge Cutie. Parang nga, nandito na ngayon. No! Second for another and a bait and switch in favor of Sentinel side. Match point already para sa kanilang mga kamay. Match point. This is it. Ang gante ng ape. Kung kanina ang nakabawi ay ang loud. Hindi na papabaya ng Sentinels. Good thing para kay Zell. So stop makaigi nung wall bang na yun. Or else that would have been um, a round where loud can actually get this. Pero para kay Sadak, ganda na na. Half HP pair yung the rotation ng Sentinels. Instead of combining themselves together, mas okay na yung ganun na pwesto. They gonna be pinching Sadak instead. They respected the 2v1 and that's good. Pero the def defense ngayon ng Sentinels, kanina nakabawi sila, they're able to make that into like a two-round difference, a 9-11. Pero nag-slip sa hands nila because they just can't dictate the pace kung saan si Quick magagaling. Quick was just very consistent. Pero this time around, no more mistakes for that. Gusto pa rin contest ni Tenz, yes. Pero that heavy setup towards C uh, b side, ito yung maganda. Para kahit mapita si Tenz, at least merong valuable pa na apat na matitira mula sa side ngayon ng Sentinels. This time, it's just a slow facing na naman ngayon for loud. Ang tanging binabantayan ko na lang na, na naman dito is makakapatay na naman ba si Tenz, mahuhuli na naman ba siya ng fault line. And let's hope for the best na yung magiging first skill niya is going to be Kowanzen. Pero ngayon kasi sa nakikita natin, nagpa-farm lang muna lang ang orb. Which is the usual thing to do kapag ikaw ay isang phoenix sa loob nga ng sunset na may dalawang orb na pwede nga kuhanin in every site na pwede mong araruhin bigla-bigla itong site oh, para makapasok. God. But then, nahuli na lang kaagad sa mga itong si Sadak was trying to be just a one of the pincer tactics sana dito ng loud para mapatay nga ang momentum ng Sentinels. But then again, Zekken with another kill. And Zekken with a pincer with a sandwich play. That is going to be it. Two players left alive. May iwa pa sila. Going into B-side. Trying to plant in the spike. Then 11 seconds na lang na dito na. Connected. And connected na sa kanila yung paranoia. Sentinels will be going in up against Gen G. Tomorrow na lang din yan ang auto hour semifinals. But that was such a great showing. Para na nga sa kanila on this series. That was lovely. That is peak Sentinel move. They gave that to Zekken. And Zekken gave that approach really quick. Pero masyadong in-overthink ng loud. Yung mga scenarios na yun. Na dapat they could have just went and barged themselves into a... But then they got too overwhelmed with number one, they say, see it together with K10 as well. So instead, inisip nila, they are stacking around in A. Tas to move sila sa B. Kung saan nasa si John QT, nasa B sa at napakadali na lang para pigilan dahil nagrotita din sila kagad as well. But good thing, despite that heartbreaking ice box, despite that being clean 2 to 0 na sana, hindi pinayagan ng Sentinels yon. They really wanted that sunset map. And I'm happy that this Sentinels. They were able to defeat the ones that has always been a big problem for them, which is atong mga tagalawad. At bili niya na Sentinel Battle. Ganda rin kasi talaga every time ng showing ng loud ano. Kaya naman, again, kanina sobrang convincing pa ng win nila earlier in Icebox. It was so, so good na to the point na nalaman nila or parang may chance talagang hindi makakambak ang players sa Sentinels going back into Sunset. But then again, nung nalaman natin that Sunset was going to be the third map, it can be one of the biggest disadvantage nga ng Lauda no dahil yun nga, una sa lahat, natalo sila way back then ng Grand Finals all the way from, ano, from kick-off pa ng Americas. And uh, ibig sabihin lang nito, alam na kaagad ng Sentinels kung ano ba yung templa time and time again. Kaya naman, we see a lot of confidence and ego picks coming in from Tens. We see a lot of backline support sa so meron nga dito coming in from Celsius and John QT altogether. Pero kung babalikan natin yung item highlights, it's always the time na meron tayong opportunity nga para kay Sacy na magamit niya ng gusto yung kanyang mga utilities. And kung hindi niya magawa yung mga first skills na kaya niyang gawin laban sa loud, he can just use in the utilities as well. And yung, yung, yung clutch na yun ang pinaka-importante para magkaroon pa ng mas magandang half dito yung Sentinels. At ito pa, yung 5-7 ang ganda na ng start eh. Promising for the side of Loud. But then, the off angles talaga. The fact that Tenz has always been fighting those 
quirky angles. And aside from that, agad din kagad ng information from Sassy as well. Lahat ay namend nila ng napakaayos. And I'm happy na this is just a good best of three. Ang dikit na dikit yung mga laban natin. Pero tapos na, our bracket is here. The fight of the century will be Sentinels together with Paper X. The best of the best. Well, I rather, it's going to be Loud versus Paper X and Genji versus Sentinels. Medyo mainit-init yan dahil Loud versus Press W. At uh, isang uh, containment ng isang katulad ng Sentinels versus Genji, the crackers. So, talagang dami excited matches pa tomorrow pero finally na conclude na natin ang series ngayong araw definitely and kung totoo sen mabilis man yun nangyari na nga in the first series mahaba naman nating nakita yung mga highlights coming in from both of our teams kung bakit sila yung naging top 4 na pumasok na nga into the playoffs sobrang deserve nila itong mga slots na ito and nakita naman natin kung ano yung naging stretch out nila to try and win out the rounds na kailangan na nga nila. but then again no nakita nga natin we had paper wrecks na parang Hindi nila ito yung araw ngayon, no? Hanapin natin niya sa mga susunod pang araw nila kung sakaling kakayanin na nga nila bumawi at lalo pa kalaban nga nila yung loud. Talagang uh, mahirap na mahirap to para sa Paper X. But let's see for our Pacific team. Sana makakita tayo going into the Grand Finals. But right now, tapos na kakagad ang aming uh, araw ngayon para kay sa akin na si Ray Ray together with Honey Gleams. Thank you so much sa mga manonon at kita-kits bukas syempre sa next nating uh, araw. Dito lamang sa VCT Masters Madrid as we're gonna be show showing it already to the interview. Volver a ganar este rematch y que ha cambiado desde la final de Américas hasta ahora eh, para seguir avanzando y mejorando y viendo la evolución que está teniendo Sentinels. So, Asi, I want to ask you here, uh, this is the rematch for Américas, the Grand Finals, and you still get the win once again. Uh, tell me a little bit about the evolution, the process that has been since that Grand Final to now guaranteeing that top three for Masters. I'll be honest, this win is all about my coaches. They did a perfect job uh, on adapting, especially on split. And even the Loud didn't play split this tournament, they did an incredible job about like predicting them. So yeah, I feel like this match is for my coaches, for sure. Dice que todo el crédito se va hacia los coaches que trabajaban bastante duro en eh, entenderlos, en incluso las cosas que no se sabían, las cosas que no eran reveladas por el lado del lado de poder eh, sacar esa información y ganarlo, así que es todo el crédito para ellos. Hablando de ese split, yo quiero preguntarle más que nada, eh, primero, ¿cómo tiene un split tan bueno? Y segundo, eh, ¿por qué los equipos lo siguen dejando abierto? I, I, just, I know you mentioned split, and I have to ask, how is your split so good? And also, why are teams still leaving it open? I mean, yeah, we knew that Loud has their ban on Lotus, so we were already expecting to split. This veto was like pretty obvious, to be honest. Yeah. So, I don't know, for me, it's John. John is like the big deal on split. He always, he always has like good reads, and every player is like comfortable playing each role. So, yeah, our split is like a comfortable map for us. Dice que la decisión de mapas o la decisión de que iban a jugar a split ya se sabía porque se conocían muy bien el permaban de lo que era el, eh, el Lotus de Loud. Eh, pero que aún así también el, el crédito se va para el lado de Jim Curie que, que conoce muy bien el mapa, que trabaja con él alrededor de eso y con eso consiguen la victoria del mapa una y otra vez. Ahora para mi última pregunta, escuchábamos un poco más temprano a Munchkin que decía que se quería enfrentar en contra de lo que es la escuadra de Sentinels. Y ahora se va a hacer realidad, se hace posible en esa semifinal del Upper Bracket Hey, how does it feel to Genji? Munchkin early, sir, he, early said he really wanted to face you guys. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, it's not the Grand Finals yet, but you, that match will guarantee the Grand Finals spot. So how are you feeling for the match against Genji? I feel the same way as Munchkin. We are pretty excited like to face Genji, honestly. And I've faced Munchkin before in Crazy Work Homes, and I know that he's in a better team right now. So yeah, we'll see who gets better. I like that, I like that. Nos dice que eh, piensa igual que Munchkin que también está muy emocionado por lo que va a hacer esa partida en contra de Genji, que ya se ha enfrentado él en contra de Munchkin antes, pero que ahora lo ve que está en un mejor equipo, así que vamos a ver qué es lo que va a pasar. Esto es todo lo que tenga la entrevista, Sassy. Thank you so much. And I want to hear it once again for Sassy. That's amazing. Massive congratulations to Sentinels. We go from one legend to another. Sassy over here to Zelsus. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we'll have you, we'll, we'll let you have a couple of moments. Yeah. Everyone buy the Sentinels bundle. Thank you. Okay, I'm done. Did you buy the Sentinels bundle? Uh, like I said, I'm going to buy the event winners. Oh, bundle. this event? Yeah, which he's already saying is them. So. Yeah, it's, me already, too. it's already us. Yeah. It's already us. Listen, people said they'd buy if we made playoffs. People said they'd buy if we made Madrid. We've I haven't done it extended all. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, always yeah. been the event winners, so.
All right, whoever wins champs, you know, I'll buy, I'll buy <laughs> okay. the money. Don't roll that again <laughs> now. Whoever wins uh, champs. But yeah, congratulations, uh, Zelsis. Uh, I could see from your emotion when you guys eventually won that map. It was kind of, it felt like elation and also just, just a lot of energy. Uh, two overtimes. How was that? Was that, was that tough out there? It was kind of stressful, yeah. Um, obviously, we threw or I think we threw Icebox, so going third map, I mean, it's called Sunset for a reason, but it was kind of stressful. Like, when we won, it was like a relief. It was like, oh my gosh. So um, I'm just happy we won, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I found it really interesting earlier. Kaplan was saying there was a couple of timeouts that come through to kind of like, I guess, reset the vibes, get the energy back on track. Today was really the first time we've seen like a few, I guess, player reacts where there, there's a little bit of frustration as to the plan not being executed. I think it was round three on Icebox uh, when Zekin was calling for everybody to kind of chill on the mollies a little bit. That was really interesting because I think it's the first time that we've probably seen that sort of reaction. How was it through Icebox if you feel like it was kind of a throw? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't really say it's the map itself. I would say it's kind of like how we're going into these matches. Like we're kind of now in like crunch time where it's like, all right, if we make a mistake, like we're calling it out. Like we're just nipping it right yeah. there and then, which is the frustrations are like, you know, us saying it so like eager, like you heard Zekin on the round three. Like we just want to make sure we don't keep making the same mistakes. So us as a team have talked and we're like, all right, if we make a mistake, someone call it out. And like, we just, we talk or like, and it's a match. So call it out, we move, we fix. And then we just, you know, keep communicating. That's like the biggest thing for us. Yeah, uh, let's talk uh, about Sassy real quick because uh, I swear that he just turns up in every big round. <laughs> every yeah. single pivotal round that we've ever had in this series today, he's at the scene of the crime. We have a, a quick round to show you, I think, from Sunset. Uh, this 1v3, what was going through your mind? Um, I, I figured he was going to win this. And Amin, John, even said he was going to win this as well. Like, Gustavo's so clutch in these situations. He's just so calm, as you can see. Like, I mean, he's a champion for a reason, right? So, like, this is just easy for him. It's just light work. And he's very comfortable on Sunset, so I'm happy I have him on my team. So yeah. no backseating whatsoever whilst that was going down, no? Uh, I mean, we're just little things like bullets. Like, w if we hear their footsteps and he's, like, dialed in on their crosser, you know, when someone's in a clutch. But, I mean, he handles himself pretty well. So Yeah, this was played to perfection, yeah. The crowd is like... I, mean, I know uh, Josh and Bren were talking about it. It was kind of weird to hear the crowd go against <laughs> Sassy. They were like chanting all the all the Brazilian chants at him. Oh really? Yeah. yeah it yeah. was a bit. It was. It didn't feel like. It felt kind of weird. Like a different kind was, of yeah, timeline we were in. Yeah, uh, he's kind of a traitor. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a traitor. I mean, you know, I'm glad to have him, but it's like it's like having him against his own team type type thing. They're but, lost, you know. right? Yeah, they're yeah, lost. they're lost. Yeah. yeah. I mean, speaking of traitors, uh. You, uh me and Hypog, we're both from EMEA. I, I've heard uh, some very choice words from you, uh, Zell. Says EMEA zero team region. Zero, What's zero up? team region. I mean, yeah? I mean, you know, Fnatic not coming here is kind of a big deal. I mean, they ran the same strats as last year, so maybe they can fix that. But um, no, nah, all, all seriousness, like, I mean, EMEA is really good. Like, the fact that, like, they had two, like, really young rookie teams come here and, like, show out like they did, like, it could have went either way. But yeah, zero team region, EMEA. He's not wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's actually no, just not wrong. One of the situations yeah. where we should just keep pretty quiet, to be honest. Yeah. But out this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so too. <laughs> um, do you know who we should talk about though? The IGL of all IGLs. Uh, the fragging IGL. Uh, John today. I know you've always been really impressed with him uh, as well. Mike, what did you think of? Uh, I mean, today, one of the ones I want to ask back about was the um, the post plan on Split. Like, I think probably one of the cleanest clutches we've seen at this event so far. I'm not sure if you remember the, the plan on B site. The 1v2, John QT, yeah, yeah, back yeah. down into main. Just I think we have this round, by the way. I let, I let, let's just bring it up so we could uh, show If we could roll it, yeah, I'd love to yeah. know what was going on in, on the comms during this. Oh, different one. Oh, he no. has too oh. many. He has too many yeah, clutches. He couldn't pick him. Yeah, too pick. many clutches. He's just too good. Look at him. Oh, that's no, my idea. You stole his ace. Did I? Yes, you stole his ace. As I should. As <laughs> I should. So, yeah. You didn't realize he was on for an ace? Uh-uh. I, I want to win the round. I, I don't care. I've stolen his ace twice now. But oh, the one on split, the ace pistol in uh, Africa, and then... Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah. two out of two. Yeah. I mean, Mike, as an IGL, uh, coming from John especially, uh, how do you think, I mean, I'm going to ask both of you this question because it does feel like fragging IGL meta coming into this tournament. I was it's really, gone. yeah, but but is it back now? Uh, is it back no, now? wait, what were, you, what were you about to say? I was going to say, no, 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 definitely the IGL now? not fragging meta is surely gone because I think John Keith oh, okay, okay, is yeah. definitely John's example. changing. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, as well, there's maybe an extension to that question. All, all five of you seem to be able to deliver in individual scenarios. Is there ever, you know, situations where somebody's really stepping up and kind of chomping at the bit to be that person to make the standout play, or is it kind of just a respect amongst all of you? Uh, Like play, right? Not calls? 
No, but, but, well, uh, both, well to be, both to be honest. Amin is like, he's like our early round caller always. Like he like says what we do early yep. unless someone has like a really clear cut idea. Like they're saying something on the map or something, but he really calls like the early round and like he gets final say. And I think we all respect that. But everyone kind of like chips in here and there mid round. Like they do a lot of uh, their own calling and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, he, I would say he's definitely one of the best IGLs I've played with. Like individually calling wise, everything. Like he's very calm. He puts in a lot of work, a lot of time. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with him. His aim is crisp. Yeah, yeah really, I mean, really he's looking crisp. absolutely insane this event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, something absolutely insane, you told us about buying the Sentinels bundle. You've been pushing this out there. Uh, but I kind of wanted to base this off of the actual classic. Does the skin give you the buff? Because if you take yes, a look it. at this leaderboard, uh, I'm sorry to report to you, Zelsis, when it comes to classic skills at this event, no. uh, you're not number one. Those no. are rookie numbers, man. Yeah. Those are rookie on. numbers. You've got I, to I was number one kickoff, and look, like, PRX is about to be eliminated. <laughs> so... 14 is all he gets, right? Yeah, so 14, he's going to be stuck <laughs> at that. And I'm going to win the event, so I'm going all the way. Oh, wow. Do we then combine you and 10? Is that how it works? Or that is it? how it works, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's that not like if works. you get number one, we buy it. No, I have to I be I don't know about one. that one. I have to be number one. Yeah. I'm, I'm the... I'm the send bundle guy. <laughs> I'm the send bundle guy. We have to be number you one. You gotta stack that commission. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stop buying ghosts and stuff, you know, just rock the uh, rock, rock Always the classic. Pistol. Always rock the classic. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of the next matchup, because uh I, if it sounds like you think Loud are gonna be Paper X, is that correct? I do think Loud will be Paper X, yeah. I think Paper X are still kind of like they I respect them because they stick to their play style, like they do their thing, but I think it only gets you so far. And I think like Moniet's doing great. Great player, I'm sure great guy, whatever, but I think they're missing Jing for sure. Um, uh, yeah, and just to add on to that, I think the hot topic we, we've, we've certainly seen the last, particularly the last week or so, is kind of, you know, what's the next step? What's the next kind of identity change for Paper X? Do you think that is enough of it? Because previously they've always just fallen back on when they can frag and they go forward, kind of like death ball in sort of yeah. gameplay, they can succeed in international events. Do you think it's different this time around? Do you think there's, I don't want to say that much of a drop off, but do you think there is that much of a gap in terms of the paperworks we're seeing here in Madrid? I think they could definitely clean up. Like, I like how they play. I think it's very valorant -y. I think it's very good. They're very skilled players, but I think they could have someone like, be like, all right, guys, we have the advantage. Let's maybe wait a little bit instead of like, all right, we have the advantage. I'm going to go peek three people because I want to. It's like, I think they could definitely play a little smarter. Um, but it only time will tell if they either make a change or yeah. want to change how they play because they're all based off all vibes, right? So yeah. it'll only see if like they do it. Let's talk about your next match because uh, last year it felt like all you did was play against Pacific teams when you came to uh, a lock in. You know, you faced Paper X and DRX, yeah. uh, I, I believe. Uh, now you got to go against Gen G, and I heard that you were really looking forward to uh, meeting Texture. You said a lot of nice things about how he's performing well. Uh, how do you think he's gonna do? And also, how do you think he's gonna do up against Zekin? I'm a big Texture fan. I watched them play like their uh, tournament kickoff qualifiers or whatever, and I'm a big Texture fan. Um, I think that whole team is really good. Um, but I mean, these are the big leagues, and they're all rookies here. So I mean, I mean, like second, you know, he's. I mean, Texture. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. Um, <laughs> like, Texture's really good. He's really good. Um, I think it'll come down to like prep and like you know team play which i think both of us have like really good team play really good prep um so i think it'll be a really close series yeah. okay i guess the follow-up to this head-to-head -head would be the karen versus tens discussion Ooh. give me some insight on that i mean thoughts ten king tens like yeah he's gonna show karen what it means to play smokes at a big tournament <laughs> you know so i mean yeah. To be fair, in Karen's own words, when Tens won Masters, he also was not playing. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. Fair point. So he, it's been a, he's missed a few of the big titles. I feel like, hey, maybe, maybe Genji, they might surprise you. But do, would you also agree? It feels like outside of you guys, Genji do seem like the other option that's the strongest team. I definitely have like us and Genji as like I think this is the this is the final like for sure. I think like I mean loud like whoever won today, I think I was gonna call the final, but obviously we like we pulled through, we won it. So I think it's like us and Genji for sure. I think. They just look really drilled, really like well, like prepped together. Like they're really hungry. Like they're like you know, Karen rookie uh, texture. I think is like really in his element on this team. You know, um, so yeah, I just think they're really hungry and like this is gonna be a really good series. You agree? I do agree. Yeah, I, th I think Gen G have looked in fantastic form. I d I'm not sure. Obviously, with the Loud Gen G rematch, whether or not it's going to be enough of a bounce back from Loud. I think today, I don't know if you would agree with this, but it felt like more like. 
facing off versus a familiar opponent, which is why map two and three were so closely contested, even with uh, coming out with map one and having a dominate it, well, very one-sided uh, performance. I I'm I'm not sure if uh, Loud have got what it takes to bounce back and beat Genji again. This is the thing, though. Like, were they done? You can never count them out. Loud, that's they just that's the thing. thing. They have an asterisk yeah. ne next to the name every single time. I mean, we're gonna find out tomorrow. Uh, but before I let you guys uh, go, Hypog, you actually had a question from like we're still running this. Yeah, like a week ago, yeah. you you asked the question for our next guest. Um, so this is a question from Hypog, which feels weird that I'm asking him the question that you had. But as if I'm not here. Go yeah, on. you're not uh, here. Yeah, you're not yeah, here. There you go. Uh, what's been your favorite moment of this tournament from an individual, like an individual pop off, an in individual play? What's been your favorite? Um, I would have to say my favorite is probably our first match, just because like it's been so long since I've played like international, like add in masters, I guess I'll call it, and then like doing it against Heretics, it just like felt really nice to pull like a really good good win, and like we had a really rough travel coming here, so I was like to get that first win, and like that was probably like my highlight, cause I'm like, oh my god, we did it, like you know, so that was probably my highlight. Yeah. Oh, what's, cool. what's, what's great is you didn't notice the lower third there, and it was like, why did you pick Forsaken? <laughs> yeah. But I love I love the fact oh. that you just breathe. Oh. Right past that, oh, like, I'm oh, not even paying oh, that oh. any attention. <laughs> yeah. I've just said Paper X gonna lose the next, yeah. so oh, no man. credit to Forsaken. Actually, this oh. is a good time. I respect it. <laughs> this is a good time because tomorrow, after the second game, we're gonna have another guest here. We don't know who it is. It's gonna be a player from the winning team. So you have an opportunity now uh, to look into the camera and instigate a little bit, ask them any question you want. No restrictions, go for it. For Forsaken? Anyone. Well, it's Anyone? Gonna, we don't know who it's gonna be, so it's gonna be a player from a winning team tomorrow. Okay, well, I have to go with Forsaken then, because I just think, like, I wanna play him. He's like, quote unquote, <laughs> the best flexible player in the world right now. Like, I kinda want that title, you know? So I wanna play Forsaken. He's obviously really good, really nice guy, but. I, I don't think you understood my question, but no, it was, probably that not. was on me. That Pro was on me. All right. All right, I'm gonna condense it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna condense it. I think it's it. time take to two. sleep. Take yeah. Two. yeah, I'm gonna take two, condense it. So we have uh, another post show tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna invite another player. We don't know who it is yet. It could, whoever wins is gonna come back on the desk and they're gonna answer a question. So we would like you to ask them a question. Oh, any so question you saw you Paper X were gonna lose tomorrow's series, so. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. any, I mean, we might have <laughs> You're Zekin gonna stress me out. This is more stressful than the match. <laughs> this is more, like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like sorry, trying to think I'm of it. It's like, so I'm asking yeah. a question. Okay. Yes, any question in the world, feel free to instigate. I got nothing. I, got, I, got, I don't know. I want to ask something like paper, like, uh, how does it feel to play with a lesser raise than Jing? Wow. Okay. I like it. A little bit spicy in there. Oh, that's well, very, bit, very, yeah. very, very, very spicy. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the schedule quickly uh, before we close everything off because uh, Genji will be taking on Sentinels in that upper bracket. And then in the elimination game, Mike, we have Paper X uh, versus Loud. Are you in agreement with us as you think Loud are winning that and Sentinels maybe winning the, the upper bracket as well? Yeah, I, I tend to agree with that. Again, we kind of beat this point to death early on. I, I'm just, I'm not seeing it from Paper X this time around and whether or not tomorrow we then see some last minute comp changes come out. I, I, I don't think they pass loud. I just hope that Paper Rags win so they could come on the desk and answer, and answer that question. I need my question. And now, actually, yeah, question. I'm all in on yeah, Paper Rags. Now, now I'm all in on Paper Rags. Yeah, yeah, me too. Scrap uh, that. Yeah, it's not like I'm ever not all in on Paper Rags. Well. But thank you very much, Hypo, for joining me today. Thank you very much, Azelsis, as thank well. Have guys. a good rest, and we'll see you back here tomorrow in that upper bracket. Thank you to you guys at home for watching as well. Make sure to come back and join us, uh, starting with Genji versus Sentinels. And don't forget to watch Zelsis. Don't forget to what? Don't forget to buy the Sentinels bundle. Hey! <laughs>
individually. A very quiet start to this game and a reaction shot. Ah! I want this shit. Form nice means they know where they are. The take out is perfect. Saken there to help with this fight instead. Something has to do it on his own. And again, he finds texture. That's a big part of this take. There's no done. chance. It's There's done. no chance whatsoever. He had to stick it underneath his nose. And short of a big misplay, it was never swinging the other way. A consistent showing from the side of Gen G as they take victory over their Pacific comrades. It's on to the upper final. These are two of the best teams America's have to offer, but being here is about being the best in the world. And as he stands at this stage, it does feel like both of them have a great jump. Okay, Zekin right there, Vondra Bold. Will he be able to get the damage? Of course he will. Oh my God. Let's go, baby! Close to the corner, cut the wide. Oh Satchel through and over the top. Kawazin still accurate. Shock is elite. Kawazin on for so much more. John QT balls off steel. Sadak, it's an evident. Nice boys. That is one of the most one-sided maps we've seen. Plenty more action where that came from. Half of the views from Sadak pushed back out of the way and a wide tip tap and a face there just in time. Our players realize it. The ones who have to make the moves forwards. Kawazin. Kawazin. <laughs> Just disgusting. But you're up against Cowards in John QT. Does he pull that one for off? Oh, well, for words, it's messy. It's real damn messy. Luckily, Zekin is still here. Zekin, it will have to be. And he doesn't expect it. They're up there. So 14 to 12. Loud. It deserves a map three this series. Fields all. Sassy have to pull off an absolute miracle. King away. Now wide. And sprayed them through. The follow up. All the rifles online! You have opportunity. They want to flood out now, facing with the bodies. Paranoia backing away. QCK! Oh, that's unreal. Space and Naked 1, skipping a hot dodging round! Surely! No way! Put it out, but there is no chance, there is no hope. Sentinels, inevitable! Zen look incredible here, dominating on the first map and squeezing through in overtimes to take their appointment with Gen G in the upper finals.